Come stay, play, and party to win your share of over $1 million in total cash and goal rewards prizes. Delicious chef-created entrees, live entertainment on the weekends, excellent selection of adult beverages in Creekside Bar and Grill. IndigoSkyCasino.com for details. Highway 60 west of Seneca, Missouri. Hey there, I'm meteorologist Majestic Storm with your 4029 Camp Ready Weather Forecast. We have a beautiful day today across northwest Arkansas. We're looking at mostly sunny skies and afternoon highs today will rise into the mid-60s. Sunny but windy with those northwesterly winds gusting 30 to 35 miles an hour. Overnight, the sky will stay clear. Temperatures drop, though, into the upper 30s. More sunshine for our Friday as temperatures climb back into the 70s. I'm meteorologist Majestic Storm with your 4029 Get Ready Weather Forecast. Have a great day. KAKS Goshen Fayetteville, K237GR Johnson. This is ESPN Northwest Arkansas. Broadcasting live from the Cards Recycling Studio. Cards is the official residential, commercial, and recycling waste collection service of the Ruskin and Zach Show. ESPN Arkansas presents Derek Ruskin. Have we got a stadium? Yes. Have we got a college? Yes. Well, we can't support both. Tomorrow we start tearing down the college. And Zach Arns. Work, 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 work. Hello, boys. Have a good night's rest. I miss you. With DQ. Just going to go have fun. No one out there that I know of in the audience actively hates me. Call or text the McClarty Daniel hotline 866-285-4005. With six locations in Springdale and Bentonville, a good deal is never far away. Way. Ruskin and Zach. But if they hate him, why do they listen? Most common answer. I want to see what he'll say next. This is Ruskin and Zach on ESPN Arkansas and streaming on hitthatline.com. All righty. Are we starting to calm down now? Is everybody starting to settle in to this uh, new world we live in uh, now here? Uh-huh. Is it all, uh, is it all, uh, uh, I like the, I don't know who wrote this for us, but uh, yesterday is like a shocking turn of events. I'm like, shocking. We've known for two days this was going to happen. It's a shocking. Maybe if you woke up, it was shocking. I don't know. Anyway, uh, we got a, a normal uh, board affair here on uh, Ruskin right. Attack. We've got to uh, remember the late Orenthal James Simpson. Boy, there are a lot uh, of questions. Uh, apparently he had been sick for some time. Yes, he had cancer. Yeah, he had the cancer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, seventy-six years of age for uh, the juice. Um, I did not appreciate them using the clip of Norberg falling out of the stadium as a uh, mem- remembrance today from the uh, Naked a, Gun movie. But... This is a very complicated legacy. <laughs> yes, uh, very, very complicated. Because, <laughs> Yours truly. Yeah. That does he get to use his name on his headstone? I don't know. The Goldman's may own that too. He uh, lost his nil in the uh, in the uh, civil trial I do know this, that he didn't that, win. That, that if anybody is going to handle this correctly, it will probably be SNL. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, right. I, I'm I'm going to leave. Well, that. If only Norm Macdonald was still alive, that'd be a perfect uh, deal. Because you know Norm got fired for doing all those OJ jokes, and uh, Dick Ebersol, who ran NBC at the time, was pissed off about it and fired him. Yep. So uh, that's uh well, he ran NBC West Coast or part of it anyway. I don't know complicated um so so the calipari thing is done if you're looking it to done, point yeah. and laugh at someone uh kentucky has been officially turned down by dan hurley okay okay and scott drew okay okay listen listen we we got to establish some new parameters here we're in a new world are we we're in a new world yeah, but we're the same people and we're we're getting new parameters here. we were all um we were all given new life no. on monday no. when the eclipse didn't kill no. us so i'm proposing two new rules Okay, like Bill Maher, only funnier. No, I'm kidding. Uh, new rule number one: yep. y'all can't make fun of Aggie Yell leaders anymore. Okay, that's you can't do it. Right. You know what? You can't do it. Yeah. Did you see that tent revival last night on Barstool? Yeah. Okay, y'all can't make fun of that anymore. All right, because you're exactly the same. Okay, number one. Number two, we can't point and laugh at another another totally uh, school's disagree. coaching search. Totally disagree. You were in the same totally. boat. Now, Seven days ago, but, but you know freaking what? out. They're not in that boat anymore. They wanted no. to fire Hunter Urechek. I've got the receipts. No. It is time to be petty d bags. No, 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 yes. no, no. Point and laugh. No, you uh, yes. you, you cannot make fun of another school's no, coaching is... search when you w- it behave the nope. exact nope, same nope, way nope, in the nope, same nope. situation. Nope. nope, nope. I say have at it. No, it's not yes. fair. Yes, the big kid on the block has a bloody nose. Laugh it up. It's not fair. Enjoy it. It is not fair. Absolutely. 
We're not making fun of Yaggy Aggie right. Yell practice anymore, that, and we're uh, not when right. we're not making fun of other places a now, coaching search is going now, awry. Are we going? We're not doing it. Uh, not on my watch. I'm doing it. I, I, look, I will point laugh at Kentucky all day long, but I do have some questions about the uh, the 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 preacher's uh, son last night uh, that uh, that went on over there. Um, Cal didn't do the the hog call. Are we upset? I don't know what the official word is on that. I respect it. I don't do the hog call. All right. okay. And I know other men. I see them at the at the games. Okay. All other right. men okay. do not do the hog call. That's fine. All right. So I respect it. Perfectly fine. I respect it. I, I didn't know where we came down on that. Are we going to? Because if Sam Pittman didn't do that at his introductory press conference, he did a hog call. Morris, or, or anybody else did that, people would have been up in arms. But are we going to turn a blind eye now because it's all about winning? Let me tell you something. When you're a Hall of Famer, nobody cares. Dana Altman does a bad hog call. We care. Okay. You know, okay. Chad Morris right. does a bad okay. hog call. We care. Okay. Hall of Famer doesn't do a, a, a hog call. We don't okay. care. I, I don't, I didn't know where we stood on that. If that's what we're going with. Okay. Uh, two, Chuck doesn't jazz finger on the, uh, on the hog call. Mm-hmm. He is, um, he is old school. He does it correctly. Uh, are we upset with him? Oh. Hunter was doing it with one hand. Yeah. Well, no, he had two. Well, he had, he had both hands in the air. One was twinkling and the other was kind of, yeah, not. that's what I mean. He, he yeah. did it with, with one. Right. Hand. I mean, he was, Half in, half out. Right. Again, the proper right. way to do it is without the jazz fingers, and Chuck did it correctly. But I know y'all hate that, so I'm wondering. Yeah. You know, the, the jazz finger lobby is now pissed off at Chuck. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, maybe they are. I don't know. But uh, I uh, no, I don't uh, no. I, I I not only do I not hog call, but I see other men at games that don't hog call, and we're it's a it's a silent society. It's mm-hmm. a uh, it's the um well, what do you call it uh, the silent majority out there. We look at each other and we just like, yeah, we know, we know. Okay. We okay. just know, you know, that's what happened. And it, uh, we are, we are, this is our most notable member, John Calipari, Calipari. He's our most notable member of the silent society. So welcome coach. We're, we've never had a hall of famer before. This is, this is pretty good. Uh, let's bring in DQ real quick. Uh, DQ, uh, does uh, Kenny and Elkins do the, all the hogs? Yeah. Okay. Jazz fingers? I don't think he does jazz of fingers, does, but you guys are man. wrong. No, 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 when, no. When no, you no, no. have student orientation at the U of A, they say this is how you do the hog call, and it's with jazz. Who's fingers. doing? Who's running the orientation? One of those nerds yeah, that runs okay. orientation no. that's so super duper excited about. It's on the university. On it's on the university website. Do they nod their head when they do it? Like, Let me show you Spoofer Stone. Uh, they yeah, get no, so excited yeah, about yeah. stuff. I had a good orientation person because the guy was pretty chill. He's like, "Look, here's how Fayetteville works." You're gonna you're gonna learn the main roads and they're gonna suck. Then you'll learn all the like side streets and then you'll be fine. I'm like, okay, I can live with this. Uh, I can do got, this. Uh, we've got questions coming in. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> Where did we go? Okay. Uh, uh, Bailey in Denver. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, Randy, should we be concerned that Cal hasn't had any commitments in the last 24 hours? I'll uh, hang up and listen. I think he's washed up. <laughs> yeah, there's the uh, everything's moving at a breakneck pace and. You know, it was remarkable. I know they acknowledged him uh, yesterday, but um, people have really forgotten uh, what Eric Musselman did here already. <laughs> They've already forgotten the two elite eights. The Dayton Hunter the girl. The Dayton Hunter girl. They Dayton. beat Gonzaga. They Eric. beat Kansas, and nobody cares. Eric, they're Dayton <laughs> Hunter girl. The hotter girl. I'm just like, uh-huh. man, we just – and there is this – if you just dropped in from space, you would think this program has been in the toilet for 10 years. They have one year. Yeah. One good. That's right. One year. Hey, 365 days but is a long time. Everybody is acting like, you know, Calipari is coming in here to save this program from the dumper. It wasn't in the dumper. I mean, it was, uh, you know, it was on the, uh, on, the, on the seat maybe, but we weren't in the bowl. We weren't in the bowl with this thing yet. But, uh, you know, people are, uh, people are strange, man. This, uh, this guy has some sort of Svengali effect on people, was, making them do weird things. It was the perfect sales pitch yesterday. It was, I know I'm good. You know I'm good. Let's enjoy. And, and, and he got, look, first, first things first, they started on time, which I really appreciate. That's a rarity. They, uh, they, it went 43 minutes. Yeah. And then at the end, there was a lot of glad handing. There were a lot of smiles and everybody was happy. So, he wins. He gets a win yesterday. Now you got to go to work. And Randy, we don't have any uh, commitments yet, so now I'm officially worried. Oh well, good. Yeah, yeah. I suppose we have to give a. You know how um, in news talk they do like traffic on the fours. Right. Do we have to do a uh, roster on the fours I think update? We 
to see if anybody's signed up. Yep. All right, we'll do rosters on the Ford. Well, we're in a break on the Ford this hour. Let's do it at the most arbitrary time possible. The ones. Let's do <laughs> roster on the ones. All right. We have any uh, production for that? No. Darn it. It's out of the budget for this, uh, this year. <laughs> Maybe in 20. And now, roster on the ones. We'll do that here. Uh, and we'll uh, we'll get into Abner that. Abner points here. out that Must went back to back to back sweet 16 appearances. Calipari has zero wins at Arkansas. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, they they've quickly moved on from him. Um, and it's uh like it never happened. Well, what, what was that? Who had that commercial? Is it Surf Pro? Like it never even yeah. happened yep. or whatever? Yep. Or the, the carpet cleaners? That, that's that's how that feels. I don't here. know if you I don't know if I was dropping Kinsey off at I don't think it's school, fair school this morning. I, apparently the uh the communications department to put together some sort of question that they were gonna ask him. And Cal wrote five things down, said ask me this, and away they went. We talked about it. You know what I heard yesterday? I heard a lot of sizzle and not a lot of steak. That's what I heard. 866-285-4005 is how you join us here on the uh, Ruskin Attack program. We will uh, go through the uh, update. We'll get your uh, roster on the ones coming up here uh, in a little bit and uh, talk about all that stuff. So stick around here on Ruskin Attack. He's not a hog caller, huh? Nope. He just didn't want to become a meme on the internet for doing that. It's a savvy move by him, honestly. Maybe. Savvy move. Maybe. Now, instead, he went around the meme going, I talked to the team. There is no team. <laughs> that's, that's what they latched that, on to yesterday. That's a problem. We'll be back. Texting enrolls you into reoccurring automated text messages. Consent not required to purchase. Message and data rates may apply. Hey, Dan, how you doing? Haven't seen you around the gym for a while. Yeah, I've really fallen off. Since I turned 40, I just don't get the results I used to get. Could be lower testosterone. Lower T. Yeah, I went through it a while back. Once you hit 40, your body has less free testosterone. I got Nugenix Total T, and it's made a huge difference for me. I've seen that ad on TV. Is it for real? Oh, yeah. The key ingredient is something called Tesnor, which helps boost free and total testosterone levels to help you trim up and stay lean. And it's made a difference for you man i feel like i'm in my 20s again at work in the gym and in the bedroom are they still giving out complimentary bottles for people to try for themselves yeah you just need to send them a text text bike to 321321 right now for your complimentary bottle of nugenics total tea the number one selling testosterone booster at gnc plus text now and we'll include a bottle of nugenics thermo our most powerful fat incinerator ever to help you get back into shape fast absolutely free text b-i-k-e to 321321 that's bike to 321321 it's Ruskin and Zach. Give me the hog truck. Hey, Hog fans, join Matt Jones this Friday, April 12th from 11 to 2 as halftime will be live at the All-American Steakhouse in Sports Theater in Springdale. They'll be talking all things Razorbacks, football, basketball, and baseball. There will not be a dull moment, so don't miss out on all the action at the All-American Steakhouse and Sports Theater. Just voted the best sports bar of Northwest Arkansas. Join Matt Jones this Friday from 11 to 2 at the All-American Steakhouse and Sports Theater on Sunset in Springdale. Venture X from Capital One is the travel card for people always asking, Where next? You earn 10x miles on hotels and rental cars and 5x miles on flights booked through Capital One Travel and 2x miles on everything else you buy with Venture X. Plus, receive premium travel benefits like access to over 1,300 airport lounges. The Venture X card from Capital One. What's in your wallet? Terms apply. See CapitalOne.com for details. Country's hottest rising star, Riley Green. There was this girl. Ain't my last rodeo tour. Shoot me a list. Saturday, April 27th, Walmart M. With Tracy Lawrence and Ella Langley. On sale now at amptickets.com. Riley Green, live. How do I drive more traffic to my website? How do I increase my Google rankings? If these are just a few of the questions you have for your business, then we should talk. In addition to sports radio marketing, ESPN Arkansas can help your business be found online. From website design to geo-targeted campaigns, search engine marketing, social media management, streaming video campaigns, and much more. ESPN Arkansas is your digital marketing partner. Go to ESPNArkansasDigital.com for your free digital marketing audit or email us at sales 
at hitthatline.com to schedule an appointment. Precision Overhead Door features the finest quality materials, installation, and service for all of your overhead door needs. Fully licensed and insured with the largest showroom in Northwest Arkansas, located at 1907 Town West Drive in Rogers and 416 North 10th Street in Fort Smith. Give them a call today at 844-PDS-DOOR or online at precisiondoornwa.com. Financing is available. Precision Overhead Door voted Best Garage Door Company of Northwest Arkansas and the River Valley. Precision Overhead Door. Who can you trust to sell your home for the most money with the least amount of drama? You need a team of agents with decades of experience, commitment, and, of course, tens of thousands in marketing. You need the Limbird Team, home of Arkansas's only instant offer program. Get a cash offer on your home in only 72 hours. Limbird Real Estate Group is the number one team in Arkansas with over $1 billion sold and voted best of the best 10 years in a row, serving all of Northwest Arkansas, Missouri, and now the River Valley. Find out more at LimbirdTeam.com. L-I-M. B-I-R-D. Hi, this is Garen Armstrong with Shamrock Roofing and Construction. That small roofing company my father started 45 years ago has now become one of the largest roofing companies in America by following one rule, the golden rule. No one can install a better roof at a better price, a better warranty than Shamrock Roofing and Construction. Let our local family serve your family. Shamrock Roofing and Construction. Call today or visit us online at shamrockroofer.com. After I drop the kids off, I have to run across town for a meeting, hit the gym during lunch, Jake has soccer tonight, and Emily has gymnastics? Oh, did I turn on the crock pot this morning? <laughs> with a never-ending to-do list, it's easy to forget something important, like setting up a life insurance plan with Shelter Insurance. Your local shelter agent can show you how to create a safety net for your family. Shelter Life Insurance Company, Columbia, Missouri. Call J.T. Finley at 479-521-4220 or come by and see him for a quote at 2142 North College Avenue in Fayetteville. Absolute Janitorial Service is a family-owned and operated commercial cleaning company serving all of Northwest Arkansas. We have a long track record for exceptional service and clear communication. We clean multiple facility types, including office buildings, medical facilities, manufacturing plants, churches, schools, and much more. Give Absolute Janitorial Service a call today for a free quote and see what an absolute difference our services can make for your business. Welcome to McClarty Daniel Country. With six giant locations and over 3,000 vehicles, Northwest Arkansas is McClarty Daniel Country. Stop by one of our showrooms today to shop our full lineup of cars, trucks, and SUVs. McClarty Daniel is proud to be your premier automotive destination. Need service? We work on all makes and models six days a week. Plus, our full-service collision center can repair anything from a minor ding to a major collision. Have you visited McClarty Daniel Country? Visit us online at McClartyDaniel.com. ESPN 99.5. Join the local conversation on the McClarty Daniel Hotline, 866-285-4005. The most influential show in Arkansas. This is Ruskin and Zach on ESPN Arkansas and streaming on hitthatline.com. Well, it's official. John Calipari is the new head coach at the University of Arkansas. He was announced at the press conference yesterday. You know what I got here? Mm. Oh, the contract. I got the whole Yesterday, thing. Yesterday, you were yeah. not interested in contract talk. Now you are. I would. I think I could read it. Okay. We get if we get in a dull spot here, I'll read it. Start read reading. it. Read it. Start reading. Uh, the Arkansas baseball team opens up three games set against Alabama tomorrow in Tuscaloosa. First pitch tomorrow, six p.m. Former interpreter for LA Dodgers superstar Shohei Otani. He stole more than sixteen million over two years from Otani to pay off gambling debts to an illegal sports book, according to an affidavit filed by federal authorities on Thursday. Federal authorities filed a complaint accusing Ippy Mizuhara, the bank fraud. Bank fraud can carry a maximum of $1 million in fines to end up to 30 years in prison. He's making a deal. I'd be nervous. Yeah. O.J. Simpson uh, passed away this morning at the age of 76 from cancer. Uh, he was found liable in a separate uh, civil lawsuit or civil, civil trial uh, for the murder of Ron Goldman and Nicole Brown Simpson. The Ruskin and Zach Expos brought to you by our very good friends with Unlimited Heat and Air in Springdale. 479. 479- 225-8809 for all of your heat and air needs. Uh, DQ, after yesterday's introduction, how you feeling? Final four imminent or are you wait and see? We can wait. Okay. 59.4% of you said uh, we can wait. DQ, when it rains overnight, is it your dad's responsibility to tell you we needed that? 
Yes. And my mom. <laughs> well, 87.9% of you said yes. We needed that. I'm going to save that one because that, that's going to spark a bigger conversation. Uh, DQ, do you, think your, move. do you think your parents ever looked at you and said, I did all I could? No. 78.8% of you said yes. Have you ever stubbed any of your middle three toes? Yeah. Have you? Yeah. I've never done I it. I hit my foot all the time. The worst part about hitting your toe is the second when you hit your toe before the pain sets yeah. in. Yeah. And you're and you're like, this is gonna be terrible. I've never stubbed anything but the outside and inside toe. Really? Really? Hmm. I've never hit the middle three. <laughs> <laughs> never hit the middle third. Huh? Nope. 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 Also, um, and this this again sparks a much larger conversation. Um, these weirdos that uh, their second toe is longer than their big toe, y'all are weird. Knock it off. That's a sign of impotence, isn't no. it? No, 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 no. Google oh, it. Is. <laughs> it means something when your the second toe is longer than your your big toe. Mine's that way. I think mine is it. Yeah. I think mine is. Uh, oh, weird. I think it means impotent. No, it doesn't. I really <laughs> believe it Se- does. Second time, no. Think you Google it. It actually means something. Okay. Um, but yeah, we I, we were. I, I, my daughter stubbed her toe last night. Uh, it, the outside toe, and she was hopping around and whatever. And when I took the sock off to take a look at it. Her second toe is longer than her big toe, me which I've never seen. Before. Me too. Um, you want to see? No, I don't. <laughs> no, I'm not interested. Okay. Um, and look, for, if, if any of you <laughs> freaks send us your feet pics, please don't send feet pics. Yeah, please, <laughs> please, please. You can Ru- send them to feet pics at <laughs> hitthatline.com. Those are your Ruskin attack X polls, bro. See, I knew that was a bad idea. Brought to you by our good friends at Unlimited Heat and Air in Springdale. They couldn't be prouder than they are right now. Uh, 479-225-8809 for all of your heat and air needs. All right. DQ, did you find out what those are, what, what it means? I think it just means you're more susceptible to get calluses. Okay. I'm not I'm not seeing any uh, evidence about anything else. Well, shucks. <laughs> I think it's normal. Yeah, welcome to OnlyFans Radio. That's from <laughs> Oh well. Oh yeah, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Okay, wait a minute. Okay. And oh, we need a roster on the ones okay. too. When you get a okay. so here's, we're falling behind here's already. It is. It is. Um, it's it's more based on on. Wh- wow. That's, so you're saying? No, tell me if this is wrong. You're right. saying your second toe is longer than your big toe. Right. You are of Celtic origins. Okay. According to this, go Irish. Right now, <laughs> I'm not Great. again. They've got I, two of us now. I'm not Great. sure. Now there are people out there that that they're uh, the second and third toes are longer than their big toe. Hmm. So I I don't know I I knew it I knew it meant something. I'm Celtic according to this. If like second, Kevin McHale? No, that's Celtic. Oh, that's okay. totally different. Uh, you could also be Greek. Okay, that tracks. Okay, I am Eastern European. Okay, well but somebody that's just, probably more like somebody just sent us the chart and um. The Ruskins came from a country that doesn't exist anymore in uh, Eastern Europe. So okay, that's what and settled in Western Pennsylvania near oh, the Caliparis. I mean, no, we're we're uh, we're like uh, we're paisans. Oh, okay, whatever. yeah, no, no, this is what I was talking about. Text of the four one seven. It's always Missouri. Uh, people with a longer second toe are descendants of Roman nobility. That's what I was talking about. Word. Yes, I've heard that before. Okay, good. All right, we owe, we owe you a roster on the ones uh, update. Do we have anything we can play? Yeah, uh, Randy, I'm here by myself. Uh, I'll check back with you in 10 minutes. There's no one on the roster yet. I said I am here by myself. <laughs> I will get back to you in 10 minutes. That's your roster on the one <laughs> update here on uh, ESP at Arkansas. Hit that line.com. There you go. <laughs> Lost of Blake is here. Lost of Blake, I'm still by myself, but Lost of Blake is here. Okay. All right. <sighs> uh, Doug in Little Rock. Dude, defending AM and Kentucky. Fireable offense. Really? Okay. I just don't I just find it incredibly disingenuous that all of you were peeing your pants with nervousness a week ago. And now Kentucky's doing it and you're gonna point and laugh at them. I don't think that's right. I don't think that's I right think at all. Absolutely they me. were doing no. the same thing to you that's a week right, ago. And you didn't like it. Now tables have turned. They can't find a coach. Take the you know what? When they go low, go high. Just, just say, uh, well, Who are you? find a coach. Who are you? Zachary, I've been reborn. I'll tell you right now. Since when? I don't know. By the way, you have not mentioned baseball today, have you? Uh, baseball. Like baseball. Yeah. Baseball? Yeah. Ra- Razorback baseball? Yeah. Yes, I did, actually. 
Oh, well, then I forgot to mention we are 73 days away mm. from the school's first baseball national championship. So make sure you uh, prepare yourself accordingly. Um, so that's, uh, uh, that's what mad now because we made them think about the Roman Empire. DQ, have you thought about the game? You lost. Don't do that. <laughs> it doesn't count. I'm not I'm not letting that count. Why? I log it. Every no, I'm not time. letting what count? Every time I lose, I log it, but I'm not letting that count. Let what count? Stop. <laughs> Did you think about it? Stop. Did you? You lost. <laughs> I wasn't I don't play. He doesn't play. It doesn't lose, matter. You Once you play. know Look, about it, you I, play. I've no. only got so much bandwidth up here. I can't put things in there that I'm not ready. I don't I'm think not... that's right. I don't think you're in the game. No, I'm not. I mean, I mean, you're in the game. We just saw you turn your phone on at the top of the hour. Oh yeah, so you're he's in the, in the game. You're in the game. I mean, <laughs> we know that. No, no this is just this is for fun, just to see how this goes. He's in the game, but, folks. And what, what was your number, DQ? 10? Ladies, I said eight. Eight. He's, he's in six, the game, ten. ladies. Yeah. He is in the game. I, you know what? Happy hunting. I look forward to uh, the uh, the reception. I'm like, oh, who do we have here? <laughs> uh, uh, what's your name? I have to put a name tag. Oh yeah, yeah. This is uh Carmen Crystal. Sorry, God, I uh, I was so close on that one. No I knew J it started with a C. No J name. Mm -mm. No, don't do that. No, no that's no, bad. No, no and, that's right. you know what? DQ, I said that to somebody the other day. Um, I'm like, oh, you're a J name, and uh, yeah. I got a I got a side eye. No. Yeah. From a woman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Also, um, uh, b before we began, mm. um. Zach, uh, somebody came up to Zach in public oh, yeah. and uh, and said yeah. the thing I hate the most, which is, well, oh, nothing to talk about today. Well, he was very nice. I mean, we, we had a conversation. We were just, I was getting my, um, hate it. getting my stuff and we had a nice conversation, but I, it was just one of those weird moments. Like he knew me and I'm like, oh, no, uh, very nice. But it, it's weird when somebody, you know, break out that phone. Oh. Uh, no, uh, no, uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. You failed. No, no, no. We started talking and then it was his turn. So the conversation ended very quickly. I don't know. Leave me alone. I hope you're ashamed. <laughs> yes. Are you ashamed? <laughs> Did you? Stop. Oh, well. So am I uh, Celtic or Greek? Uh, yes. All right. Great. I'm Greek. You Greek? You dance. Oh, okay. So this is actually a good question. I have Wisconsin. All right. Uh, Zach, the YouTube, the YouTube stream is nice, but why do I keep gripping the mic like it's trying to run away from him? Okay. So a couple of you have actually asked me. There are two bolts right here. So if here, you're watching, hold on. We're going full screen oh, going full so we can see this. Right, yes. So there are two bolts right here. Yes. And then there is a bolt right here. Yes. They always come loose. They do. They're terrible. So when I'm doing this, I'm simply tightening it up so that the camera, I, so that the microphone doesn't move. This isn't a, uh, we spent, this isn't us buying cheap equipment. Every one of these yes. in existence yep. in the business yep. does this. Yes. All of them. A hundred percent. So, so it's when, not I, us. And I do it literally before every segment. I will just do this. Double check, make sure everything's tightened up. Because at, at some point, if you don't do it, the mic starts going down, and, and you suddenly wind up talking, you know, just to the camera. Well, and I have a picture of the very first show we did. I broke the microphone. Yes, it yeah. fell off of its thing, and I was holding it. That's this right. whole, so I was holding it like, like this. There are a couple of people that have asked about that, and and that would that would be I the just, reason. I just hit myself in the nose with a microphone. I hope I don't bleed Better now. Than some hit yourself somewhere else. That's true. I guess so. Yeah, but uh, on the first day, I broke the microphone. Cool. So maybe that's um, well done. That maybe that's um uh, in your mind, and you're like, oh god, I don't want this to happen. Is that what we're going with? Maybe that's what it is. It's a uh, psycho uh, something or another. I don't, right. I don't. Yeah, I took a picture of it. I'm like, well, things are going well here. It's our second hour, and I've already <laughs> broke the equipment. So it's good. It's good. It's, it's, it's good. good. It's good. That's right. <laughs> so anyway, that yeah. that would answer that question. Okay. Keep those uh, behind-the-scenes questions right. coming. We love to answer them here yeah. at uh, 866-285-4005. We're going to hang uh, Strike's pants and uh, Lizzie's sweatshirt today. Uh, yeah. Because DQ won't let me get a mannequin. I have another shirt uh, that I forgot. I left it on the dadgum uh, kitchen counter. But it is a T-shirt, a women's T-shirt, that says, Not Today, Saban. And it's got, like, oh, the okay. devil horns okay. on the side. All right. Figure we, we, we'll, we yeah, don't we'll need that anymore. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll hang it in. Put it in here. Yeah. Make this happen. Send it in, Jerome. Uh, exactly. Uh, all right. So um, I'm really trying to find this broken uh, microphone picture. I can't find it now. Oh, well. It's okay. Are you sure? Yes. I'm, it's, it's, I'm unbelievable. It's humorous sure, yes. to me. Uh, yes. What is it called? Do we have any uh, um, um, 
mental doctors listening to this. What's it called when you are desperate, when you open a loop, you have to close it? Is there a is there a name for that condition? Because not only do I have it, but it is hereditary, and my father has the very same thing. Like, well, if we can't come up with an answer, he has to go to the phone to look it up. He can't just let it dangle out there in the ether. Well, wouldn't the date on the photo just be March of 2019? Mm, you can search by date? Yeah. How do you do that? Go to... Oh, wait a minute. And then also, if you just make the make all of your photos show up at once, it'll show you. Hold on. March? How do you know this? That's when you started. And if it was the first day. We did start in March. That is March true. March 11th. Yeah, 2019. Mm -hmm. Then they fired Anderson. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, by yeah, the way. Yeah, thanks. Thank you, Hunter. Things took off right after that. <laughs> That's right. That's great. Good timing. Uh, well, not, maybe it, I didn't. I don't know. Maybe I saved it off you, of something Let else. me give you a piece of advice. Do not let her try and fix your phone because okay. you will wind up in screens that you are not prepared to get well, out Well, yeah, of. you were uh, freaking yeah. out that one time. Yeah. Fix it. Fix right. it. Yeah. She, uh, she, she talks a big game. Yeah. Uh, Abner calls what I have early onset senility. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here is yeah. someone calling it after sending us three horrendous feet pics. Uh, obsessive oh, compulsive disorder. Come on, man. <laughs> oh. Big Mike wants us to get Gene Rayburn's mic. Remember that long telescoping Gene's skinny long thing? Gone, right? We've lost Gene, Gene Rayburn. Gene Rayburn is, is gone, but the microphone it's or gone. one like it is on eBay every now and then. You can get one. Okay. We got to wait know. for one of those uh, Hollywood auctions again. Oh, I like the uh, James Commissar with yeah. all the props. We can get the Golden Girl sofa and the uh, desk. You know, the Jeopardy lectern and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, they had regular yeah. Jeopardy on yesterday. And I'm happy to report that Channel 5 did not screw up re airing Wheel of Fortune because I got the complete recording this morning. I was very pleased with it. So for once, they did something right over there. So congratulations. Older. I got to watch The Wheel and Jeopardy. If, if, uh, my it's grandparents great. watched The Wheel and Jeopardy. So what? I'm just saying, you're headed right for it. It was regular old Jeopardy, and it was great. It was good hosting. to see. Uh, Ken Jennings is the host. Ken Jennings. He's the guy that uh, won all the money. Is this your dad's fault that you watch this stuff? No, 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 no. no. I discovered game shows without them. No, no. No, this is a USA Network's fault. Because when I was a kid in the 80s, they ran game shows all afternoon, like before the cartoons. And so I watched the game shows, then the cartoons. Okay. So that's that's what you know. They had Hong Kong Fooey on and all that Hong stuff. Kong, don't ever did do not ever disrespect Magilla Hong Gorilla. Kong. Like they had all the gorilla weird cartoon. Yeah. Don't you buy him, yeah. take him home and dry him. Gorilla. Yeah, I know. Gorilla, gorilla for yeah, sale. Absolutely love Magilla Gorilla. Yeah, but they ran uh, they ran uh, they ran game shows and then they ran um, uh, the cartoons. Uh, okay, so we're uh, we're getting some requests uh, for some things. Uh, one, Gene Rayburn's microphone is in the Smithsonian. I don't think that's accurate. Okay. Uh, DQ, uh, on the McClarty Daniel hotline, B E is requesting a welfare check on Richard Simmons. Could you, uh, could you check on that for us? <laughs> because alive. remember, we lost OJ today. These things come in threes. Oh, boy. Look out. So we, we need to check on your favorite celebrity. Make sure they're doing okay. Wow. Uh, here we go. We now have, oh, boy. Text her out of the 501, who will go down in infamy as the house shrink. Yeah. Says uh, you have OCD. Finally, a diagnosis. Yes. This gives me great peace now that I know what it is. Wow. We've got a shrink that listens to this, a judge, a couple of cops. Yeah, we've got most of the uh, judicial oh, system boy. here. No. I'm looking right now. You can't find a, a Barker or Rayburn's microphone on eBay, but one pops up every now and then, or one that's like it. I don't think they make them anymore. That's why it's rare to see one. All right. Anyway. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Cabbage Head's on the phone. You want to talk to him? Yeah, sure. All right, Cabbage Head. Hey, man. Hey, guys. Good good show as always, but I, I just wanted to call and say, and you guys are probably, I've had it on uh, the uh, ESPN, not, not ESPN, but the SEC network, and now Paul Feinbaum, and you, you, you know, if you don't have a Alabama area code. You don't get in most of the time to yeah, talk to him. Yeah. But guys, I'm telling you, I have never seen so much about Arkansas because they they never talk about us in any way, shape, or form. And and I mean, yesterday they repeated that 
news conference about three times back to back. And now Paul Feinbaum is talking about Arkansas. That crap never happened. So I, we've been put on the map, but it, it's, a, it's about time. And I, I think we're going to go places with this guy. May not be, uh, may not be quick, but, but, uh, you know, Rome wasn't built in a day either. I'll, I'll get off of here. Thanks, guys. Well, thank you, you have thank Roman you. toads. Thank uh, you, Cabbage Head, for driving the audience to the competition. We greatly appreciate that. Uh, your dad says you're too messy to have OCD. Is that true? Are you a slob? I have selective slobbiness. How? Like your desk is a mess. Yeah. Kind of. But I know where everything is. What, uh, what are you selectively sloppy about? Uh, I don't know. Like I, um, well, like, um, there's a couple of like windbreaker things that I wear that I just throw in the closet floor. I don't hang them up because I just don't want it to hang them up, but I know how, where they are. How it, difficult is it to just hang up a windbreaker? I don't want to do it. Why? Because they don't need a hanger. They need like a hook or a coat rack. And I don't have that. Why don't you get one? I don't, I don't want to. I don't, you work I don't. less than 400 yards from the world's second largest yeah, retail. I don't want that stuff. I don't, I don't, I don't want it. I, just, I like it better. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, is our, our fine bombs negative words hurting recruiting? DQ. Well, apparently, they're out? positive words. Can we? Uh, can we? Uh, have, can we break down and? Uh, can we end two things right now? Yeah, go ahead. Besides, well, we've already ended two things. We've ended mocking A and M and mocking uh, Kentucky because their coaching search has gone sideways. Um, can we do? Th- can we never mention the show that preceded ours in this time yes, period? That would, that would, that can would, we never do that again? That would, uh, and can we never everybody. mention the show that's on the same time at ours? Can we never do that again? Thank you. My TED talk. Okay. Uh, Seth from Elk River complaining about hangers. You ever hate? You ever ever have the uh, pull a shirt off a hanger and back shoulder gets stuck? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I don't serious. like that. I know a lot about hangers. My dad was a dry cleaner for like 20 some odd years. Your dad says your car's a mess. It is. That's true. Oh, my God. He's, really? Well, he, I, he washes. All he has time to do now is wash the car every day. So, Did your mom get her mold-filled car back? No, it's still it's no, still, still got the loaner. Yeah. Uh, we'll be back here in a moment. Ruskin attack, 866-285-4005. Uh, Kevin and Harrison wants to send me a shirt that says, so nothing to talk about today, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Send it. Hey, send it. We'll hang send it in it. here. Yeah, send it in here. We'll be right back. It's a good day to be in Arkansas. You know why? The Lotto Jackpot is now more than $1.5 million. And the best part? The winning ticket can only be sold in Arkansas. Maybe today. Maybe even to you. Can you imagine? There's a jackpot drawing every Wednesday and Saturday night, so your next chance to win is coming up very soon. Try Lotto today for only 2 bucks per play. Call 1-800-522-4700 for problem gambling helpline. Join us in celebrating Burton Pools and Spas 46th anniversary. Get incredible deals on in-ground pools with savings up to $12,000 and construction starting in May. Snag up to $1,200 off Doughboy Above Ground Pools and $5,000 off Doughboy Semi In-Ground Pools. And hot tubs start at an unbelievable price of just $39.99. Celebrate with us and pocket huge savings at Burton Pools and Spas in Springdale and Fort Smith. At Burton, we do more than build pools. We build long-term relationships. Are you ready to upgrade your ride? Head on over to McClarty Daniel Country. McClarty Daniel has over a thousand used cars to choose from, so you're sure to find the perfect vehicle to fit your needs and budget. With six convenient locations in Bentonville and Springdale, you're never too far away from a great deal. But that's not all. If you're looking for something brand new, they've got you covered there too with a great selection of new cars available for you to upgrade to. So what are you waiting for? Come on down to McClarty Daniel and drive away in the car of your dreams. Online at McClarty Daniel have you heard the pleasure playground just got a little bigger cupid's is growing that's right cupid's lingerie just opened its newest naughty location in fayetteville at crossover and mission in the walmart shopping center cupid's is a boutique specializing in all things pleasure and play from lingerie to well everything you can imagine and more 
Visit ShopCupids.com today and treat someone special to something special. Cupid's Lingerie in Bentonville, Springdale, and now in Fayetteville. Cupid's Lingerie. Enjoy. Are you ready to upgrade your ride? Head on over to McClarty Daniel Country. McClarty Daniel has over a thousand used cars to choose from, so you're sure to find the perfect vehicle to fit your needs and budget. With six convenient locations in Bentonville and Springdale, you're never too far away from a great deal. But that's not all. If you're looking for something brand new, they've got you covered there too with a great selection of new cars available for you to upgrade to. So what are you waiting for? Come on down to McClarty Daniel and drive away in the car of your dreams. Online at McClarty Daniel. When you bundle your renters and auto insurance with Progressive, you could save money, but it doesn't cover any terrible memories living rent-free in your head. Remember when one of your best players got injured, but not like on a play or anything? He got injured celebrating a play, and it's not like it was a game-winning play or in the playoffs, and he was out the rest of the season because he was injured while celebrating? Yeah. Sorry, we can't save you from that memory, but we could save you money bundling your renters and auto insurance with Progressive. Coverage from Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and third-party insurers. Renters insurance and bundle discount not available in all states or situations. He's a former coach with two sons who played professional basketball. Satch Sullinger's a competitive individual, but his golf game was suffering because of painful joints. Right, that's real important, the golf game. Right, as we get older, we create these bad habits because we're relegated to hit a certain way. QC Kinetics used regenerative treatments all natural healing properties from Satch's own body to restore those damaged joints and get his golf game back on track. QC Kinetics Regenerative Medicine is regenerating me, all natural. And that's what I'm about. I'm going to tell everybody why I'm better. Oh, and by the way, it looks like the competitive Satch is back. We're all in the same boat, and I'm getting better, and I'm watching them stay old. Go to QCKinetics.com. Get relief and your game back. Call for your complimentary consultation. Call QC Kinetics, 479-999-1234. That's 479-999-1234. 479-999-1234. APAC Arcola and Standard Materials Group has immediate openings in the Northwest Arkansas area. If you're a licensed CDL driver, heavy equipment operator, electrician, diesel mechanic, have paving or concrete labor experience, or experience in a quarry, apply today at jobs.crh.com. APAC offers top pay, a sign-on bonus, benefits including insurance, retirement, and profit sharing. Apply online today at jobs.crh.com. APAC Arcola and Standard Materials Group is an equal opportunity employer. Hey there, I'm meteorologist Majestic Storm with your 4029 Camp Ready Weather Forecast. We have a beautiful day today across northwest Arkansas. We're looking at mostly sunny skies and afternoon highs today will rise into the mid-60s. Sunny but windy with those northwesterly winds gusting 30 to 35 miles an hour. Overnight, the sky will stay clear. Temperatures drop, though, into the upper 30s. More sunshine for our Friday as temperatures climb back into the 70s. I'm meteorologist Majestic Storm with your 4029 Camp Ready Weather Forecast. Have a great day. ESPN 99.5. We don't care if you love them or you hate them. All we ask is that you keep listening. This is Ruskin and Zach on ESPN Arkansas and streaming on hitthatline.com. All right, we're back. We need to, I I may work on this. The part of yesterday where the crowd reacted to all the names Chuck read, I think we need to analyze that, okay? Why? We've gotten a text about it from Joe and Van Buren. He basically feels bad for the lack of applause that Sam Pittman got yesterday. Well, I, I, I'd, I'd like to analyze this. It, I think the this the is, largest cheers were for Calipari, Tyson, Tyson, and Dave. Yeah, right? right. Yeah, okay, I don't much. have any problem with that. Yeah. Yeah, first of all, it was a basketball and Jimmy Dykeson. I got more applause than Jimmy Dykes. That's sad, man. I, he, well, nobody clapped. I was. I, I didn't. I don't know. I don't know what the what the deal. Well, they was. really hate the media, don't they? They really do. Jimmy Dykes. Uh, you yeah. got no no one clapped. It was sad. Well, that was that was unbelievable. Got Fourteen Twitter responses though. <laughs> People going. You're back! I mean, it was crickets yeah. in there. I felt really bad, and I didn't think that was fair either. Jimmy honestly, doesn't, Jimmy doesn't care. No, I know he doesn't care, but I care. Um. Honorable mention, Kamani Johnson got a loud round of applause okay. from the people. Yeah, I did have a thought about the Sam oh, please. Pittman applause. Yes, please. Oh. Well, so he was the very first name mm. that was read. And right. right before that, Chuck said, please hold your applause for the end. Okay. So right. it's always kind of awkward okay. that first name read. Yeah. So 
let's just say that's that's why. Okay. All right. Not that people hate him. Oh, well, that what we're that what we're going with? <laughs> okay. Huh. <laughs> yeah. You think uh, about it. Think about what? Oh. Th- <laughs> <laughs> that's one down. A lot of y'all also. Um, there are people bringing up things that we didn't see. For half of it, we were watching coverage that was so terrible from one of the local stations. The camera was flopping around like we were on the uh, on a cruise ship well, at, at that, Doc. That, that was 89 San Francisco type video. I it mean, was it bad. was horrible. They didn't show anything. Uh, you know, the camera's wobbling all around. I got nauseous. We had to switch to another channel that actually had a camera on a tripod. Knew what they were doing. And um, and we didn't see some of the things you all saw. I did not see Corey Beck in his uh, championship gear. That someone just texted era? about it. Yeah, I didn't see Would that. Show up in uniform? Well, I I don't know. I didn't see it. I mean, we didn't. We were uh, we, we saw the one shot, and that's about all we saw. We didn't see a lot of uh, cutaways and stuff. And we watched it uh, like we were on the uh, the deck of the Lusitania for a second. I mean, it was just all over. The- whoa, whoa, whoa! Yeah, it was it's crazy. Uh, it was it was it was a rough watch. When the Ever Given was on calmer season, the Ever Given just crashed in a in a in a canal. I mean, it wasn't like it was on the high seas. Or- yeah. But uh, I would I don't know who run uh, I don't know the intoxicated person that was running that camera. But my lord, it was uh, it was it was unwatchable. It's just it was uh, it was like we've done work in the six A West. That's, yes. that's better than yeah. That. Oh yeah, yeah yeah. And these are trained professionals, grown ups. It was not there was not anything to be proud of at all. So we changed the channel. Um, clearly, um, that uh, person running that camera room does not have the heart of a racer back. Couldn't hold no. the camera still. No. I mean, come on, we had a saboteur. <laughs> saboteur. <laughs> oh, all righty, let's see here. A TA wants to know if Musk watched. Of course he did. Yeah. That narcissist. Are you kidding me? Of course he watched. Uh, Kevin and Prairie Gross says, "Old Jimmy, it will be on TV next year, and everything good he says about the hogs will be things he said about Kentucky, and people will then hate him again." Yeah. He really gets done dirty. He really does. You know, I mean, it, it, it's amazing to me. Um, the um, the the media person that everybody loves didn't even go to that damn school, and uh, is a total uh, you know doofus. And then Jimmy went to that school, puts yep. the work in, you know, and He's all that, and, and the people hate him. Yeah. It, it is not fair. I don't like it at all. The, the way he gets uh he gets treated by the fans is not fair at all. Not at all. Yeah. And he's a good dude. Yeah. Like yeah, he's he one of the best people on God's earth. Yep. And uh, and everybody just just craps all over him. I, I just uh, I, I don't like it. I don't think it's right. I don't think it's right or fair. Well, because he's he pointed out very early on that this team was really soft last year after the uh, the Auburn game, and people uh, people got mad. Yeah. Uh, here's Sasquatch on the McClarty New Hotline. Yeah. Derek proven correct. People here don't crave wins; they crave relevance. That's true. Oh, well, you know, hold that thought. Um, we'll, we'll see where we are in, in. Now, here's one thing I don't think we have to worry about. Is every year we would put like January 15th as the deadline on the wait and see. I got a feeling they'll be a little bit more structured and organized in December going into conference season rather than playing half the conference season and hoping to figure it out. I don't know. And the more I think about that, I don't know. I mean, you're going to have 13 new players. They're not going to just be instant fake All right. chemistry. There, well, you know how I mean? many of those players do you believe he is bringing in with the idea of them starting? And playing five, th- seven, <laughs> eight, yeah. maybe. He's going to have his eye on about eight guys. The rest of them are towel poppers. That's all they're going to be. Here's uh, Joe in Centerton. Uh, my family watches Wheel and records Prices Right every night. Thank you, Joe. Appreciate nice. that. Makes me feel good. Um, that's uh, that's pretty good. Oh, here's a funny one. Uh, Ryan uh, texts in. Pittman realized his place last night. I guarantee it. No, 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 no. Pittman realized his place at the Duke game when more people were talking about Bobby being there and not him. That's when he learned his place. He knows. He knows. Or when he went to that parade, Zach went to it. Nobody said hi to him. <laughs> they didn't even acknowledge him. He knows. They didn't even acknowledge him. He knows. Him. He is he is equivalent thing. to a seat filler now. That's all. That's all he is. Um, and you know when you go four and eight, that's what happened. Um, but yeah, he is. Uh, uh, Eric he Greenwood knows. says he won him over last night. He wasn't sure going in, but the uh, the sales pitch worked. 
Okay, so won him over. What does that mean? Like you well, thought he would be bad, and no, 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 no. Good you don't, you don't go in there going, ah, I don't know about this guy. And at the end, you're just you're you're in love with him again. Look, he had a lot of sizzle last night. There wasn't a lot of steak there. Well, when he, he told a lot to... of stories, made you feel good. That, and did he lay out a plan? Do did he lay out a plan? Not really. Well, what's he going to do? Go well? I mean, what's the plan? I, I'm sure that they're going to as when the portal opens up again, they're going to go. Hey, this is a phone. Use it. Call some players. He didn't lay out much of a plan. I'm just saying. I mean, he did. Okay. Musselman laid out a plan in his. Uh, How'd that in, go? Well, I mean, went to two elite eights. Okay. He, he's the most accomplished coach here in 30 years. Um, <laughs> Nolan was there, right? I don't know if I, he made it. Or I, not. I was kind of half paying attention. They to definitely the they they spoke on the phone before. Okay. I don't know if he All made right. it in. I don't. I didn't. They didn't. I don't think they acknowledged him as being there. So I don't think he was there. Um. Uh, JT is sold. Hashtag uh, five natties. Okay. All right. Here, here's a text. And, and we're, we're at this point, I think. Uh, text around the 870, because it's always the 870 on the Laclarty Daniel hotline. Can I get a handle when you read my text? It's the only sort of relevance I have in this life. No, you sent disgusting feet pics. You're lucky we didn't <laughs> block you, you stooge. Well, uh, you know Come what? On. That's going to be his name. Feet pick guy. Oh, God. What? No. When you come up with something better, let me know. Okay. All right. Your feet pick guy. Yeah, that is gross. Terrible. Ugh. Terrible. Ugh. No. Ugh. So gross. Uh, let's mm. see here. What else do we got? Anyway, it was, it was a, uh, a fun time was had by Here's all. a text oh, out of 479. Who watched The Godfather last night? Did you? I, I checked in on it every now and then. Okay. Yeah. DQ? Yeah, I saw it. No. Okay. When they sent uh, what's-his-name away? Uh, Fredo? No, no, no. no. Was it Fredo? It may have been they Fredo. They sent him to Vegas. Yeah. To work under Mo Green, and then they shot Mo Green in the eye, <laughs> yeah. which I thought was a pretty bad way to go out. You know, I mean, I understand that Michael had to celebrate all the or settle all the family business, but dang, no, no. Uh, I, I'll, here you go, text, text out of Florida, um, apparently from the Panhandle area. Uh, my boys from Panama City Beach that I never hear from hit me up after uh, we hired Cal. That's relevance. The people who who pretend to be your friends that aren't really uh, texted you that's that's the kind of impact you get here from uh hey look from whatever works on calipari whatever works yeah are y'all gonna get together now or what like, yeah you're gonna so have gonna dinner like, a like, union you know, go golf like you're gonna do anything or or is this just like hey saw your coach cool yeah that's right um you know hey it's a it, it's a it's it's gonna be uh Hey, he he'll do great in the uh, in the uh, dinner uh, circuit. They're gonna love him. They're gonna love him. Uh, they'll the love him out on the road in the rubber, on the rubber chicken, chicken circuit, circuit. Yeah, they're gonna love it. Now the question is, now he might actually call the hogs there because there won't be as many cameras around. See, I'm I'm convinced, um, because you know Chuck explained this this morning that he was supposed to do it afterwards, but he made a detour towards the coaches. Yeah, he knew the whole time he wasn't doing it. He knew I'm not doing that. Have that be the meme on the internet? No, not doing it. He's got to do it. At he some point. knew it. Oh, he'll do it when there aren't cameras around. Now, but he was not doing it last. I night. spent a lot of time yesterday as we were sitting there uh, watching this thing. I spent a lot of time watching the Kentucky feed. They're jilted, and they feel um, they feel slighted. And today has been a terrible day for them. They're getting rejected left and right. They're the girl that's not as hot as they used to be. But uh, wow, they were. Every time they meant Cal mentioned something about Kentucky, they went berserk. Oh, he's talking ex- about Kentucky. Which is exactly how everyone behaved over, over here yes. six days ago yes. when they didn't yep. get Chris Beard. Everybody lost their yep. mind. Oh my God! Fire the AD. Now Kentucky's doing it, and we're going to laugh at that behavior. Yes, not exactly. fair. Exactly. That's how not sports fair. works. Not fair. That's how not sports fair. works. It's absolutely not fair. What I, I say? It. I love it. I mean, I love I love misery too. But I mean, it's not fair to critique criticize the same behavior you had not six days ago. I don't uh, think I that's totally right. Disagree. Well, I mean, it's it's fine, but it, it's wrong. It's wrong. It's not right. That's what I say. No, no, I say stomp on their graves. Do it. <laughs> Kick dirt on them. They're gonna get a coach. And I understand gonna get they're players, gonna get a coach. and it's gonna be. I fine. hope they hire former Kentucky great John Pelfrey. <laughs> oh, would you laugh at them then? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Bobby and Tony Town Hunter said they didn't offer beer. Yeah, we know. We 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 know they didn't offer beer. We uh, told you that. Text for the four seven. We told you that, that uh, he Calipari has been here longer than Dana Altman. Yeah, 
He only so, offered one guy the job. We know that. We told you that. We told you that Monday. They're only going to offer this to one guy, and it's probably going to be Calipari at this point. That's what we said. Revisionist history is very strong after these coaching uh, things, man. Everybody thinks they've got it all figured out. Like, yeah, we knew that. We told you that. We had that. And we don't know anything. Not a thing. Ruskin and Zach here. United Roofing and Waterproof. Enjoy Viviano and his team uh, service commercial, residential, and industrial roofs. Consultations are always free and schedule it online at unitedrw.com or call Joey at 479-312-7369. 312-7369 for United Roofing and Waterproof. And they bring you the Ruskin and Zach podcast that uh, that one guy listens to every night when he uh, puts his kid to sleep or whatever. <laughs> We put kids to sleep on this show. What a legacy. All right, more Ruskin and Zach soon. It's Thursday, April 11th. I'm Phil Reed. This is your 4029 News Update. John Calipari is the new head coach for the Razorbacks men's basketball team. Six local law enforcement agencies are taking part in a national recruitment campaign today in Los Angeles. A proposed Oklahoma bill would lower the age to buy a handgun from 21 to 18. Benville's public works director says the city plans to restore regular water service today. The water line serving both Benville and Cave Springs was damaged last week. The River Valley Professional Summit is happening tonight at the Marshalls Museum in Port Smith from 5.30 to 7. Special Olympics Arkansas is hosting the Area 4 Spring Games this morning. It's happening at Greenwood High School. From the River Valley to Northwest Arkansas and everywhere in between, make 4029 your home for the best live, local, and late-breaking news. Hi, this is Garen Armstrong with Shamrock Roofing and Construction. That small roofing company my father started 45 years ago has now become one of the largest roofing companies in America by following one rule, the golden rule. No one can install a better roof at a better price, a better warranty than Shamrock Roofing and Construction. Let our local family serve your family. Shamrock Roofing and Construction. Call today or visit us online at shamrockroofer.com. When you're looking for a new car, you want to shop for a vehicle you love with an organization you trust. You've probably heard that McCarty Daniel means making deals, but what I'm inspired by the most is that McCarty Daniel means making a difference in our community. When you buy a vehicle with McCarty Daniel, you reinvest right here in the community, in our schools, in our little leagues, in our food banks, and our people. So you're not just making a purchase, you're making a difference too. Come see us at any of our six locations in Northwest Arkansas. Spring camping season is here. Don't miss the NWA RV Show and Outdoor Party April 13th and 14th at 5102 West Pauline Whitaker Parkway in Rogers behind Nukes. Sponsored by two of the state's largest RV dealers, Wheels RV and Moix RV. With brands you love like Grand Design, Jayco, Brinkley, Flagstaff, Coachman Catalina, Vibe, and Winnebago. On-site financing available plus food trucks, a variety of vendors, and bounce house for the kids. Make plans to attend the NWA RV Show and Outdoor Party April 13th and 14th. 5102 West Pauline Whitaker Parkway, Rogers. Hey, Hog fans, join Matt Jones this Friday, April 12th from 11 to 2 as Halftime will be live at the All-American Steakhouse in Sports Theater in Springdale. They'll be talking all things Razorbacks, football, basketball, and baseball. There will not be a dull moment, so don't miss out on all the action at the All-American Steakhouse and Sports Theater. Just voted the best sports bar of Northwest Arkansas. Join Matt Jones this Friday from 11 to 2 at the All-American Steakhouse and Sports Theater on Sunset in Springdale. Pickup truck, sports car, motorcycle, minivan, townhouse, two-story, farmhouse, fixer-upper. What you drive and where you live is different for everyone, so it's important to have insurance that fits your needs and is just right for you. At Shelter Insurance, we understand that, which is why our agents help you design a comprehensive auto, home, and life insurance plan. Insurance that fits just right. Call Sean Garrison in Rogers or Greeks Covington in Farmington. 
Walk-ons is always a win. Whether it's a post-game celebration, drinks with the crew, or an easy weeknight dinner, Walk-ons has you covered. Scratch-made dishes, wall-to-wall TVs, craft beers and cocktails. Dig into mouth-watering menu items like po'boys, gumbo, and voodoo shrimp, plus fan favorites like juicy burgers and fresh salads. Find your nearest location in Rogers, Fayetteville, Fort Smith, Conway, and coming soon to Little Rock. Or order online or in the app. Walk-on Sports Bistro for the win. Hey, it's Phil Elson. From all these years watching baseball, I've grown accustomed to watching closers in their element. James Teague isn't closing innings anymore. He's closing cases. With almost 30 years in the business, Teague Law Firm is a general practice firm that can help you with most family law issues, divorce, custody, and child support. They can also help with criminal law, both felonies and misdemeanors. Call James and the Teague Law Firm at 479-877-1688. That's 479-877-1688. Online at teague-law.com. Teague Law Firm, if they can't help you, they'll talk football. If you're looking for a company to dispose of your waste responsibly, Cards Recycling is your best option in Arkansas. Operated with customers in mind, Cards takes the job out of your hands. Now with a state-of-the-art transfer station in Springdale, Cards accepts residential, commercial, and industrial waste, including construction and demolition material. Waste collection for businesses of all sizes, dumpsters, roll-offs, compactors, you name it, Cards can handle it. No job too big or too small, Cards does it all. Visit them online at cardsrecycling.com or give them a call, 877-59-CARDS. AKS Goshen Fayetteville, K237GR Johnson. This is ESPN Northwest Arkansas. Broadcasting live from the Cards Recycling Studio. Cards is the official residential, commercial, and recycling waste collection service of the Ruskin and Zach Show. ESPN Arkansas presents Derek Ruskin. Have we got a stadium? Yes. Have we got a college? Yes. Well, we can't support both. Tomorrow we start tearing down the college. And Zach Arns. Work, 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 work. Hello, boys. Have a good night's rest. I missed you. With DQ. Just going to go have fun. No one out there that I know of in the audience actively hates me. Call or text the McClarty Daniel hotline 866-285-4005. With six locations in Springdale and Bentonville, a good deal is never far away. Way, Ruskin and Zach. But if they hate him, why do they listen? Most common answer. I want to see what he'll say next. This is Ruskin and Zach on ESPN Arkansas and streaming on HitThatLine.com. Hi, right, we're back here on ESPN Arkansas and on the Hit That Line Now app. It's Ruskin and Zach. You can uh, text in or call us on the McClarty Daniel hotline at 866-285-4005. That's uh, how you can uh, join us here if we uh, continue to uh, um, enjoy a uh, a, a cigarette following uh, yesterday's uh, <laughs> ecstasy that uh, many uh, of you all felt out there. So, uh, Elf! <laughs> oh, well. It's a solid effort from Ty. Yeah. There's someone wanting to fire DJ Derek. Get well, out wait, of here get, with that. Don't slander. ever do that. Don't, don't. You know what? Take a. Uh, Never text me again. T- take a lap. <laughs> yeah, take, <laughs> take, take a lap. That's not. No. No, that's not no, what we're we not programming. Doing that. Yeah. 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 How um, did you even think that? I don't know. Didn't like mm. it. Do not do that. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you, DQ. Uh, it's a minute uh, now. A couple minutes after the hour. Our um, uh, we'd like a roster on the ones update if oh, we yeah. uh, could please. Roster on the ones. Yeah, Randy, I'm uh, still in the room by myself. Okay. All right. Let's see. Off the update. <laughs> We're committed to uh, the best coverage possible here on Ruskin and Tech. So uh, there you go. Uh, here's a fun one. Yeah. Let's toss this around the table a little bit. Okay. A text on the McClarty Daniel hotline. Mm-hmm. Let's not act like Coach Cal is HY's win. Tyson bailed him out. an interesting text to receive, isn't it? Huh. That that's, is not true at that's all. That's Brian and Van Buren on the McClarty Daniel oh, Hotline. With that. Brian, move. Brian. Um, that's not Brian and Ozark. Two it's things can Brian. be true at the same time. Mm-hmm. Again, I, I, I firmly believe that John Tyson reached out and said, um, yeah, he, he's available and might be interested. Would you like me to hook you up? Yeah. And, uh, you know, the Hunter sent the text, just said HMU, which stands for hit me up. And then uh, did he send you up? Uh, then W Y D. Cal sent back a text that said uh, B R B. That's be right back. 
And uh, and then uh, you know they uh, they did they do that right DQ. Yes. Thank you. All right. Yeah. And then uh, then they got to it. Yeah. It's funny how everybody's trying to figure out the percentage of responsibility that should be given to uh, mm-hmm. the people uh, in charge of these uh, in these situations. I was just uh, you know this is the first time the university's let Tyson hire a coach. He's been trying to hire Mouse on here for ten years. And Butch Davis and the universe and Butch Davis and the university never let that happen. But in this moment, they said, "All right." When they, we'll, uh, we'll let you do this. Let, let me put it this way. As long as they are not in the same room, when they are sitting down at their favorite rib joint, they will be solely responsible for the hiring of John Calabari. Okay. That's how it's going to go. Now, if they're in the same room, nobody will say a word. I see. But if, uh, if they're alone, well, a group of people just I, hanging on every word. I think it was pretty obvious, by the by, as we say in the wrestling business, the crowd pop. Who the uh, crowd thought was uh, more responsible for this? That because uh, yes, Tyson got a louder ovation than Hunter Urich. Yes, but those in the uh, position of authority will never uh, will never get that much uh, that much. Run. I've become an expert at analyzing these crowd pops because that's of, surprising. Because of all those years mm-hmm. of listening to um, the in memoriam on award shows, and the crowd would cheer mm-hmm. for the okay. people they liked the most. Yeah, and you know when you're like an assistant director that worked on Goodfellas, you know, like three people clap. <laughs> but if you're like, uh, you know, if you're um, um, De Niro, if you're well, he's alive, um, you're um, you're Robin Williams. <laughs> you know, is, that, is that one of those deals? So I'm keenly aware we're going to get this audio and we're going to analyze this like it's the friggin's Zapruder film. And we're going to see what the people think, because they, the applause never lies. Zach. The applause. Well, never lies. The, the applause may never lie, but the applause is not always correct. Well, the people. This is how the people feel. They vote with their hands. Oh, they're doing this in a, in, a, in a motion. You know, they clap. That's what they do. Okay. That's how the people vote. Uh, let's see here. Uh, what do we got here? Um, he, he says that uh, they got a curtain call. The Tyson's got a, a curtain call. Yeah, he did, really did. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that was that was a uh, that was like an ovation for the Barbie movie at Con. I mean, it was uh, it was pretty lengthy. I think he would have liked that. <laughs> it was really good. <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> uh, let's see. Here. Any new movement on the uh, Kentucky thing? Are they? Are they uh, no, they are. So they are in full panic mode. Apparently, uh, Dan Hurley, Scott Drew have both said no. That's right. And now they are. Uh, I heard Bruce Pearl this morning uh, as a possible um, uh, a possible replacement. Uh, they they're going to find uh, they're going to get somebody. This, yes, this they will the, hire a coach. That this is, has all the earmarks of the Arkansas coach. This is this is my report. They will hire a they coach. They will hire yes. a coach. This is exactly <laughs> the way the Arkansas uh, search went. First three guys said no, allegedly, and then uh, they they hired you know the guy out of left field. Yeah. So I fully expect Pat Riley to come walking through that door. Oh, Pat Riley, I'm going to run it back. Yeah, there was a uh, a post I saw that um they could offer Dan Hurley twenty million dollars a year, and he's He'd not coming. Say no. He'd say no, yeah. That is uh, that's something. Well, what about twenty five? <laughs> they, they, look, they, at this point, the the thing is, long the longer that job stays open, the more likely it is that they're going to overpay for someone, and this thing will become a complete disaster. Which, sign me up. That's fine. Wait, so they could overpay for someone, and it turns into a complete disaster? Absolutely. Okay. They could. Go, I didn't think that was possible. Anymore. Oh no, no, it's it happened here, um, and there, and. A couple of other places. I mean, they're going to hire somebody, and they're probably going to have to reach a little bit. They're going to have to convince someone to go to Kentucky. No one is crawling to Lexington. I think I should invite Cal to the wedding. Yeah, do that. It would violate uh, the, my celebrity rule, which I have to be the most famous person in the media there. So, so if DQ's going to be there, you're not. DQ, you're not. <laughs> the invitation has been and, rescinded. And the way the retired Rube is going... Uh, he may surpass you. He's having quite the glow up. He um, is. He, he is. really is. Is he going to grow his hair out like Bob Ross? Because I really want to. He is to. not. No, but he did once. You know, I know. I saw that photo on the his photo of you know, the we're wedding. He yeah. and I are Facebook friends now. Oh, um, <laughs> yeah. Him and your fiance. Yeah. And now I think your mom and I are Facebook friends, too. Yeah. Is so, that true? Yeah, you're surrounded. Yeah, uh, I hate this. I can't wait. I hate it here. <laughs> One of the things I can't wait for is when your mom starts posting pictures of you as a baby. Uh, like that's I, usually during birthday. Yeah, months that's that's happens. what I'm I'm very excited about all of this. So yeah, here it is. Uh, Matt Norlander is reporting they could give him twenty million a year and he wouldn't go. Talking about Hurley going uh, and uh and Kentucky, leaving UConn. 
and he's got a dynasty going right now. I mean, you know, why, why, why would you go away from that? I mean, hey, that's Storrs, a, Connecticut is not a bad town to, to live in. It's expensive. And, you know, I don't know how much people bother him up there, but I mean, Probably he wins, so lot. who cares? I mean, that's uh, pretty good. It's a pretty good situation. Um, All right. Well, it's we're here eight minutes after the hour on Ruskin and Zach, 866-285-4005. Lance and Bentonville have conspiracy theory. He says that Cal didn't do the, uh, the hog call thing because he wants to avoid the jazz finger debate. He didn't want to pick a side right, this exactly, early? That's yeah, not a bad yeah. move. No, DQ, you're wrong. It's not jazz <laughs> fingers. It's not. It's just, look, your dad. Your dad is a man of the woods, right? He is <laughs> yeah. a man that, that, that spends <laughs> his time outside. Has he ever had pigs? No. Okay. If he did, and he had to call them, would he jazz finger? No, he would not. Because he's a rugged yeah, outdoorsman. Because he's a rugged But they outdoorsman. teach you at the U of A right. to jazz Who finger. Who teaches you? The student orientation. Uh -huh. But it's written on did, the website. But where did they learn it from? It's on the website. They learned it from the spirit squad. Who are doing all, they're doing this stuff So wrong. the spirit squad is or doing is it blame. wrong. Correct. The it's ones the who correct. have to do it yes. the most. Yes, it's correct. correct. They're doing it wrong. There are no. They also howl at the front of it, yeah. which is not. Uh, a yeah, lot I don't either. like that either. Yeah. I think you're wrong. I think it is jazz fingers. No, it's not. Chuck did it correctly, but the jazz finger lobby has taken him to task today on yeah, the message boards. Uh, he's really. Uh, yeah, he's. he's they scared. are. They're just hammering away on him because he doesn't use the jazz fingers. Yeah. Frankly, I'm not that coordinated. I couldn't do the <laughs> jazz finger. Like I, I. I mean, I would look like I'm having some sort of medical condition. If, if I do that thing. And I, I don't do it anyway. I think it's part involuntary. Like, I think uh, when you hold a note like that for a long time, you feel like you need to be doing something with your hands you know, other another, than just holding you know, it in the air. That, that doesn't that I don't like about the, the hog call thing they're doing now is when they, they'll they start with the howl. The I hate that. And That's then wrong. there are people in the middle of it going, oh, 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 oh. I hate uh, that. Yeah. I mean, this, this is not Arkansas State, people. This is not a tractor pull. Okay? <laughs> you want to do that stuff, you go to Jonesboro. Go to J Boogie, you go down to UCA. That's fine. You want to do that stuff? This is, you know, this this is the flagship. It's not yeah, right. Exactly. This is the flagship, the bell cow. Right. All right. Of course, they always sink the flagship for, but whatever. That is immaterial yeah. to this argument. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Be says he thought he saw Kenna last night when they uh, panned to the band. Was she uh, was she performing last night at the uh, at the the shindig? She did go. Yeah. Okay. Well, there you go, Be. Yeah, that's how we found out about the thing. Yep. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> she told us. Oh, I guess it's, 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 it's over. Kenna told us. The cat's out of the bag yeah. now. See, I knew all along, but I couldn't tell you. That's the, uh, I get this. It, it, it feels good to say that. I know why on, they do that. The now. source on all of that was Kenna. That's right. Yeah. We could reveal our now, source. Clay told us Tuesday. Kenna was right. So big ups to Kenna. Kenna scooped Clay. Yeah, yeah she did. Way to go. Now, when yeah. she was told that she had to be there 5 15, did she go, well, she didn't have to go. Oh, okay. Okay. It was just an optional. Well, they wanted to have a band there, but the whole band didn't have to go. Okay. So, shout out to Kenna. She's our new on campus source. Yeah, way to go. Yeah, thanks, Kenna. Right. What's she studying? I mean, in her college way? career, we may have a couple more of these. So, this yeah, could be yeah, an yeah, invaluable uh, resource. DQ never got to see kind of scoops. Every time I'd ask DQ what was going on on campus, she didn't know. <laughs> Kenna knows. She's in the end. Right. Now, what, in the what is she majoring in? Music education. Oh, okay. It's going to be a band teacher. Yes. Cool. All right. Okay. Already putting that degree to use, helping us. <laughs> uh, DQ's father is texting that he's not really a fan of the hog call. Who? Kenny and Elkins. It's right no. there on the screen. What? Oh, okay. Now, I'm telling you, there are men at these games. And I, I, went to, I went to one a week ago that stand there. They'll stand up. They're not doing it. And we all, it's a silent society. And um, we got a big, we got our most famous member the other day when Cal did not do this. No, the leader. I don't do it. There's other people that sit around me that don't do it. I mean, everywhere I go. Now, there's guys that do it too, but there's now, also people that don't. Now, people your age, it may be an arthritis thing. I've just never been a, a fan of, uh, of, uh, pledges and creeds mm -hmm. and like being made to do things in mass like it's not my thing Let's just go back to the uh your sister just beating on you as a child it goes back to my uh my uh rebelling against my private school raising where everybody had to do the same thing and walk the same way and all uh -huh. that I, I don't i don't 
I don't believe much in uh, chants. Now, not a big chant fan anymore. Kenny <laughs> says that uh, you, you said doesn't like the hog call. He also would just rather stay sitting down. No, there's also that option. He loves option. a good sit. <laughs> he likes good. to sit. With his Pepsi? Oh, yeah. Well, they don't sell Pepsi anymore. No, not at the games. They don't and sell them. Yet. I don't think he's bold enough to sneak it into a sporting event. No. Look, if you're sneaking Pepsi into he a sporting event. He sneaks it into my sister's band and choir concerts. Does he have a flask for his Pepsi? No, he keeps it in his back pocket. <laughs> I guess they're not going to frisk him. Oh, boy. Oh. You know, it's uh, as the uh, as the song once said, uh, when I was younger, I played make believe. Now, when I close my eyes, I just fall asleep. Amen. Dream on. Uh, Dream Shane on. and Elma proposing the uh, the hog call be shortened from three verses to one. OK, well, well, I think maybe a compromise at two. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Jeff and Alma is confused over uh, what to do with his hands during the hog call. Well, you know, we're trying to help you out or option B. Just stand there. Your presence is enough of a support That's for correct. the team. Yep. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. You know what? This is still America for a little while yeah, longer. Do whatever you want. Uh, here's your life. First hog game was in 1976 against Rice for his 13th birthday. Yep. He has never done jazz fingers. Ever. Young okay. man's out of, out of Charleston, Arkansas. Way to go, Charleston. God's country. Well done, sir. People of the land. Well done, sir. It's very good. All right. Uh, 15 uh, minutes after the yeah. hour. Um, B.E. lip syncs the hog call. I, I'll give it. I'll I give, do that during the pledge. How about uh, that? I'll give Fun it, fact. I will uh, I will give it this. <laughs> the The hog call is not nearly as bad as Rocky Top. Rocky Top, they play 120 times a game. Okay. Again, all of this is the same. It's just putting different labels on it. No. The yell people, the hog call, Rocky Top, it's all the same. It's just different places. It's different ways of groups identifying each other, but it's all the same. Rocky Top, you'll always be home sweet home to me. Good uh, Rocky Top. Rocky Top. I love that. Uh, <laughs> the, the greatest celebration is that the phone works in that song. <laughs> God almighty. Uh, Andrew Lowell has pointed out since yesterday, your presence and 20% of your annual Well, that's also fair, yes. Up. Yes, please. We uh, we like the money that jingles. We prefer the money that folds. Also, someone sent us a fun screenshot of the closed captioning, and it actually said, Hunter, you're a check. You're a yeah. check. Y-O-U apostrophe R-E-A check. Uh, I, just, DQ, yeah, I got a kick uh, out your of that. Your, uh, Jay points out that if your dad would wear some cargo shorts, he could put the Pepsi in the cargo pockets. He doesn't wear cargo shorts. You know what? Maybe he'd, maybe he'd like to you know, branch out this year. No, he wears jeans. He has been loving his Lululemon pants. So he wears oh, those. Uh, oh, yeah. oh, oh, we yes. have got some uh, some breaking uh, DQ family news. Uh -oh. Um, Olivia, uh -oh. uh, your dad is report. Hang on a second. Let me find this. Uh, and Kenny and Elkins is reporting uh, the folks in the music building will kick you out. if You try to carry in and get caught. Your mom got caught and got booted. Oh, I, did your mom get busted? I do remember one time when I was there that she had to throw away her throw away her drink. Are you? They've been a couple times that I haven't been. Are you concerned that your dad just willingly throws your mom under the bus? <laughs> I bet my mom doesn't like that. Well, your mom listens, and she'll be texting in shortly. And I feel like <laughs> I feel like we're gonna get caught in the middle. It's of, like of the other marital... party's response right. to the yeah, state of the union. In the middle of this marital spat, and that's going to make me uncomfortable. You? Yes. No. Yes. This is why I got a good we've divorce attorney. Seen, we've never seen yes. you uncomfortable. This would make me uncomfortable. This is why I got a good divorce attorney. So I don't have to deal with this crap anymore. Wow. Well, you, went, my, you went there. Huh? My yeah. mom doesn't have as big of pockets as my dad does in his pants. And he so. wouldn't help out his wife? You Apparently know, not. <laughs> you know, all women do all day is, is complain about not having pockets. Uh -huh. I, it, it's, yeah. it's exhausting. No, right. whoa, whoa, you don't know we don't what have it, pockets. You don't know what it's well, like to well, not have wear pockets. Some cargo oh, well, shorts. I got pockets. Yeah. You know what you could do? Buy pants with pockets. That's right. It's very simple. DQ, is your hear about family a crime family? No. Well, did your mom get bounced from like the, the Gambinos? Building? Yeah. Gambino? You guys? <laughs> well, usually not a crime family. <laughs> usually not. Yeah, okay. All right. Good. 
Huh. I, I'm very uncomfortable. Hey, it is that. Madison County, so I mean yeah. there aren't many rules out there. And, I mean, and think true. about that. Like Kenny, how I mean they're driving up from Madison County. That's a 40 minute drive. Oh. That that Pepsi was in his back pocket for a while. Oh, he stops at Casey's like once a day oh, to get a okay. Pepsi. Uh, they have it there. Now wait a minute. You get on to me. I get on to him too. Don't worry. Okay. Oh. I also tell him he needs to drink more water. And what is he? And tell his you? solution is, well, I've had sweet tea. Yes. <laughs> huh. Oh boy. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's not the right answer. Oh yeah, good uh, good point, uh, DQ. Uh, if you need a good, if your parents need a good divorce attorney, uh, see Jackie Mock at the Mock Legal. Solutions. Nothing more American than suing people, people, right? Right now, there you go. <laughs> yeah. All right. Huh. Uh, your dad does point out after 27 years of marriage, there's not much else he can say to damage that relationship. True. <laughs> if it hasn't happened, if divorce hasn't happened yet. It's not going to. Again, I mean, I, well, this is like the Soprano family. Like, I mean, eventually, Carm just uh, and, and and Tony, they just, you know, they understand again, this is the way this it is. is very, this has been very uncomfortable because I feel like I'm showing up to the uh, the TV show Wife Swap, and the you know, the, you it's not you, what I thought you know who is, no, they're fine. They're you great. know who has driven this entire uncomfortable conversation? You, you have started all of it. You've got us here. <laughs> okay, but <laughs> yes, now but, you've killed 19 minutes. I greatly appreciate that, but <laughs> but there is a method to the madness. You can't, at times. You can't say this is well, awkward. I didn't think we you gonna started get into, it. I didn't think we were going to get into Kenny right now. DQ's mom. Yeah, I didn't know. That yeah, I didn't know we were going she'd there. Been, she'd been removed from the premises. Right. Well, she didn't know about waiting, that. She's gonna be waiting for him when he gets home, isn't she? Probably We're running. I at, think they ride home together. So if, what? <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Oh, is she going That's to the a tough one? <laughs> now, she, uh, now, when the car stops, do they both open up the doors? He goes to the sawmill. She goes to the illegal chicken farm. She does go check on the chickens, and he usually does go to the sawmill. That is, that is going to be a quiet ride home. Yeah, nobody's on that. Powered one. by Mr. Yeah, Sparky. Yeah. Ooh. All right, let's uh, let's uh, break here for a minute. We we must. Uh, we have uh, we've done our hilarious so duty for now, and uh, now we uh, will uh, break here. Stay with us on Ruskin and Zach. It's twenty after the hour. <laughs> Join the local conversation on the McClarty Daniel Hotline. 866-285-4005. McClarty Daniel, a vehicle for every lifestyle. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential. But finding those people can be a major hassle. Unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. And right now you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash free. With ZipRecruiter, one click sends your job to hundreds of top job sites. But more than that, ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies the candidates with the skills you need, sends you a list of great matches to review, then actively invites them to apply for your job. And the results speak for themselves. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. That's right, the first day. Now you can focus on your business and let ZipRecruiter do the work finding the best people for you. See for yourself. Experience the ease, efficiency, and power of ZipRecruiter for free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. ZipRecruiter.com slash free. It's Ruskin and Zach. Give me the hug, Chuck. When you're looking for a new car, you want to shop for a vehicle you love with an organization you trust. You've probably heard that McCarty Daniel means making deals, but what I'm inspired by the most is that McCarty Daniel means making a difference in our community. When you buy a vehicle with McCarty Daniel, you reinvest right here in the community, in our schools, in our little leagues, in our food banks, and our people. So you're not just making a purchase, you're making a difference too. Come see us at any of our six locations in Northwest Arkansas. Prescriptions require an online consultation with a healthcare provider who will determine if appropriate restrictions apply. See website for details and important safety information. Subscription required. Price varies based on product and subscription plan. Hey guys, did you know there's a generic form of Viagra that works just the same but is 95% cheaper? And you can get it online at hymns.com slash joy. Through Hymns, you'll get a free medical consultation to determine the ED medication that's best for you. Discreet shipping if prescribed, a 100% online process, and a range of treatment options, including trusted generic alternatives to the name brands, at up to 95% off. ED is personal, and at Hymns, so is treating it. Just go to hymns.com slash joy and get connected to a licensed medical provider online for free. With zero copay, no expensive appointments, 
and no awkward face-to-face conversations. To start your free online visit, you need to go to this exclusive address, hymns.com slash joy. That's hymns.com slash joy for your free online visit, H-I-M-S dot com slash J-O-Y. Your one-stop shop for everything golf. Golf USA in Fayetteville. The best selection, the biggest brands. Titleist, Callaway, Pink, TaylorMade, Mizuno, PXG. Great golf apparel by Travis Matthew. FootJoy, Adidas, Nike, Bad Birdie, and William Murray. And Golf USA has been a Golf Digest top fitter six years in a row. They have full club repair and two hitting bays for custom fittings and indoor play. We are as golf as it gets at Golf USA. 3184 North College in Fayetteville. How do I drive more traffic to my website? How do I increase my Google rankings? If these are just a few of the questions you have for your business, then we should talk. In addition to sports radio marketing, ESPN Arkansas can help your business be found online. From website design to geo-targeted campaigns, search engine marketing, social media management, streaming video campaigns, and much more. ESPN Arkansas is your digital marketing partner. Go to ESPNArkansasDigital.com for your free digital marketing audit or email us at sales at hitthatline.com to schedule an appointment. Needing an electrician? Call the pros at Mr. Sparky. All of our certified electricians provide five-star electrical work. If you have problems with an outlet, blown fuse, ceiling fan, need a panel replacement, or even a safety check, we've got you covered. Day or night, 24-7. And all of our work is 100% guaranteed. You can trust your electrical work with Mr. Sparky. You don't have to put up with any malarkey. Call 888 sparky Richard's Country Meat Market has everything you need for an old-fashioned crawfish boil. Live crawfish, shrimp, sausage, corn, and potatoes. Give Richard a call by Wednesday to place your crawfish order and pick it up on Friday. While you're there, choose from mild to spicy seasonings for a delicious Cajun crawfish boil. Plus, Richard's has the best selection of fresh fish like salmon and cod. With over 25 years of business, you know Richard's Country Meat Market is the only place to get top choice in prime meat. Teddy Jean hams, fresh fish, crawfish, and in-house season. Richard makes it easy with in-store and curbside pickup. To place your order, call ahead at 479-443-0000. Richard's Country Meat Market in Fayetteville, one block east of College and Rolling Hills Drive. For curbside pickup and to place your crawfish order, call Richard's Country Meat Market at 443-0000. 443-0000. Richard's Country Meat Market in Fayetteville, 479-443-0000. When you're looking for your next side-by-side motorcycle, ATV, or zero-turn mower, look no further than your local Wood Power Sports store. With convenient locations in Springdale, Fayetteville, and Harrison, we've got nine brands to choose from. If you can think of it, we've probably got it. These three convenient locations also provide you with outstanding service and parts capabilities. Want to know more? Visit us online at woodpowersports.com. Pick your brand, location, or shop all three. We look forward to earning your business. Wood Power Sports, a solid name you can trust. When you're looking for a new car, you want to shop for a vehicle you love with an organization you trust. You've probably heard that McCarty Daniel means making deals, but what I'm inspired by the most is that McCarty Daniel means making a difference in our community. When you buy a vehicle with McCarty Daniel, you reinvest right here in the community, in our schools, in our little leagues, in our food banks, and our people. So you're not just making a purchase, you're making a difference too. Come see us at any of our six locations in Northwest Arkansas. ESPN 99.5. Join the local conversation on the McClarty Daniel Hotline, 866-285-4005. Giving you the entertainment you deserve. Here's Ruskin and Zach. New, oh, look at that. And the news is brought to you by the good chair because Zach has to have a place to sit, get the good chair only at the stadium shop. Tell Robert, Joe Bonamassa sucks, and you want a seat in the good chair. Mm-hmm. It's official John Calipari is the new head coach at the University of Arkansas and the new head uh, hog in basketball that was announced yesterday at a press conference. Arkansas baseball team, they'll open up a three-game set tomorrow against Alabama in Tuscaloosa, game time, 6 p.m. Former interpreter for Los Angeles, Dodgers outfielder, pitcher, and other stuff, Shohei Otani sold more than $16 million over two years His Ohtani footman <laughs> to pay off gambling debts to an illegal sports book, according to an affidavit filed by the Fed. Whew, he is facing up to a $1 million fine, 30 years of prison. 
O.J. Simpson, uh, decorated football superstar, Hollywood actor, uh, who was acquitted of murdering his wife and her friend, passed away at the age of 76. A statement from his family said he had been battling cancer. The Ruskin and Zach Expo, brought by our friends at Unlimited Heat and Air in Springdale, 479-225-8809. After the introduction last night, how do you feel? 59.4% of you are in wait-and-see mode. When it rains, is it a dad's responsibility to tell his children we needed that? 87.9% yes. of you said yes. Have you ever stubbed any of your middle three toes? 52.6% of you said yes. Looking forward to Chuck having an answer to that one. <laughs> Is he available, by the way? Are yes, we getting yeah, him yeah, today? Yeah, oh, yeah, okay. I didn't know if he was traveling. Or no, no, I talked to him this morning. Uh, do you think your parents ever looked sure at you and said, Oh, yeah, he can't wait. Uh, do you ever think your parents ever looked at you and said, I did all I could? 78.7% of you said yes. Those of you Ruskin and Zach X polls brought to you by our good friends at Unlimited Heat and Air in Springdale. 479-225-8809. This is the ultimate penthouse to outhouse moment in less than 24 hours. Chuck Barrett goes from MC of the Calipari uh, celebration to talking to us. That's correct. That is this top is, floor to basement right there. This is just a reminder to Chuck that you can always be the most. Hey, stay humble, yeah, man. Yeah, stay humble, stay, man. You, so you keep you humble. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this guy was on so many TV sets. Yesterday and now in in an hour and a half he's going to be here doing right. this. And if that don't humble you, what will? I mean, come on. I mean, he was everywhere, <laughs> nationwide, man, nationwide. And now he'll be doing this. I do that like, is a come down. You know, he was in town. I was like, hey, well, why don't you just come on in? No, 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 no. I'm not going to do that. He'll no. never do the segment in here. No, never. I don't blame him. Never will. It'd be infinitely better, but he would, he'll never do it in here. Oh no. I say that he's going to walk through the window yeah. one of these days. Hey guys, guys, I'm here from a, I'm here from a close up, Mister Deville. Um, he did a very nice job of staying the heck out of the way, like you say, mm -hmm. like keep the thing moving and get out of the it's, way. It's really he's, one of the best pieces of quote, it's a quote, skill. Showbiz advice is get in, get out. It's They're a skill. Not there to see you. It's a skill. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Get in, get out. Now the question is, does Cal even know anybody's name? Is everybody having to wear name tags? Around okay. The, uh, That's it's funny you say that. Uh huh. Um, my father was quite impressed at all the names he was remembering, like from life. Like he's one of these people. Okay. He's the opposite of me in that he remembers all the names. I don't remember any of the names. Why do you think he's where he is? Maybe I need to ask him his device. Like, what's your secret? Do you repeat it? Do you uh, look him in well, the eye? He, like, what's his secret? He was, I mean, we he, know your secret, he, but what's his? He told a great story about Joe Klein. Crowd ate that up. Yeah. Uh, Run floppy. You know, ta ta he, he, Talked about Nolan. Does Kinsey know how to run floppy? Uh, Kinsey, no. Oh, okay. I, I, no. Okay. No. No, I watched her. Like, said everybody knows how to run floppy. I watched floppy. her get beat last night by a plastic bag. I, oh, okay. I, yeah, I don't really have high hopes for her. Okay. All right. Is she with watching? Right? We're, we're, the Twitch is working. Um, it wasn't see, working see, earlier. Yeah, it's yeah, working. It, we got one Twitcher yeah, on it's there. Probably her. Got a Twitch. It's probably her. It's Twitch. She's. Where is go. she right now? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I forget no, where she not, is. <laughs> You should know that. Well, no, no, no. I mean, she's at school. I just, I don't know if she's in uh, in basketball or not. Yeah. She's, what was I talking about? I don't know. She's don't on the track. She's actually walking. Right now. DQ, what was I talking about? I don't know. I can't remember anyone. Oh, name. yeah. I want to ask him a secret. Yeah. yeah he, he, you, you were talking about how you couldn't remember anything. If we ever get to talk to him, and we never will, but no. if we do. No, it would be an accident. I'm going to be like, Coach, you remember all these names. How do you do it? What's your secret? Because I've heard a lot of stuff. I don't, I don't, have, a, I don't have a thing. You repeat it. You look him in the eye. Like, what's the deal? What's the secret? Learning name because he knows all these names. Maybe you know? it's just and hear me out on this. Maybe it's just taking a genuine interest in the person that you're meeting and taking time to remember their name. No, that can't be. That it. can't it's be it. Be okay, something. all right, can't be that. Maybe it's just you know common courtesy when somebody you know sticks their hand out, you remember their name. Repeat it back to them. And then when they leave, you say, "Hey, fill in the blank. It was nice to meet you." That's how you do it. Oh, that's it. You mentioned it a couple times, right? I don't think it's really hard to remember Joe Klein's name. Six foot eleven, the tall guy. Yeah, he used to have red hair. Yeah, yeah the, the, the tall guy that can play basketball. Right? You mean play basketball? Yeah, him. I um. All right, let's see here. Mm. What is this? Um. Uh, Brad in Springdale. A question for you, DQ. There's a bird flu outbreak in New York. Does that mean the computer uh, viruses is impacting the robot? Ooh, great question. What is a bird flu? The avian flu? Yeah. What is that? 
It's just carried by it's birds. It's a strain yeah. of the flu that originated. Carried yeah. by birds? Yes. It's worse than COVID. Fair. So is that real? Good question. Thank does, you. Does In this... New York, I don't know. Okay. Okay. Here's here's something. Does, if this is worse, does this mean that when this spreads here, that um, it's going to take me five minutes to drive to work again because no one's going to be on the road again? Because I really enjoyed that. I'm well, not going to lie to you. you're coming from, no, it will take you much longer than that. I enjoyed the much, lack of traffic much, much, much but during the initial stages of that. It's pretty great. I'm not going to yeah, lie to you. You know, it wasn't the worst thing in the world. There was, God, what a weird time. I cannot wait to see the documentaries on the, the first, like, oh, four you're, months. You're, you're going to watch a documentary now? Really? I you make know. fun of me? Well, first of all, the documentaries you watch are dumb. <laughs> dumb. DQ. Help. They're not dumb. DQ. They interest me. It's just like... You D seem D to watch Q. every documentary that has ever come out. That is not true. Or that could ever exist and about any subject ever. No, 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 no. I watch the good ones. What, what's the last one you watch? You watch the niche ones. Yeah, you do. Like the making of certain songs yeah. and okay. the very specific. It was We Are the World. It no, wasn't but... some certain song. I mean, okay, was... but you watch documentaries about the making of movies. It yeah. was on Netflix. Yeah, you do. It's not like I had to go hunt this thing out in a back alley somewhere. What it happened? Was... What happened? Why are you the way you are? I have uh, I have very specific interests. Uh, none of them involve sports, by the way. And uh, you know, I like to uh, learn about stuff. I still like to learn, Zach. That's what it is. Yeah, but you don't remember it. That's not learning. Well, I like to. I like to. There's a fundamental hole in your learning, which is you don't remember any of it. Learning would imply that you take the information in and you retain it, which you do not. I'm having a good time. I don't do you know. know her name? Who? <laughs> yes, I'm not giving it to these no, creeps. No, 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 Are I you just, crazy? It was a simple yes or no, and you responded with who? I uh, I like to learn about things. Can I say? Okay, again, learning implies that you retain the information. No, 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 that's retention. Learning is different. Retention, I, yeah, <laughs> I'm scoring very low on that. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. Huh. Very wow. judgy about the, uh, the, no, 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 the no. shows I watch in no, there. No, no, I was saying. Yeah, very judgy. No, I. The everyone job. should have a hobby. Thank you. The shows you watch. <laughs> Yours is suck. weird documentaries. Yeah, it's not not like mainstream or important documentaries. You watch. You know, how is this? I've case? seen those too. Is I this, watched tw uh, twenty feet from stardom. I've seen that. The one about the backup singers. That was the bigger <laughs> that won an Oscar. I think. <sighs> You've never seen that one? No. I can't help you then. I don't <laughs> okay. know what to tell you. I watched June 17th, 1994. Now, that is a great documentary. We have some breaking news. No narrator in that. Uh, Kentucky is uh, a reported uh, going to set to interview Pete Bell. Oh. That's where we are. I thought we had real news. No, for a absolutely there. not. No, we don't do Pete real news. Bell. Yeah, Pete Bell, Western University. There was a fit. Somebody on one of these Kentucky message boards floated the idea that they were going to hire Patino for a year. Now, Arkansas fans, sit for a second. And let him be the bridge to the next coach. Now, oh, the bridge to the future. So, yeah, the bridge to the, they're going to hire seventy-one-year-old Rick Patino, who's happy at St. John's, very good for a a, a year to let him uh, sort of bridge. The, now, the last time anyone hired a coach for a year as a bridge, how'd that go? I've got no answers. Okay, all right. Uh, would you look care for a Masters update? I I I. I I love a Masters update. Well, I can't do it as well as Chris Vernon. Shout out to uh, Chris Vernon's show. He does the best Masters updates because he does like a hip hop like uh, party mm. version. And this year, he's got like chains and a green jacket and sunglasses, and he has like four um, mascots dancing behind him the whole time. Mm -hmm. It's really, uh, it's really entertaining. Uh, people that know know that for the real Masters updates, you have to go to the Chris Vernon show. But I'll do the best I can. Uh, Bryson DeChambeau is your leader at seven under. Danny Willett is four under, three back. And uh, Eldrick Tiger Woods is a uh, one under. And he is, um, uh, let's see here. Gave up um, sex for this? <laughs> really? He's just starting his round. He's on the third hole. But he is a uh, one under par. So really? there you go. Yeah. Okay. Masters on ESPN right now from the that famed Augusta weird. National Golf Club. In Augusta, Georgia. Hmm. So um I could use a good ass kick, and I'll be very honest with you. <laughs> so that's uh that's what's going on right now on ESPN at the eighty eighth Masters, a tradition unlike any other. Hello, friends.
Just don't take the sand. It's Vern's last uh, Masters. Did your dad go into that or something? No, he didn't go. He didn't go this year? He won tickets and didn't go, which I believe is the ultimate man card revocation. If you if you win the Masters lottery why, and don't why go. Why did he not go? He was freaked out because of our... Um, Enough our, said, yes. By the eclipse. He was freaked out. He thought that you know people were going to be still in their cars three days later on the interstate, stuck. Uh huh. <laughs> uh huh. So um, that's uh, that's the deal. Uh, all righty. Uh, Brian wants us to know who uh, Tiger's sponsor is. I don't know. We don't have a. Uh, uh, we're we're blacked out in here. We don't have the coverage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I mean, I can fix that if that's uh, if that's what we're doing. I I was not prepared to talk about uh, Tiger Woods. I'm sorry. Well, he's not going to win. So no. No, no, no. Yeah. Uh, all right. This seems like a good time to stop, doesn't it? Anybody got anything? Good lady. <laughs> all right. Very good. Fire away. <laughs> I actually like that. Oh, you like that one? Okay. All right. All right. Hickey and Hall Law Partners have you covered in the River Valley, Northwest Arkansas, Little Rock, and in Mina. They specialize in divorce, custody cases, and civil litigation hickey and hall has over 70 years combined experience to better serve you and they're ready to work for you go to kevin hickey law.com or call 479-434-2414 today to schedule your consultation or go by and see them at hickey and hall law partners in the river valley northwest arkansas little rock and in mina kevin hickey law.com or 479-434-2414 this is ruskin and zach that is my sense of humor coming across ESPN Arkansas and streaming on hitthatline.com. Is your heating and air system up to task? Call Kelly and Larry, the champion heating pros at Unlimited Heating and Air to schedule your heating and tune-up service. Champion brand offers a 10-year parts and labor warranty on all new and replacement systems. Special tune-up pricing, $79. Military discounts as well as civil service discounts too. Unlimited Heat and Air is veteran-owned and supports all lines of civil service. Call today, 479-225-8809. Unlimited Heating and Air, your champion home comfort experts. Welcome to McLarty Daniel Country. With six giant locations and over 3,000 vehicles, Northwest Arkansas is McLarty Daniel Country. Stop by one of our showrooms today to shop our full lineup of cars, trucks, and SUVs. McLarty Daniel is proud to be your premier automotive destination. Need service? We work on all makes and models six days a week. Plus, our full-service collision center can repair anything from a minor ding to a major collision. Have you visited McLarty Daniel Country? Visit us online at McLartyDaniel.com. The future of medicine is here at QC Kinetics. Hi, Tommy Kraft here for QC Kinetics, the nation's leader in the most exciting revolution in pain management we've seen in decades, regenerative medicine. If you're tired of achy joints, if your joint pain is keeping you from doing what you love, you need to call QC Kinetics right now. Regenerative medicine at QC Kinetics is transforming lives with innovative treatments that deliver lasting results. We're talking natural biologics using your body's power to repair and restore damaged tissue. Call QC Kinetics now to learn more about exciting options. This is a revolutionary approach that can get you long-term relief with no downtime, no drugs, and no surgery. Call QC Kinetics now for a free consultation, 479-999-1234, 479-999-1234, for QC Kinetics. WT Equipment is your home for New Holland Ag and Construction Equipment, sales, parts, and service for high horsepower row crop tractors and combines, utility tractors and hay equipment, compact track loaders, and mini excavators. WT Equipment has it all. Stop by one of their eight locations to explore the value of New Holland tractors and see why New Holland hay equipment and twin rotor combines are second to none in harvesting ability. Need to upgrade your construction equipment fleet? Give WT Equipment a call. Come by a store or check out their website, wtequip.com. Your Mach 1 market moment. And inflation is something we've been talking about for a long, long, long time. It's trickling into 24. It's still here. Yeah. You know, it's it's a different conversation than it was a year ago. You know, and I like this, how are Americans feeling? Yeah. You know, we see clients in our office every day, all ages, demographics. And I would say that there might be a slight tick up in optimism, but, you know, there there's still some pessimism. 
Oh, there, for sure. Some, some concern. I mean, I, here in Northwest I Park. just had a conversation with a client yesterday that they were like, things, everything's so expensive. Yeah. Just the basics of going to the grocery store and you walk out with two bags and it was 150 bucks. And that's a very real thing that getting the basics it, and trying to get by day to day. And it's costing a lot of money these days to do that. And Visit Mach1FG.com to hear the whole conversation and get your investment questions answered. For full disclosures, visit mock one Financial dot com forward slash disclosure you won't miss a moment of the march basketball action at on the mark sports bar and grill in fayetteville now under new ownership cold drinks and hot food specialties are sure to score points with your entire crew come watch all the madness at on the mark Six thousand square feet of sports entertainment over 40 flat screen tvs and the best smoked wings all at on the mark sports bar and grill 2588 north craig avenue in fayetteville now under new ownership on the mark all the games all the time Welcome to McClarty Daniel Country. With six giant locations and over 3,000 vehicles, Northwest Arkansas is McClarty Daniel Country. Stop by one of our showrooms today to shop our full lineup of cars, trucks, and SUVs. McClarty Daniel is proud to be your premier automotive destination. Need service? We work on all makes and models six days a week. Plus, our full-service collision center can repair anything from a minor ding to a major collision. Have you visited McClarty Daniel Country? Visit us online at McClartyDaniel.com. Hi there, folks. I'm Chief Meteorologist Darby Bobby, the 4029 Get Ready Weather Forecast. Out there this evening and overnight, our winds are going to calm down with clear skies. It gets a little bit chilly out there by tomorrow morning. Wake up in the mid to upper 30s for Friday morning. Again, in the afternoon on Friday, though, it warms nicely. Highs in the low 70s, lots of sunshine and no wind. But that wind will come back Saturday and Sunday both. Well, a lot of sunshine this weekend. We warm very nicely, but it will be windy. High temperatures Saturday around 80, low to mid 80s on Sunday. That's your Get Ready Weather, only on 4029. ESPN 99.5. Live across Arkansas, this is Ruskin and Zach. Ruskin and Zach, Ruskin, 155 countries, 50 states, two territories. Yesterday, we were streamed in Dog Dyke. Lincolnshire, England. I want to stream, stream it too. Hit that line.com. You go with the Google Play Alexa dot thing. Say hey. Play ESPN Northwest Arkansas. Or you can get us on the Hit That Line app. Just got a, a new V8. It's uh, running very nicely. Um, hmm. I don't want to, uh, anybody to miss out on anything here. Um, so what if I read a random clause from the contract? Okay. And then uh, we moved on because I want to talk about grilled cheese and my shirt. Uh, those are the things I want to talk about. But, you know, all right. Some of you want uh, one other stuff here. Uh, let's see here. Um, all right. Let's see. I'm just going to find a random, relatively short paragraph to read from here. And by the way, I don't have express written consent to do this. Well, it's public so information that, now. So Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Do we have like, give me some of the incentives. That's, you know, that would be interesting to me. Incentive. Uh, and what does he get, you know, if, if he ties his shoes right? <laughs> well, I know this. A, and, a and Laurel this, and Hardy and, handshake. And I'll, I'll, give, I'll give the University of Arkansas and Hunter Juracek uh, um, a, a props for this. Because this is a real middle finger to Eric Musselman. The million that USC had to pay Arkansas was just transferred to John Calipari yeah. as a bonus. We're just moving money yeah, around. Yeah. You know what? Thanks. We're What you just paid us, we're going to give to the guy. So, in theory, uh, with the Eric Musselman gave John Calipari a million bonus, dollars. Yeah, to take the job. Yeah. Okay, I really like that. I think As that, a petty person, you know I really like Wait that. Wait a minute. Ten, 20 minutes ago, you were not going to be a petty person. We couldn't laugh at Kentucky. This is different. Oh, it's, well, oh we, oh. we can't laugh about other coaching circuits going bad when we ourselves were freaking out not uh-huh. even a week ago. Yep. Um, I don't think that's fair. But with this guy, though, and all that hullabaloo he caused at the Z, uh, listen, uh, he had to pay John Calipari a million, a million bucks. Dollars. I like the sound of yep. that. I like Plus, that. Cal gets a nice little 500k retention bonus. Sounds like your retention bonus. What's a retention <laughs> bonus, Derek? Uh, yeah. Well, okay. You know what? This is boring. I don't want to do I, this. I just want to talk about grilled yeah, cheese in my shirt. Let, let, me, let me see if I can find right. some. See, I want to see like the Escalade. I'm more interested in. You know, it doesn't the, say he gets an Escalade. It just says oh, a car. Escalator. Oh, Escalator. Oh. Okay. Yeah. 
you know, when they're broken, they're just stairs. Look, thank you. You, you, wow. two, you two ride the <laughs> escalator. You're wrong. <laughs> Bitch head burned, man. All right, Zach is uh, thumbing yeah, through the contract. Yeah, well, now I'm, I'm looking through his annual retention payments. Yep. In addition to Coach's annual salary and other compensation, Coach shall be eligible for an annual retention payment in the amount of $500,000. What does that mean? That means every year that he keeps the job to give him half a million dollars. That's not bad. Oh, that's so whatever his, whatever his annual salary is, add 0. 0.5 to it. Seven and a uh, half. This is subject to all terms and conditions of the agreement, as well as all applicable state and federal tax report. Oh, the tax. I've heard of requirements. Pay, oh, he's paid on June the 30th of each year. Wait, he only gets one paycheck a year? No, 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 no. The, the retention. Oh, bonus. the retention yeah. bonus comes so in. So okay. will that start in 25? I don't know. Um, I also do have a legal yep. question. Why are okay. you asking us? Yeah. Well, I don't know. Okay. Because we, so, watched the, we watched that I, lock once. Right, right, that right. $1 million mm -hmm. that USC had to pay yes. Arkansas, they legally can't put that in an NIL fund, can they? No. Okay. No, it's going now, illegally. Yes. yes, they can. Illegally, okay. Yeah. If but, there's anything we but there would from be Ozark. public knowledge that there's a million dollars missing somewhere. Well, no, no, it's right here. DQ, yeah. You wink, wink, okay. wink, wink. The million dollars is right here in the contract. Okay. We know exactly where the million dollars went. You know, honestly, if I won the uh, Powerball, because it's the only way I could be as wealthy as uh, as a Tyson or a Rockefeller or anybody, like twenty eight million. Oh, wait a minute, no, it's uh, it's fourteen million a year. Just to see good basketball, like I think I'd be willing to do that. You know, think about it. You, it, it you've got to pay him, and then you got to pay the uh, nil. And he's and one person isn't paying the whole six, seven million or whatever it is. So let's round up what, ten million a year to watch good basketball. I'd probably do that. Yes, first of all. Plus, they love you. He's uh, never been more popular plus, than he is right now. You, first of all, you would be too lazy to write the check. Well, uh, direct the It's all electronic. Two, you're not going to the games. So what's the point? Uh, you're if not, they loved me, I'd go to the game. Oh, if they and I would shake okay. all the hands and take all the pictures and now, do the whole thing. Let me ask uh, another question: Could you find a better way to spend ten million dollars than that? No. What if I told you that these uh, game show auctions, where you can buy pieces of sets and things, happens once every year? Okay. Well. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. You know what they should do? Hmm. Since Sajak left, they should get a new wheel. And then sell the old wheel to you. I'd buy the old wheel. I'd put it in the dollars. garage. Yeah, we, right. don't, we don't need to park in there. We, we just need the wheel great? in there. Wouldn't it be great in your garage <laughs> if you had the Price is Right wheel? Oh my god! Every Can night on the way home. Oh, hey kids, come on over. <laughs> oh, look at that! Seventy-five cents. You want to spin again? Yeah, on your way in to go eat dinner. It's like the dynamite plunger. I do it every day. We could come. Y'all could come over. We'd we'd grill out and we could spin the Price is Right wheel. That's right. Yeah. Make sure you get it all the way around or it doesn't count. Oh, yeah, that'd be good. I would do that. Steve from Cave Springs points out he hoped the random clause Thursday might uh, might be as good as Tony Gwynn Tuesday. Tony, <laughs> so I'm go you know what? I'm going to wait till we're two weeks in to start the Tony Gwynn stuff. I'm kicking around the idea of Nolan Ryan Wednesday. Yeah. <laughs> Austin from Bentonville has a problem. Yeah. Uh, he says, I've hated Calipari for 15 years, and now I'm forced to like him. Yeah, it's complicated, right? Yeah, you know, this is what happened. Was your uh, was was your sister now married the guy uh, who who once used to punk you in high school? Yeah, it's weird, right? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's it's it it's uh, it's gonna it's gonna be uh, it's gonna take some getting used to. I don't think there's anything wrong with how Austin is feeling. I validate Austin's feelings. I'll tell you the one that got me is when Malik Monk started talking about wanting to come around here. That bothers me. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa! Stop the clock here. Wait a minute. Now that we got, now you want to come home? No, I don't. I don't know about. I don't know if I'm as uh, willing idea. to be welcoming there. But. The players that went to play for John Calipari did not commit to the University of Kentucky. They committed to John Calipari. And clearly, yes. Okay. Yeah. Now Malik, um, you know, he doesn't even claim to be from Northwest Arkansas anymore. He's from uh, Lepanto uh, when see. he gets introduced. So strike one, uh, two. He went to Bentonville. Strike two, and uh, three. I don't like. It. So three. Boom. No. No, well, I just hated the way that whole situation was managed, and it still bothers me. And it's been, what, 10 years? Yeah. But I don't like Nut either, and I, he's been gone for like 15, 16 years. So, you know, 
I mean, I don't dwell on these grudges all day, but in the in the moment when you ask me to react to something, I'm like, ooh, I don't know how I feel about that. I don't like it. Oh gosh, no. Kentucky is now zeroing in on Mark Pope. They're they're zeroing in. Uh, uh yeah, according to uh, on three. So yeah, they they're zeroing in on the floor. They okay? couldn't get what they wanted, so they're gonna go get one of their own because nobody is going to be upset with one of their own. Who called this? We did. We got another one right. Well, we got another one we'll right. Take it. We got it. I told you that the, the floor is Mark Pope, and that's where they're going to go. And there it is. It'd be great if Mark Pope said no. Yeah, <laughs> that would. But when Mama calls, you answer. Well, oh, yes, Mama's calling yeah, yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, you yeah. can't. You can't hang up on Mama. Yeah. No, this is. I mean, Mama same, called. Same it's like thing. it's like Bear Bryant said. It's Mama called. The same thing that brought Mike Anderson. Home. This is Mama calling. Mama called. Yeah. You answer. That's what it is. Yeah. Oh, oh boy, if he did reject them though. That oh would be my gosh. They, I mean, I mean, I feel bad about their misfortune, but that would be great. Down the Commonwealth, <laughs> Louisville would invade the rest of the state, and it would be the University of Louisville, Louisville. <laughs> oh, sign me up! I'm, I'm sorry. I should laugh at others' misfortunes, but look, Mark Pope turns it down. Oh, buddy, <laughs> Mark Pope says yes. Now, make no mistake about it. Whatever happens, the only person offered the job. Mark Pope. Absolutely. Right? Yes, Remember they that. did not talk to Dan Hurley. They did not talk to Dan Hurley. Well, yeah, Dan Hurley told him to go, you know, fly a kite the whole time. Peter wants to know if it would be hard to like Eli Drinkwitz became became the Razorbacks head coach. Well, I don't know. <laughs> it's never going to happen. Don't worry. About it. Yeah, he's uh he's having a moment. Uh, we'll be right back here. Check it out uh, on ESPN Arkansas after this. It's Thursday, April 11th. I'm Phil Reed. This is your 4029 News Update. John Calipari is the new head coach for the Razorbacks men's basketball team. Six local law enforcement agencies are taking part in a national recruitment campaign today in Los Angeles. A proposed Oklahoma bill would lower the age to buy a handgun from 21 to 18. Benville's public works director says the city plans to restore regular water service today. The water line serving both Benville and Cave Springs was damaged last week. The River Valley Professional Summit is happening tonight at the Marshalls Museum in Port Smith from 5.30 to 7. Special Olympics Arkansas is hosting the Area 4 Spring Games this morning. It's happening at Greenwood High School. From the River Valley to Northwest Arkansas and everywhere in between, make 4029 your home for the best live, local, and late-breaking news. Who can you trust to sell your home for the most money with the least amount of drama? You need a team of agents with decades of experience, commitment, and of course, tens of thousands in marketing. You need the Limburg team, home of Arkansas's only instant offer program. Get a cash offer on your home in only 72 hours. Limburg Real Estate Group is the number one team in Arkansas with over $1 billion sold and voted best of the best 10 years in a row. Serving all of Northwest Arkansas, Missouri, and now the River Valley. Find out more at LimburgTeam.com. L-I-M. B I R D. When you're looking for your next side by side motorcycle, ATV, or zero turn mower, look no further than your local Wood Power Sports store. With convenient locations in Springdale, Fayetteville, and Harrison, we've got nine brands to choose from. If you can think of it, we've probably got it. These three convenient locations also provide you with outstanding service and parts capabilities. Want to know more? Visit us online at woodpowersports.com. Pick your brand, location, or shop all three. We look forward to earning your business. Wood Power Sports, a solid name you can trust. Richard's Country Meat Market has everything you need for an old-fashioned crawfish boil. Live crawfish, shrimp, sausage, corn, and potatoes. Give Richard a call by Wednesday to place your crawfish order and pick it up on Friday. While you're there, choose from mild to spicy seasonings for a delicious Cajun crawfish boil. Plus, Richard's has the best selection of fresh fish like salmon and cod. With over 25 years of business, you know Richard's Country Meat Market is the only place to get top choice and prime meat. Teddy Jean hams, fresh fish, crawfish, and in-house season. Richard makes it easy with in-store and curbside pickup. To place your order, call ahead at 479-443-0000. Richard's Country Meat Market in Fayetteville. One block east of College at Rolling Hills Drive. For curbside pickup and to place your crawfish order, call Richard's Country Meat Market 443-0000. 
449-443-0000. Richard's Country Meat Market in Fayetteville, 479-443-0000. Hey, Hog fans, this is Matt. This is Elizabeth. And this is the reigning champion of my own conference, Robert. You do realize that's not a thing. Well, I did receive a plaque commemorating that accomplishment. Yeah, and I was elected the president of Mars. Anyway, Hog fans, it's that time again. It's, it's baseball, baseball season. season. And Hog fans, the stadium shop has everything you need for Razorback baseball. From t-shirts, sweatshirts, man cave stuff, and even a Razorback original, the bases loaded beer hats. Plus, ladies, as well as a restocked women's section, we have the bases loaded beer stein boppers. Yeah, it's kind of like those old-time space alien antennas, you know. Yeah, well, not really. So when you're in Fayetteville, stop by the store at 989 South Razorback Road, next door to Bomb Walker Stadium, or you can shop us on them WW Interweb, Facegram, the you get it man dad do you mean the website yeah which is shop on razorback.com that's shop on razorback.com or call us at 479 stadium that's 479-782-3486 as always go, go hogs. hogs welcome to mccarty daniel country with six giant locations and over 3,000 vehicles northwest arkansas is mccarty daniel country Stop by one of our showrooms today to shop our full lineup of cars, trucks, and SUVs. McCarty Daniel is proud to be your premier automotive destination. Need service? We work on all makes and models six days a week. Plus, our full-service collision center can repair anything from a minor ding to a major collision. Have you visited McCarty Daniel country? Visit us online at McCartyDaniel.com. Spring camping season is here. Don't miss the NWA RV Show and Outdoor Party April 13th and 14th at 5102 West Pauline Whitaker Parkway and Rogers behind Nukes. Sponsored by two of the state's largest RV dealers, Wheels RV and Moix RV. With brands you love like Grand Design, Jayco, Brinkley, Flagstaff, Coachman Catalina, Vibe, and Winnebago. On-site financing available plus food trucks, a variety of vendors, and bounce house for the kids. Make plans to attend the NWA RV Show and Outdoor Party April 13th and 14th. 5102 West Pauline Whitaker Parkway, Rogers. AKS Goshen Fayetteville, K237GR Johnson. This is ESPN Northwest Arkansas. Broadcasting live from the Cards Recycling Studio. Cards is the official residential, commercial, and recycling waste collection service of the Ruskin and Zach Show. ESPN Arkansas presents Derek Ruskin. Have we got a stadium? Yes. Have we got a college? Yes. Well, we can't support both. Tomorrow we start tearing down the college. And Zach Arns. Work, 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 work. Hello, boys. Have a good night's rest. I miss you. With DQ. Just going to go have fun. No one out there that I know of in the audience actively hates me. Call or text the McClarty Daniel hotline, 866-285-4005. With six locations in Springdale and Bentonville, a good deal is never far away. Way, Ruskin and Zach. But if they hate him, why do they listen? Most common answer. I want to see what he'll say next. This is Ruskin and Zach on ESPN Arkansas and streaming on hitthatline.com. All right, have we fulfilled our duty? Because here's how this is going to go. Chuck's here next hour. Yep. It's going to be a heavy sports hour. Yep. I'd like to do nothing this hour. Okay. To detox. I need a detox. We've been working very hard for the last well, week, and, I, and I, don't, I don't want to work hard anymore. Okay. So I want to detox. I want to talk about grilled cheese. Okay. Hey, um, shirts. I'm sitting here looking at Calipari's signature. It's yeah. a very nice signature. Well, it's blacked out. How no, no, no. You, you can it? tell. I mean, the num- I mean, you kind of see through it, but I mean, he forms all the numbers and the letters. Nice. That's right. John Vincent Calipari. Saint Vincent. Calipari to you. I mean, that's uh, the way do- Dr. Charles Robinson? Yeah, not so much. Uh, uh, well, Bobbitt, he's a doctor. I mean, come uh, on. Bobbitt, no. Your check's all right. He's on the way out, isn't he? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Allegedly. Yeah. Oh, oh, the procedures for dismissal of head coach for cause. Now, this interest. <laughs> Just a, a light reading for yeah, you? Yeah, this will be some light. Look, I read a Supreme Court decision this year. I'm fine. <laughs> Which one? Uh, the one on NIL. Oh, look at you. Let me tell you something. You read an opinion? I read the whole thing. I read the case. Oh, I read the God. whole thing. And I'm and I got a problem with documentaries, really? I disagreed with him doing that as oh, well. Okay, all right. Why? What should we be doing with our time? Yeah, DQ, uh, what what is what, You've got it all figured yeah, out over here. You just were making fun of him. Yeah. And point. then you turn it back <laughs> around on me. Yeah. Good point. <laughs> let's talk about grilled cheese. All right. Let's talk about it. I'm gonna let's read, get into it. I'm gonna read how we can get rid of this guy. <laughs> <Get rid of him. laughs> there is a, a new poll 
mm. of 5,000 adults that's found that the average a average person eats 36 grilled cheeses a year. DQ? So that's three a month-ish. Americans eat enough grilled cheese sandwiches in a year to fill nearly 900 swimming pools. It's a lot of grilled cheese. Uh, B.E. says if you don't put shredded cheese on it, you're doing it wrong. This is yes. a DQ thing? Yes. Mm. I probably... I probably eat more than that. 5,000 adults. This is not a small sample size. 36 a year. So three a month? I probably passed that's that not, number, that's but that not, sounds That's average. not ridiculous. It does not uh, mention if they have soup on the side in this. This is just strictly DQ, about the sandwich. Out of curiosity, we were, Kid and I were having this discussion. The only acceptable soup for a grilled cheese is tomato. Yeah. Like, she was trying to tell me that, like, a chicken noodle soup is acceptable. No, and, no, no. No, no, I mean, I mean that's... It's, it's fine, but it's weird. Chicken noodle soup is only acceptable when you are ill. No, no one, no, 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 no one no, healthy. No, should no, ever eat no, that no, crap. no, no, no. You get a, no, I disagree. Look, you if get you a, get it creamy enough, yeah. it's fine. You get a good, uh, good chicken soup with some maharp rolls. No. Yeah, that's but that'll do. Not a I, fan of those. I think I, that there's better rolls out there. No, yes, there are. No. And Sister Schubert would like a word those, or whatever. Those are those are the best. They are the second best rolls on the planet. No, they're number one in my uh, book. Okay, and number one in my book. Yeah. Well, I'm not a I'm not a shill for Springdale like you are, though. So I, I mean, I'm, I'm more of an independent uh, observer of these. Unless things. somebody pays you. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, well, that okay. case, right. well, I hey, can be bought. Hey, guess who's paying me? And it won't ca it won't cost that much. I can be bought. Who, who's paying me? Well, there you go. Okay, to make thank you. Fair right. fair point. Okay, thank fair you point much. for the legislator from, from uh, Springdale. Springdale. That's right. Yes. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Pepperidge Farm commissioned this survey, and um. Three in five, sixty-two percent of people agree that grilled cheese is best made at home. Forty percent say they'd rather eat it at lunch more than any other meal of the day. Okay, a couple of results. Uh, for Guyman right. says uh, to a a grilled cheese and clam chowder. That's a no, right? Not That's a big weird. clam chowder guy. Okay, yeah, Guyman, Can't take a lap. Uh, I have come around on the mayonnaise on a grilled it's cheese. Good. Yeah, it really is. It, uh, I mean, I've come around on that. It's fine. I. I don't really have a preference with mayonnaise or butter. It just depends on if I have butter that isn't right out of the fridge. Mm. So, you know, it's not uh, spreadable. Uh, here's somebody that says tomato basil soup is the only way to go. I'm more of a tomato bisque. I don't like uh. bisque. What? It's all. What? It's all the. What? The texture is yeah, weird. It's, it's thicker. All, it's just a, it's, it's a thicker soup. It's weird to uh. me. Ah. I like regular tomato. Uh, Guyman says the, the the mayonnaise on the grilled cheese, that's two laps. No, sir. Uh, that is... Um, but it doesn't taste like mayonnaise. No, it really doesn't. It just it adds a nice little golden you're just, brown to it. Now, you're just doing that on the bread when you... On the outside. Yeah, on you're the not outside. eating outside. mayonnaise yeah, 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 yeah. on That's it. what I thought. Outside. Right. Okay. I've never tried that. I, I use it butter. Is, but, it's okay. easy. It's I easier. did not... Uh, I was not a big fan. I, I did not want to like it, but I do. And it's the only way to do it. Okay. I'd be I'd be willing to try that. I'm not a I'm not a opposed to new things. So uh, what, what? you use in Texas? Wait, 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 wait. You're not opposed I'm to not, new things. No, I'll try. I'll try mayonnaise. Now this is real mayonnaise, not that Miracle Whip. Crap, no, right? no, no, no. This is I mean this is like the Duke stuff. Yeah, the Duke. stuff they put uh, on Shane I, Beamer. Oh, good guy. Okay. Or uh, like uh, Hellman's, something right. like that. Okay. All right. Now, now here's a question. Uh, no meat in there. Here, a little crumbled bacon, not the worst. Not the worst idea. I'm not saying you have to do it. You keep that in the house because we do. Bacon? Crumbled bacon. Yeah, you've got like, uh, yeah, you got a, you get it in a bag. Yeah, yeah you yeah, can you, buy you it. Yeah, the yeah. little bacon bits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the oh. moist ones, not the crunchy ones. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It's clutch. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Can yeah. bail you out of a lot of situations. You know, Derek, I was on a uh, on a baked potato diet, so I have a lot. <laughs> I have a couple of bags of uh, crumbled bacon in the you house. A, you got a dollop of Daisy in I, there? I do actually. <laughs> I, I bought the big container because I didn't know how many baked, baked potatoes I would have to eat that week. And you go chives. Yes. I don't like that Without question. I don't like uh, or some green onions. Either, either uh, I don't like uh, DQ, Mr. Pibb says uh, that the idle rich complain about food texture. <laughs> I feel like tomato bisque is a, a rich person's food. Oh, you really? know what's a poor person's food? What's Campbell's that? Campbell's tomato soup. You know who makes good. the best tomato With bisque? half a cup of milk. You know who makes the best tomato bisque? Who? Campbell's. I, I just don't. I think the... The thickness of the soup, I find okay. off-putting. Here's somebody that dips their grilled cheese into a loaded potato soup. Okay. I like potato soup. Okay. I like. 
Now, the cream of vegetable soup up at the Stampede is terrific. And now that you can buy the kit in the store, but I bet it's not as good as up there. It's fantastic. I love that stuff. I got to get back there one of these days. Mongo's going mayo on the inside, butter on the outside. I'm willing to try that once. Okay, we've asked this before, but I yep. forgot the answer yep. on uh, on uh, on grilled cheese. Um, by the way, John Calipari five year deal. By the way, people are just flooding the text machine with their grilled cheese. Yeah, choices. they are. Um, okay, so I forgot yep. the answer. Go ahead. Texas toast or regular bread DQ. for grilled cheese? Yeah. Texas toast, but I like to use brioche. Is that how you say yes. it? Okay. Brioche right. bread. You. Texas toast is the preferred cut of bread for any situation. Okay. All right. If you want to have uh, a really good time, Texas toast and uh, French toast, Texas toast, French toast. I know that probably upsets people. I bet people that would at, be good. Oh, my gosh. I think I've tried it. That it is. It, it, yes. Texas toast is the best cut of bread. No, I mean, there, there isn't True. a second. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what qualities does good bread need to have? In a grilled cheese. No nuts. No nuts in the bread. Oh, no. I like what's no. it called? Whole, like grain no. grain bread? No. It's not. I'll no. say it's not a good bread to eat a grilled cheese on, but it's a good bread to eat like a ham sandwich If on. I want to eat a road, I will go outside. I do not want my bread crunchy. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to eat, eat a road. I don't want to eat a road. No. Again, uh, for those of you who just joining us, we're detoxing before right. we have to talk about all this stuff at five o'clock. So we're we're just we're getting a detox in here. Uh, none of this says about uh, the chunkiness of the bread or whatever. Fifty-seven uh, percent. Most people just want a bread that toasts well. Right. That's the most important. Texas thing to toast people. is is a personal preference, but your preference is wrong if it's not Texas toast. <laughs> it's like chunky peanut butter. Oh, uh, oh no. I don't no, like no, that no, at all. No, 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 no. I don't like chunky peanut butter. Uh, Jody from Alpina. That accusatory wants to know why uh, grilled cheese didn't make the bracket. You could add grilled cheese or PB and J. There's always next year. That's a hell of an idea, actually. I do what I can. PB and J would lose so bad. That'd be a, you think? That'd be a blowout. Oh, Ooh, yeah. I don't know. 80 20. Uh, maybe we'll, we'll go Philly cheese and grilled cheese. We could just do a sandwich bracket next yeah, year. Could. All yeah, the sandwiches, club, yeah, BLT. Well, I have a new favorite. Huh? That, that we discovered, Philly. we discovered last week. And Chicken Philly. Do you, do you know how much money I've dumped into that place? It's the, expensive. It is, but it's real. Oh my God! It's the best good. sandwich. Oh. Uh, well, maybe uh, you can uh, you know sell some advertising while you're in there. You know that. Sometimes pretty good. I think about it when I'm in the drive-through, about I, to pay seventeen dollars for <laughs> a sandwich and a drink. I'm like, hey, I work in radio. <laughs> you guys need to get the word out. We can help you. I. Wow. It help is. you out here. It's yeah. All right. Uh, Tim, formerly of Palm Beach, has texted on the McCarty Daniel hotline that we need to quit saying the word Texas or Brian and Ozark will appear a la uh, yeah, Beetlejuice. Beetle yeah. guys. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He hasn't hey, called man, in. I heard you talk about Texas. He hasn't called in. Yeah, he just calls the us. News. He just refers to calling us slurs on the yeah. uh, on the dark side of the text machine. Now he doesn't call anymore. A uh, JW voting for rye bread on the McClarty Daniel Hotline. Rye bread is only acceptable in one instance. Or wheat one, bran. Inst one instance, one instance only. I hate rye bread unless it's on a, a Reuben. That's it. Another sandwich like for the bracket, like a Reuben. A, you don't no. like Reuben? No. It, How do y'all feel about sourdough? Bread? No. It's fine. It's not a great sandwich bread. I don't know what else you use What's it, it for? for. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, and for? that's the point. It's just kind of weird. No, it's like rye bread. What else do you use rye bread for yeah. other than a Reuben? That's it. It's the only time you eat it. Yeah. Think about this, uh, Zach. She spends more on one sandwich than you spend on all your groceries. I know. Isn't that great? Fifteen bucks well, and a drink. Yeah. And a drink. Yeah. I mean, but the you, drink, you, I yeah. You probably spent twenty to twenty-one dollars. You tip over there? No, you don't have to. Oh, okay. Well, they that, don't ask you to. That's more money than I spent on my groceries for one week. You also ate the sandwich. I did. And I hate you for multiple it. times. God, I'm, I'm a I'm a good I'm a good employee. I'm a mod some would say a model employee. Who said that? Well because I I support the people that support oh, no, us. No, we, we do that too. I went to Jersey Mike's. Yes, you did. And I always tip there. Thanks for letting us Thanks know. Thanks for the effort. Did you do you ever let us know that you're going to Jersey well, it, Mike's? It was in Rogers. <laughs> so it's out of the way. I mean, you could have said hey can I get you guys something on the way in? It'd be cold by the time I got here. I think we What if we, I got a cold sandwich? Yeah. Well Maybe one day. Maybe, so, maybe soon. Yeah, I'll buy go, lunch. Model employee. <laughs> I always there ask you, you if she wants anything when I leave. Right? Yes. Thank you. He does. 
Sweet potato That's pie. Good. There's a vote for a lobster roll. Ooh, Ooh daddy. Boy. That is good stuff, too, mm-hmm. right there. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Yeah. This person, oh, a texter from Kentucky. Uh oh. Uh oh. How are things? How, How are things, things in the Kentucky? Commonwealth today? Well, he had to throw in there. He had a lobster roll in Maine about a month ago. Well, thank you for uh, rubbing that in. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Appreciate that. Wow, you went to Maine for have, a lobster. You didn't roll. have a lobster roll. You had a Fancy. lobster roll. Yeah, lobster. There you go. Whew. All right. Uh, Chuck Barrett's coming up at five o'clock. We'll get the inside, the real and inside story on how it all went down yesterday at Bud Walton Arena. All right. We will, uh, we will, we will get we to the bottom get into of the it. jazz finger lobby. Uh, yes. I right. wa- I, I, you know what? I had somebody text me this morning that Chuck does not do the jazz fingers, and they were very upset, to which I said, what would you like me to do? Yeah, what are you going to do? Exactly. I, there, I can't help you. Then they reminded me that Chuck was on today, and they wanted answers, as the, the, the jazz finger lobby is mobilizing against Chuck. Yeah. Uh, Skeeter suggesting the Kentucky phone number is from – Cal. Oh. This hasn't changed the number yet. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see here. Here's some. Bill wants to use Miracle Whip on his grilled cheese. It's actually Josh and Harrison with the Kentucky number, not oh. Cal. I'm afraid to break the news to you. What now? Bill wants to use Miracle Whip on his grilled Miracle cheese. Miracle Whip should not be used for anything consumed by humans. Salad dressing. All right. Come on. What are we doing here? And I'm I'm sorry that uh, to the fine people at Miracle Whip, but I mean mayo is always. The, the correct answer. And go take a lap. Bill. Miracle Whip is not. Go take the a lap, answer. Bill. Bill, run the building. I'm sorry. I'm not. Uh, I'm not trying to be bossy. I'm just right, and you're wrong. Ooh. That's that's, okay. that's how that goes. Right. You're not casting judgment. No, no, no. Just I just wrong. know the correct answer. It's not my fault that that's correct. Like uh, David Rose said. Remember that? I do. Putting the plunger in the front window is not correct. All right, we'll be back here. It's uh, almost a quarter after the hour here on Ruskin and Zach, so uh, stay with us. Join the local conversation on the McClarty Daniel Hotline. 866-285-4005. McClarty Daniel, a vehicle for every lifestyle. Trash, we've all got it. Cards Recycling specializes in affordable residential and commercial trash pickup. Operated with customers in mind, Cards takes the job out of your hands. Remodeling your house? Cards has temporary roll-offs for cleanouts, construction, and much, much more. Need a porta potty? They've got that too. Cards is the exclusive provider of solid waste and recycling services for the University of Arkansas. If you're looking for industry-leading service standards, call 877-59-CARDS or online at cardsrecycling.com. Cards Recycling is the official residential and recycling company of the Ruskin and Zach Show. Whether it's baseball season, basketball playoffs, or hockey playoffs, experience it live this spring with Vivid Seats. With one of the most reliable rewards programs in the business, Vivid Seats makes it easy to score great deals on great seats with a 100% buyer guarantee. Plus, with Vivid Seats rewards, you can earn with every ticket purchase, including surprise seat upgrades, birthday discounts, free tickets, and more. Just visit VividSeats.com or download the app today. Vivid Seats, the official ticketing partner of ESPN. It's Ruskin and Zach. Give me the hog truck. Hey there, business ballers and entrepreneurs. Ready to make your financial dreams come true? Well, get ready to score big with SwishFunding.com, the slam dunk solution for all your business funding needs. Just like that satisfying swish when the ball goes in, SwishFunding.com guarantees you a seamless funding experience. Working capital, expanding your business, upgrading your equipment, or even covering payroll. If you have at least $25,000 in monthly revenue and been in business for at least one year, qualifying is easier than a layup. At Swish Funding, we fund up to $5 million in 24 hours. SwishFunding.com's team will guide you every step of the way. No more banking red tape. Just quick, decisive action to get you back in the game. Head over to SwishFunding.com and slam dunk your financial goals today. Remember, it's not just a shot in the dark. It's a surefire swish. Go to SwishFunding.com. That's S-W-I-S-H Funding.com. SwishFunding.com. Precision Overhead Door features the finest quality materials, installation, and service for all of your overhead door needs. Fully licensed and insured with the largest showroom in Northwest Arkansas, located at 1907 Town West Drive in Rogers and 416 North 10th Street in Fort Smith. Give them a call today at 844-PDS-DOOR or online at PrecisionDoorNWA.com. Financing is available. 
Precision Overhead Door voted Best Garage Door Company of Northwest Arkansas and the River Valley. Precision Overhead Door. It's the spring sale event going on now at Cheap Sleep Furniture and Mattresses. 80% off Cali King Adjustable Base and Mattress. Only $7.99. Get a free pillow and protector on purchases over $3.99. Living room starting at $7.97 and dining sets starting at only $1.99. Don't forget 20% off website orders at CheapSleep.net. Don't miss the spring sale at Cheap Sleep Furniture and Mattresses. Springdale, Fort Smith, Bentonville, and Conway. Hey, Hog fans, join Matt Jones this Friday, April 12th from 11 to 2 as halftime will be live at the All-American Steakhouse in Sports Theater in Springdale. They'll be talking all things Razorbacks, football, basketball, and baseball. There will not be a dull moment, so don't miss out on all the action at the All-American Steakhouse and Sports Theater. Just voted the best sports bar of Northwest Arkansas. Join Matt Jones this Friday from 11 to 2 at the All-American Steakhouse and Sports Theater on Sunset in Springdale. If you're interested in continuing your involvement in high school athletics and want to make some extra money, what better way to do so than by becoming an official? For information on how you can give back to student-athletes in Arkansas, please contact us at 501-955-2500. Again, that's 501-955-2500. The Arkansas Activities Association is looking for sports officials, and you may be the answer. Are you ready to upgrade your ride? Head on over to McClarty Daniel Country. McClarty Daniel has over a 1,000 used cars to choose from, so you're sure to find the perfect vehicle to fit your needs and budget. With six convenient locations in Bentonville and Springdale, you're never too far away from a great deal. But that's not all. If you're looking for something brand new, they've got you covered there too with a great selection of new cars available for you to upgrade to. So what are you waiting for? Come on down to McClarty Daniel and drive away in the car of your dreams. Online at McClartyDaniel.com. Hi, this is Garen Armstrong with Shamrock Roofing and Construction. That small roofing company my father started 45 years ago has now become one of the largest roofing companies in America by following one rule, the golden rule. No one can install a better roof at a better price, a better warranty than Shamrock Roofing and Construction. Let our local family serve your family. Shamrock Roofing and Construction. Call today or visit us online at shamrockroofer.com. Today is the day. After countless hours of research, cutting back expenses, and nine months of anxiously waiting for her, today is the day you finally bring home your new car. It's also the day to protect her with an auto policy from Shelter Insurance. Our policies are competitively priced and include new car replacement coverage if anything were to happen to your new baby. Call JT Finley at 479-521-4220 or come by and see him for a quote at 2142 North College Avenue in Fayetteville. Hi, the folks, I'm Chief Meteorologist Darby Bybee with the 4029 Get Ready Weather Forecast. Out there this evening and overnight, our winds are going to calm down with clear skies. It gets a little bit chilly out there by tomorrow morning. Wake up in the mid to upper 30s for Friday morning. Again, in the afternoon on Friday, though, it warms nicely. Highs in the low 70s, lots of sunshine and no wind, but that wind will come back Saturday and Sunday both. Well, a lot of sunshine this weekend. We warm very nicely, but it will be windy. High temperatures Saturday around 80, low to mid 80s on Sunday. That's your Get Ready Weather, only on 4029. ESPN 99.5. Join the local conversation on the McCarty Daniel Hotline, 866-285-4005. We don't read the headlines, we make the headlines. This is Ruskin and Zach on ESPN Arkansas and streaming on hitthatline.com. It was brought to you by the good chair. I had to have a place to sit. Get the good chair only at the stadium shop. Stop by and tell Robert Joe Bonamassa sucks. And you want to see the good chair. We are watching the uh, Masters. Can't play. Like a lot of you, D, uh, DQ, uh, Tiger is uh, frustrated. He just went eagle on 17 from way downtown. There you go. Bang. Yeah. Tiger's, Way to go, Patrick. Tiger is not playing well. No, he's not. He is uh, even through uh, four. He's finishing up on the fifth right now. Well, it's official. John Calipari is your new head coach. He was announced yesterday. They I haven't conference. heard. Uh, <laughs> well, you know what's funny? Was I was talking to a bunch of kids today. None of them seemed to know that uh, that John Calipari, who he was or what he was doing. Yeah. Now, you mentioned like other, like I, I men- mentioned at one point, what, who's that YouTube guy? A dude perfect? Oh, yeah. I mentioned him, but they all knew who that was. 
Well, he just got like a nine billion yeah, dollar investment or something. Or they? It's it's a group yeah, of right. guys. It's not one guy. It's not dude. Perfect. Don't live. Uh, the Arkansas no, baseball no. team opens a three game set against Alabama <laughs> tomorrow in Tuscaloosa. Uh, game time is six p.m. Dodgers. Uh, <laughs> this is great. Former interpreter for uh, Shohei Otani stole more than sixteen million dollars over two years to pay off uh, <laughs> gambling debts to an illegal sports book. That's according to an affidavit filed by the feds. Uh, federal authorities filed a complaint accusing Ippy Mizuhara of bank fraud. Uh, he's facing up to a $1 million fine and 30 years in prison. The, by the way, the feds in our prison or his? Uh, great question. Great question. Uh, I don't ours. I, I don't have the, the answer. The crime was that. committed here. The so. feds have only, they are 299 in one in court cases. <laughs> Who'd they lose to? Will Wade. <laughs> O.J. Simpson uh, died this morning. Cancer, and according to a uh, press release from his family. Was Beelzebub available for a comment? Leave that right there. Thank you. The Reskin and Zach Expos brought to you by Unlimited Heat and Air in Springdale. 479-225-8809 for all of your heat and air needs. After the introduction yesterday, how you feeling? 59.2% of you say you're in wait and see mode. When it rains overnight, is it a dad's responsibility to tell his, child, his children uh, we needed that? 88% of you say yes. My dad did that today. Called me this morning, said they got a good rain. And we need it. Great, Dad. Appreciate you. Have you ever stubbed any of your middle three toes? 52.7% of you said yes. Uh, do you think your parents ever looked at you and said, I did all I could? 78.6% of you said yes. Ruskin and Zach. Expos brought to you by Unlimited Heat and Air in Springdale 479. 225-8809 for all of your heat and air needs. Yeah. Now, I'm getting a, a text uh, from the inventor of Kraft Coin saying oh, yeah. that, a, that rye can be used on a patty melt. That's another That's another um, sandwich for the uh, for, for the bracket, but I am not putting rye. A patty melt. Patty melt is Texas. Rye bread is, in Texas is a no-no, right? Rye bread. Where's the patty melt invented? Uh, DQ, can you do it away? I mean, that feels like something in Central Texas. Yeah. You ever had SOS? Save our ship. LA. LA? LA. They invented the patty mill? In the 1940s. Really? Okay. Okay. I stand corrected. It's a now, now I don't like, now I'll never have a patty mill. LA. It's it's that's where USC is. Yeah, exactly. We don't, we don't associate that's with LA correct. here. No, we right. don't do that. California. Yeah. Never had SOS? It's bleep on a shingle. It's um like, it was, it, it's what the military used to eat um, to, to make themselves. It, it's basically it's it's like um, best way I can describe it. It's like sausage gravy on toast. I've it, never had that. Really? No. Okay. I think you'd like it, although you'd look at it. And I mean, it's a little below your tax level. Good uh, for That's people right, like yeah, me yeah. and DQ. You know, regular folks. Yeah. Uh, it, it would fit it. You you've probably had it. Probably called something else. Yeah, Kenny. I haven't. Kenny, have you ever? He he knows what else. If you served in the military in the sixties. In Vietnam, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, is that you think dated? my dad did that? No, but he, okay. <laughs> your dad's younger than me, isn't he? No. Is a sloppy Joe a sandwich or a burger? That's a sandwich. Okay. Too many parts. Put it in the uh, put it in the yeah. bracket. Yep. I like we're working ahead here. Uh, Eric like Eric this. and Greenwood knows what I'm talking about. He said SOS is good stuff. If you do it right, it's very very good. Okay. SOS. Well, it's got like a bunch of different names, but yeah. the, the military, the cooks like, in the military used to call it SOS. SOS, yeah. Yeah, because they didn't know what it was. It called it bleep on a shingle. Yeah. And, you know, <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like diner talk. Oh, yeah. You know, they've yeah, always yeah, yeah. got a, hey, we need, uh, you know. The last, well, the last time I had hey, it, rice on ice over here. Rice right? on ice. <laughs> I made it a couple of weeks ago for the kids. She loved it. But the last time I had it was at a diner in New Jersey, the Bud Lake Diner, um, which, by the, which ironically had a gas leak. Like they have a, like a like they have a gas station and the and all the gas leaked into the lake. So it's, it's a whole thing. But that was the last time uh, last time I'd had it out. It's the last time I'd seen it on a menu. Oh wow! Now, if, if there are any restaurants around that serve it, please let me know. I will come visit you. Yeah. Just know that I will judge you based on that. What about an ice cream sandwich? With oh the my god! Is there anything? The only thing better than than an ice cream sandwich are those cones. Like the um the prepackaged cones that have the the chocolate oh, the drumsticks. Oh, the drumsticks. oh yeah, the yeah. drumsticks. Yeah. Drumsticks. Yeah. Oh, I like the ice cream sandwich. Okay, too. You go Yarnells or Fat Boy on the uh, ice cream sandwich. Which one is in the rectangle and not square? Yarnell. I don't know. Yeah, Yarnells. Red box. Yes. Yep, Yarnells. 
at one time made in Searcy, Arkansas. I don't know if it is anymore. But founded in Searcy, Arkansas. There you go. Um, oh what do you got? We got news. What are you? What are you? What are you reacting to? Well, I'm always trying to guess. Well, Doug and Little Rock has texted in, oh and boy. I I don't know. I don't really know where to go with this. It's certainly informative. Um, it's informative. Yeah. So we'll just. Uh, I'm okay. I'm gonna my, tap dance around it. My advice is just charge through the door. Okay. Doug and Little Rock is texting on the McClarty Daniel hotline. My boss told me that she um. Did a did a twosie in her pants, her pants. Oh no! At work and had to leave early before lunch to change her pants. Why would you share that? I don't know, <laughs> but you said charge right through this. So, according to Doug and Little Rock, she laughed. She thought it was hilarious. I know we're army, but dang, I would like to not know some things about my boss. Okay, wait a minute. Uh huh. Look, look. There's a lot to it. Like I said, this is what I was saying. There's a lot there. Well. So this uh, Doug in Little Rock's um, a female boss uh, had an accident. Yes, and had to leave early. Yes, to go home and change her pants. Correct. This is a nightmare situation, and I'll tell you also, why. Also, in the army. Yeah, I'll it, tell you why this is a nightmare. Um, unless you have a towel to sit on on the drive home, like you're yeah. Now the car, it's this is not good. No, there's nothing good Dude, about this. This is why I carry baby wipes with you all <laughs> over the place. It's not a good. That's not a bad idea. To a certain age, man, it's it's a danger. You don't gamble on that. I have a towel in my car, in case uh, you know, you know, you, you never know when you need to sit on a towel. You just don't know. That's a uh, ooh, that, that is tough. Hmm. Well, what happened there? <laughs> Did you just half cough into the <laughs> microphone? <laughs> just happened. <laughs> Was that AI DQ glitching out, or was that a, a no, no, real? She, she started laugh coughing. Oh, laughing. No, I I swallowed water. Mm. Oh. Yeah. down the wrong. Oh, the wrong pipe. pipe. Yeah. No, that happens. Yeah. <laughs> that well timed is as good as anything we have. By the way, that's really uh huh. Yeah. This they have petitions everywhere. Uh, everywhere you go, there is someone with a petition. Now, you were angry. She's not mad about the petition. Oh, she's she mad is. about him. You you proved me otherwise. She was very upset. No, about no, the we've petition. gone over this every day that you play I, this. Look, I know what she's saying, but it doesn't work. Yeah. Uh, Rick and Tawny Town has a thought. The only okay. obvious choice to uh, return Kentucky basketball to greatness is John Leslie Pelfrey. I said that. <laughs> That's surprising. Yeah, I said that. No, 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 no. No, the Mark Pope's going to be your guy. That's the. The guy of the moment. Well, if it goes lower than that, I don't. Ooh, I don't boy. know what. I mean, we what we're gonna. Have to, I don't know what we do here. I don't know. Mm -hmm. That's a. I, I don't know. <laughs> do you have a? Yeah, Bob's right. Do you have a multi-purpose towel in your car? Well, I have a car towel. Do you know about the car towel? The car towel. The car towel is used when you um wash your car. You get out and you dry it so you don't get all the, the, the spots everywhere. Why do you the car have a towel. car towel? Because I have, uh, at one point in my life, I'd wash the car and I'd get oh, out and towel it up. Oh, a bunch of crap. I haven't done that in a long yeah, time. Yeah, you had, yeah, like 17 years. <laughs> uh-huh. My dad hates how dirty my car gets. He, he gets should. so offended by it. He should. Your dad, does your dad wash your car? No. Then, no, no. you know what? Then he can't be offended. No, he's offended for He's offended uh, for yeah, the car. Sure. Okay. Oh, the car. He's okay. He's taking the car. Side. On behalf of the car, he's offended. Yes. All right. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Four thirty-one. We'll uh, give you the drive home powered by Mister Sparky. Coming up next. This is Ruskin and Zach. Most people don't care what your troubles are, or they're glad you have them. ESPN Arkansas and streaming on HitThatLine.com. McClarty Daniel, a vehicle for every lifestyle. Welcome to McClarty Daniel Country. With six giant locations and over 3,000 vehicles, Northwest Arkansas is McClarty Daniel Country. Stop by one of our showrooms today to shop our full lineup of cars, trucks, and SUVs. McClarty Daniel is proud to be your premier automotive destination. Need service? We work on all makes and models six days a week. Plus, our full-service collision center can repair anything from a minor ding to a major collision. Have you visited McClarty Daniel Country? Visit us online at McClartyDaniel.com. Looking for a new home in the heart of Northwest Arkansas? Head to the Cottage at the Park. These beautiful homes by Buffington have direct access to a 120 acre park and offer maintenance free yards. That means free time can be spent watching the hogs, traveling, 
playing in the park, or just enjoying a weekend without yard work. For relaxed living at its finest, Cottage at the Park is the best move you'll make. Visit BuffingtonHomesAR.com slash Hog Radio for details. I like to be active. And as you get older, I know it because I am older. You're more prone to injury. And I could not get rid of the pain. QC Kinetics patient Diane Richardson talking about how a hiking injury left her in awful pain. No one wants to live in pain. I certainly don't want to live in pain. I don't have time for pain. Diane had heard about regenerative medicine. So she called QC Kinetics and started treatment right away. And the results were incredible. I couldn't believe it. I honestly was skeptical, but the pain went from a 10 to a zero. QC Kinetics is the nation's leader in using natural biologics, healing properties, from your own body to restore and repair damaged joint tissue. There's no surgery, no drugs, and no downtime. The result was phenomenal. I mean, I was not feeling any pain. I'm able to do everything that I want to do. If you have pain from arthritis or injury, this may be the solution you're looking for. Call QC Kinetics now for a free consultation. It was a game changer. Call QC Kinetics, 479-999-1234. That's 479-999-1234. 479-999-1234. It's a good day to be in Arkansas. You know why? The Lotto Jackpot is now more than $1.5 million. And the best part? The winning ticket can only be sold in Arkansas. Maybe today. Maybe even to you. Can you imagine? There's a jackpot drawing every Wednesday and Saturday night. So your next chance to win is coming up very soon. Try Lotto today for only 2 bucks per play. Call 1-800-522-4700 for problem gambling helpline. Hey, y'all. It's Melinda at Fantasy Sports Cuts. You know, Fayetteville's hair joint for men. Did you know your haircut can accentuate features about your face you may not like? That's why you need Fantasy Sports Cuts. We'll work with you to create the perfect look for you. If your current barber isn't cutting it, come see us at Fantasy Sports Cuts. We'll have you leaving feeling like a winner. And we all like winners. Book your appointment today at Fantasy Sports Cuts, where the winning look can be found. Fantasy Sports Cuts, Fayetteville's hair joint for men and your little man in training at Mission and Crossover in the Hart Shopping Center. We'll see y'all there. Electrical work can be dangerous. Don't let a do-it-yourself mistake lead to a bigger problem. Mr. Sparky's highly trained electricians can handle all of your electrical needs, guaranteeing that your job will be completed safely and within code compliance. Trust the experts at Mr. Sparky. We'll leave your home even safer than we found it. And all of our work is 100% guaranteed. You don't have to put up with any malarkey. Call 888-8-SPARKY. Your Mach 1 Market Moment. And inflation is something we've been talking about for a long, long, long time. It's trickling into 24. It's still here. Yeah. You know, it's it's a different conversation than it was a year ago. You know, and I like this, how are Americans feeling? Yeah. You know, we see clients in our office every day, all ages, demographics. And I would say that there might be a slight tick up in optimism, but, you know, there there's still some pessimism. Oh, there. for sure. Some, some concern. I, mean, I, here in Northwest I just had a conversation with a client yesterday that they were like, things everything's so expensive yeah just the basics of going to the grocery store and you walk out with two bags there's 150 bucks and that's a very real thing that getting the basics yeah. and trying to get by day to day and it's costing a lot of money these days to do that and visit mock one fg.com to hear the whole conversation and get your investment questions answered for full disclosures visit mock dash one financial.com forward slash disclosure For the past several years, you've been casting your votes for the best of Northwest Arkansas, and the All-American Steakhouse and Sports Theater in Springdale has received many of them. Best new restaurant, best sports bar, best steakhouse, best overall restaurant, best chicken wings, and for 2023, best sports bar and best salad. Check out their event room for parties and banquets. Be sure to sign up for rewards points and follow the All-American Steakhouse and Sports Theater on Facebook. Check them out at theallamericansteakhouse.com, then come in and see for yourself. The All-American Steakhouse and Sports Theater on Sunset in Springdale. ESPN 99.5. It's Ruskin and Zach on ESPN Arkansas and streaming on hitthatline.com. Oh, man. This is why 23 minutes till the hour. There, they can't hear you. We oh hope that would <laughs> have been bad. That would have been really bad. Uh, oh, this hang is on, hang on. what Something's, happened. I don't know. Something's jacked up. All right, now I'm ready. 
Your drive home is powered by Mr. Sparky. Yes. Need a licensed electrician to service your home? Give us a jingle. Or just use this one. Woo. You don't have to put up with any malarkey called 888 Sparky. For local pros, call Mr. Sparky. I don't have a single subscription my in my name. All my free <laughs> Look, another player has rung the bell. That means he did his personal best. I wouldn't share a toothbrush with just anybody. Whoop pig. There it is. DQ, you've got to love all these uh, things that Abner sends us. I really don't. Uh, good, because he sent me some new ones uh, that I'll, I'll DQ, not out. a fan of Abner. Not at the moment. Elf. Could be worse. Enjoy the pleasure of an Arkansas win and pleasuring yourself to that win, man. I would never say that. <laughs> <laughs> I might say it now just to, uh, yeah. you know, call back to that. I yeah. mean, that's pretty yeah. funny. Life sucks right now. Uh, not really. No. You got Calipari. Yeah. DQ. 73 be... ways from, days from a natty. I mean, your, uh, your alma mater's on a roll. Yeah, they're cooking now. They finally figured this thing yeah. out. Let the people with the most money call the shots. Yes. What a concept. Yes. That's surprising. But what a concept. Mm-hmm. Been doing this wrong for 80 years or whatever. <laughs> Suddenly they figured it out. <laughs> They looked at Alabama. Go do what they do. Yeah, what are they doing? The region's banks running everything. All right, yeah, we'll, we'll get so. the money people to do it. Yeah, fantastic. Hmm. Yeah. And I like, and I like that the uh, see. Here's another thing that is uh, that's positive right about now is um, they still operate under the illusion that the fans are willing idiots. They're not. They are hip. They're smart. They know what's going on. Because who got the second loudest ovation yesterday? The money man. Mm-hmm. The, ba- the, the, ma- the man. money man. The yeah. bag man. Thank you. Of course. They know what time it is. You sure about Never that? Never been smart. Well, they did. Uh, now, the people that call us and say there's nothing else on, could you guys talk about sports? They don't know what time it uh, is. I got All right. you, yeah. Catholics know how to throw down, man. That That is <laughs> unassailable. That is true. That is true. <laughs> Um, you're going to bump into him at mass, maybe. That'll be uh, interesting, you know, right? I, Look, there's only a couple of options. Right, I'm uh, saying, quite exactly. Honestly, yeah. Now, now I, here's what I'm afraid of is, is you know, look, I'm going to start attending church regularly now because, you know, Coach Cal probably wind up down there. It's really not that far from... networking event for well, you. Well, of course it is. The church is a networking <laughs> event. Is church a networking event? No, it's not. Well. Thank you. Thank you. It serves. When I when I grew up, church serves multiple purposes. When I grew up, okay. church was mostly a fashion show. Everybody was showing off. All oh their yeah, fancy yeah. Clothes. Okay. See, see, we we in Catholicism, we don't worry about that. It's not oh, a fashion. Okay. So most of us go. I mean, that's look, that was my experience thing, growing up. Yeah, I know what it's really about. I, I know what's important. Uh, do you guys do Saturday night mass? No. Okay. No, 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 so no. here's we don't do mass. Let me give you a little hint on the uh, Protestants, on the Catholics. Uh, we go to Saturday night because we're going out and ain't nobody getting in there in the morning. I see. On a Sunday morning, there's no chance. I see. So you go Saturday at like four fifteen, then you you know you go you go do your thing later that night. Uh, so yeah. that's that's how that works. Okay. So a right. little 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 insight into the Catholics, but uh, yeah, look, there's there's one in the one in Fayetteville, right right down the road. Yeah, see. Yeah. So uh, I'm looking forward to that, hey, Coach. Be a networking event for me. Slip him a business card. <laughs> I know he's about to you know, deliver the sermon, but here's my card. Do you call it a sermon? Um, what do they call it? Homily. That's what we oh, call okay. It. See, we call it a sermon. We like we don't like to be told what to do, uh, but I'm also looking forward to sitting behind him and to see what he's putting in the plate. I always oh that. Yeah, yeah, I mean, <laughs> he's got to put a hundred in there, right? Oh, Lord, that what <laughs> is it? You shouldn't do that. What I, I look, like- I, I called out. Look, a couple of weeks ago, I called out the dude that made change again. Yeah, you can't do that. Yes, you, you leave can. It. You, I mean, you put a twenty in there; it, it stays. Right. You can't make change yeah. in there. So, That's what so I'm saying. I called yeah. out the guy. I he made change, and I'm like, "Come on, man, really?" You know, um, the other thing uh, about the sermon, I always love the preachers that yelled a lot. Oh yeah, that, that, that could hold that. your attention. You yeah. know, these fire and brimstone guys. They they knew how to uh, they knew how to grab your attention. I like those guys the best. I don't know if there's any around anymore, but we had some all timers down there. My yeah. My father was he he um you know he he was a recreational Catholic. Um, I see. He he had uh, when we lived when we lived in, he would he judged the the priests and how their masses were conducted by who had the shortest sermon their homily because my dad wanted to, he had a rule at forty five minutes you lost his attention. Now he's trying to make up for that now and earn heaven points as he gets older because he knows yeah. he's behind. He's oh, he's he's, so he's far, over he, par. He is so far behind right now. Um. 
but that that was how my dad did it. And I find myself doing this now. You know what I did the other day? Do you do this? What do I do? Okay, I was in um I was getting uh I was uh, taking the kid to school and we were getting breakfast. And I make jokes about my dad uh talking to everybody. Like yeah. like if you're in the the drive-thru, if you're at the grocery store, whatever, he just starts talking to people. And I'm doing it now. Like she comes to the window. Yeah, she yeah. she comes to the window. She says, "You know, ordering on the app? Yes. You know, name Zach." Yeah. And then then I start asking questions. And Kendi nudges me, and she goes, "You're becoming Papa." And I'm like, "Shut your face, kid! <laughs> like, I'll deal with you in a minute." Then finish the conversation. I turned around to her and went, "Oh my god, uh, it's happening." You know what? Uh, you know what? I don't like. Hmm. Sometimes I'll be on the phone with them, and I'm uh, at the window ordering. Hmm. And they'll hear the person hand me the food and say, thank you. And my mom will say back, thank you. I'm like, don't talk to them. That's weird. Don't do that. <laughs> hey, I um, get embarrassed. Hey, we got to do the uh, spring football report. Oh, yes. Uh, we are uh, only a couple days away. Yep. Less than 48 hours away yep. from the big spring football Which, by showcase. the way, we are carrying here on ESPN Arkansas. 1130 for the pregame show. Yeah. For the kickoff. High noon, man. All right. You'll hear it all right here. Stunning uh, stereo, mm. stereophonic sound. Yeah, I like it. All right, what do we got in the uh, press? line issues, back issues, running route issues, tight end issues. I hate him. <laughs> you do not hate him. <laughs> 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 so you lost the I don't know. Is that what? what? Uh, well, I put it on a different page. Oh. Um, hang on, let me see. It's, it's. Uh, I don't know what to say about that. Oh. There he is. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Top dog. That's <laughs> uh, so much fun. I've almost got it to a point where we can, uh, where I can have an entire conversation between you and me. Oh, with just the things? Yeah. Like I can. Catholics know how to throw down, man. Hookers don't count. <laughs> Borderline erotic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting there. Yeah. A hacker claims mm. that you do wiggle your fingers during a proper hog call. Hacker, just whatever you go back to work. Your hacker, lunch breaks over. Hacker had us pegged yesterday yeah. uh, where our, for the show when you you said coming up today, and it was just a, a gif of Caleb Perry. <laughs> yeah, and he's like, "This is not what you're gonna do. No, you're gonna talk about him for five minutes. Yes. And you're gonna talk about food for fifty five minutes. That and is like, correct. Well, that's one hundred percent correct." Food, yeah. but, uh, we like food and look at us. No, exactly. We didn't get physiques this way by not eating a salad. I'm look, I haven't had a salad in weeks. DQ's trying to get me to drink water. I I don't know. DQ, when he goes off of the caffeine, it's very bad in here. Very bad. I'm well, not saying go off the caffeine. I'm just saying mix in some water well, every so often. Like he won't um he won't drop soda. He no. drops caffeine. That's right. Yeah. He needs to find another vehicle for the caffeine other than soda. I don't understand. People who drink multiple types of drinks in a day, I do not understand how that happened. What are you drinking right now? Water. What did you drink this morning? Water. I haven't had coffee or anything. Mm. So my daily intake of like liquid is I drink a coffee in the morning. And then I'll drink water and then I'll drink a Dr. Pepper at some point mm -hmm. during the day. But if I drink anything else, anything sugar related besides those things, I have a headache. Like, See, I feel terrible. I don't think your generation's built like us. We were built <laughs> for, the, for, the, for the apocalypse, for the end of the world. My generation is going to survive. We can we can we don't have to do we, well, we don't have to do this stuff. You can feed us anything. We'll be fine. We're going to make it. Zach, the people have spoken. Oh, yeah. What's that? Don't remind us we have a football team. Let us enjoy hey, hey, number hey, one hey, baseball hey. and Cal. No, 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 no. You got spring game this weekend. You got Arkansas playing Alabama down in Tuscaloosa. So I actually talked to Phil today. He's all ready to roll. Good heavens. Paul and Fort Smith has had 12 Diet Cokes today. DQ? That can't be real. Why? It's My not, head would hurt so bad. How many, how many Pepsis a day does your dad drink? <laughs> he drinks. A lot. How many? Probably a couple cans during work, and then he'll drink a glass of Pepsi when he gets okay. home. This is the only one of these I've had today. But you've had a Red Bull. Yes, I had it right just prior to this because I had you know. I don't myself know what up. it. I don't know what it is. I feel like it's gotten worse, but I just can't. I can only drink that those three things every single day, or my. I don't know. I just get a really bad headache. See, I get a bad headache when I stop. Yeah. Yeah. So do I. 
but I know someone who I know someone who will drink like multiple types of sparkling water a day, like Lacroix and all of that, and then a soda and a coffee and just a million types of drinks. You want to go running with me in the morning? No, (laughs) God no. (laughs) Are you sure? I thought I thought the compromise for you to leave soda would be drink coffee. But you don't know how to use the coffee. No, equipment. I don't know how to use that. That was the poll question yesterday. It was like, I don't know how to use the coffee machine in here. Okay. I've had people show me. And you when I try water to, in the tank, no, I understand. You put the pot in, yeah. you hit the button. And Done. when I do that, it comes out like sludge. And there's like sand in it <laughs> and all kinds of other stuff. Our coffee machine may need to uh, be serviced. No, I watched Dale use it today. Oh, Works he just uses fine. It? Yeah. And Maybe like, it's I on it, sludge. Mode. I have him <laughs> show me how to do it. And then, you know, I just, I can't do it. Well, you could bring your own coffee pot and make it the old-fashioned way with the filter and yeah, the whole. You know what? That that's a that's a real possibility. A I may just go get a cheap one and get uh, one at the junk store. God, I need to go to the junk store. I've been in weeks, no yeah. months, months. You know who I think would like the junk store? Mm-hmm. John Vincent Calipari. Oh, I really John, think he'd like it. Here's an idea. I do. Here's an idea for. I propaganda, feel like I know him for Propaganda Plus. Yeah, you know, do like a walk and talk with him at a junk store. Yeah. I think I think you could get some stuff out of them on that. Or day. make it like flea market flip, and he has to buy something cheap and then what zhuzh if, it up and sell if, it for more. What if he went full Harbaugh and had a garage sale at his house in Lexington? <laughs> DQ, would you go to a John Calipari, Perry? Uh, I bet he has some art. You think he's an art guy? I bet he has art. Is an art guy? You think so? Nah, see, I think he's a wine guy. Hmm. I'm, I'm guessing. I mean, his house is probably impeccably decorated. Yeah, but I don't think he's I like. An art um, guy. I like dish towels. I'd get his dish towels. What? I loved a good dish towel. Now that seems like, like a fun one. That seems like an artifact that is easily attainable. Hey, I got Cal's dish, I dish t- towels. What? I have di- my dish towels are the creek. They all say "fold in the cheese." Yeah, that's, that's good. funny. Good. Thank you. Yeah, I like those. I, those I have a, good laugh. a dish towel of the I, outline of the UP. I have a dish towel that has, you know, hearts on it. Uh-huh. I love them. Okay. Huh. Yeah. All right. Well, I'd like to see him walk around the junk store with you. That'd be fun. like, hey, what do you think of this? Look, oh, he, cool. I can do the walk and talk. Those are, man, we would He's just a time. regular guy. He is. The regular guys are into weird things like going to the junk store, maybe opening baseball cards. We don't know. We don't know. Uh, Matt Rogers uh, says he was in here, apparently in here yesterday, cutting his new ad, and I was summoned for recording help and seemed grumpy. No, that's that's what that's a Wednesday. Wait a minute, might not have had his caffeine yet. That's also possible. Wait, you were grumpy? Apparently, think you were, well, What did I right. do? No, 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 no. Okay, I know what that was. You are me. No, 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 no. I had my AirPods in. And DQ was struggling. She had a little issue with the board, which I came in and fixed. And I just immediately, was, I just came in, left, hit it, and and walked out. So Matt, I was not being grumpy. I was just I had my AirPods in. I was listening to something. Yeah. I was listening to uh, Chuck read the contract. Calipari. <laughs> That's how I went to bed last night. It's on Audible, right? Can I get on absolutely. Audible and listen to them? The parties hereby agree. <laughs> I mean, it, it was it was absolutely riveting, riveting stuff. Oh. Uh, here's someone wanted us to get back to the sandwich bracket. Right. Guys, we got a year. All right. We yeah, got to settle down. Well, no, we could do it this summer. Drive home powered by Mr. Sparky. We, we could do a, it this summer. You could have a burger division, a taco division. What do you like? Bacon Swiss, right? Ooh. Hamburger, cheeseburger. You know what I had the other day? An elk Mushroom burger. Mushroom Swiss. Like elk burger. Like made of elk? Yeah. Yeah. It's good. All right. I won't eat a burger nowadays called the diesel after. Learning about diesel. <laughs> <laughs> I just refuse. Poor diesel. Yeah, poor diesel. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so. shoot. It's uh, uh, 451. We have to do our, uh, oh, yeah. It's time for roster on the ones here. Uh, we've got to uh, get to that. Uh, Randy's still here by myself. Uh, there is nobody in the room. Okay, thank you. There you go. Thank you. Roster on the one. Oh. I got my uh, HBO Sports uh, vintage T-shirt uh, in the mail. Put it on today. I'm very excited about this. That's what I got going on. Unwashed. Unwashed. That's right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We, we, <laughs> right. Why you? Oh, you're gross. It doesn't you, stink. You got it. You got a brand new shirt. Pulled yeah. it out of the bag and didn't two. wash it. Yeah. I also got the NBA on NBC. Do you know how far that thing probably traveled? I don't care. 
You don't know what kind Did of it have a weird smell. Yeah, no, not really. Well, that's your opinion. I mean, it smells like a new shirt. You know how many bull weevils could have gotten a hold of that thing? Uh, no, the uh, the packaging was uh when you was unharmed. When you start itching in the morning, I don't want to hear about it. Good, I like it. Got all kinds of shirts. I'm pretty excited. You know, give a little, a little, uh, oh, a little uh, uh, great, Easter egg for the people great, watching. This is a great question from Jamie and Pavel. Would you rather hear Chuck or Z read the contract? What about Z on times on two times speed? <laughs> the parties are here, guys. Hereby agree, coach to be employed as a head coach. Man, drives about. I'm just not America. smart enough to listen on two times speed. Like I have to what? process every word. So I need it on regular speed. You could have just said, I'm not smart enough. Well, that's enough, there, right? Yeah, okay, I mean, that's, yeah. that's, that's in the congregation. And look, said if amen. you listen to it on two times speed, you're not even listening to it. You're just speed reading or speed listening. I mean, it's not, you're not even listening. Is that a thing? Speed listening? Yeah, speed listening. <laughs> it's like speed golf. <laughs> yeah, I have to, I have to process every single word to understand what's going on. I can't listen on double time. I'm not going to do it. Uh, let's see. All right, we got Chuck coming up. Yeah, we do. Does Kentucky have a coach yet? No. Oh, good. <laughs> I mean, no. I'm. I feel sorry for their yes. uh, misfortune yeah, for, the, for the the bluest of blue bloods, <laughs> according to your head coach. <laughs> he did not have it. Yeah. He also rubbed in all the times that he beat Arkansas through. Yeah, the years. that's. Him. I thought that was hilarious. I don't. I don't know how it sat with a lot of people, that but came whatever. Up too. Now we'll get all the answers. He's like, "Were you there at Springfield, Massachusetts?" I'm like, "Oh no, we're not. That no, we're, we're going oh. back. We're going back to the beginning. That was a wolf. Oh, no. in the beginning, in one <laughs> AD. Oh boy. All right. Well, we'll uh, we'll be behaving when we come back here. Chuck's Everybody, gonna be in here. We got to put your bra and your teeth in. <laughs> Chuck's coming in. This, this is like a tornado Very drill. Serious. This is a tornado drill. Act act right. Very serious. We'll uh, get to uh, your serious sports talk right. for Very the serious. fundamentalists. So yeah. coming up here on Ruskin and Sack after these messages. I'm Allison Wise in the 4029 Newsroom. Fayetteville police arrested a fourth person in connection to the deadly Lake Fayetteville Park shooting. 20-year-old Pablo Garcia was arrested for hindering prosecution and tampering with evidence. Police say he purposely lied to investigators and helped the murder suspect conceal an AR-15 rifle that was used to kill one person and injure four others. Don Choppel, the owner and co-founder of Dixon Street Bookshop, has died. According to staff and family, the bookshop has been open for 45 years now and it contains 200,000 books. We're told by the staff that there are no plans on closing. And happening in Little Rock today, lawmakers heard about the Board of Corrections legal battle against the state and the administration. We have a recap of the Joint Review Committee and everything that's led to this point. Those are your headlines. I'm Allison Wise. It's the spring sale event going on now at Cheap Sleep Furniture and Mattresses. 80% off Cali King adjustable base and mattress. Only $7.99. Get a free pillow and protector on purchases over $3.99. Living room starting at $7.97 and dining sets starting at only $1.99. Don't forget 20% off website orders at CheapSleep.net. Don't miss the spring sale at Cheap Sleep Furniture and Mattresses. Springdale, Fort Smith, Bentonville, and Conway. Are you ready to level up your wellness game and feel your absolute best? You bet, Amber, and the place to do it is Voxy Aesthetics and Wellness. Voxy is your ultimate destination for all things health and well-being. Whether you're looking to shed some pounds, boost your energy, or simply improve your overall wellness, Voxy Aesthetics and Wellness has got you covered. With a team of experienced professionals and a personalized approach, Voxy will help you achieve your weight loss goals like never before. And folks, if you're struggling with weight loss, fatigue, or even low testosterone symptoms, Voxy has a game changer for you. With our concierge medicine approach, we will be with you every step of the way through your wellness journey. Semiglutide is a groundbreaking medication that has shown remarkable results in helping people lose weight and keep it off. And Voxy Aesthetics and Wellness is one of the few places where you can access this life-changing treatment. Take control of your wellness journey and text Voxy Aesthetics and Wellness today. Text 479-274-8454. Remember, it's time to invest in yourself and score big on your well-being. Visit VoxyNWA.com. That's V-O-X-Y-N-W-A.com. 
For the past several years, you've been casting your votes for the best of Northwest Arkansas, and the All-American Steakhouse and Sports Theater in Springdale has received many of them. Best new restaurant, best sports bar, best steakhouse, best overall restaurant, best chicken wings, and for 2023, best sports bar and best salad. Check out their event room for parties and banquets. Be sure to sign up for rewards points and follow the All-American Steakhouse and Sports Theater on Facebook. Check them out at theallamericansteakhouse.com, then come in and see for yourself. The All-American Steakhouse and Sports Theater on Sunset in Springdale. Swift's Jewelry specializes in bridal sets, custom jewelry, and repairs. All work is done on-site by their professional, courteous team. Swift's Jewelry can engrave anything, including watches, knives, flasks, wedding bands, and more. And for the hog fan of your life, they have officially licensed Razorback jewelry. Get her something she'll love wearing to the big game. Swift's makes your purchase easy with 0% financing for 18 months. That's low payments with no interest for a year and a half. Swift's Jewelry on the square in Fayetteville next to Hugo's, your personal jeweler since 1956. At Wrath Mitsubishi, we know nobody likes feeling like they've got to fight to get a fair deal on a pre-owned car. That's why we're introducing our all-new road-ready certified pre-owned vehicles. We pick the best used cars, bought locally from your friends and neighbors whenever possible. Then they get a full inspection, service, and reconditioning. And finally, we back that with a comprehensive warranty. Don't get beat up on your pre-owned car search. Hang on. Sorry about that. Road-ready certified pre-owned cars. We've got you covered. Exclusively at Rath Mitsubishi. Don Tyson and 71B Springdale. RathMitsubishi.com. Hi, this is Garen Armstrong with Shamrock Roofing and Construction. That small roofing company my father started 45 years ago has now become one of the largest roofing companies in America by following one rule, the golden rule. No one can install a better roof at a better price, a better warranty than Shamrock Roofing and Construction. Let our local family serve your family. Shamrock Roofing and Construction. Call today or visit us online at shamrockroofer.com. At Shelter Insurance, we believe insurance should adjust to fit your needs. We work to design an insurance plan that's particular to you. Insurance that fits just right. And Shelter Insurance ranked number one in customer satisfaction among auto insurers in the central region five out of the last six years by J.D. Power. Satisfied customers and a plan for you. Ready to check us out? Call J.T. Finley at 479-521-4220 or come by and see him for a quote at 2142 North College Avenue in Fayetteville. AKS Goshen Fayetteville, K237GR Johnson. This is ESPN Northwest Arkansas. Broadcasting live from the Cards Recycling Studio. Cards is the official residential, commercial, and recycling waste collection service of the Ruskin and Zach Show. ESPN Arkansas presents Derek Ruskin. Have we got a stadium? Yes. Have we got a college? Yes. Well, we can't support both. Tomorrow we start tearing down the college. And Zach Arns. Work, 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 work. Hello, boys. Have a good night's rest. I missed you. With DQ. Just going to go have fun. No one out there that I know of in the audience actively hates me. Call or text the McClarty Daniel hotline 866-285-4005. With six locations in Springdale and Bentonville, a good deal is never far away. Way, Ruskin and Zach. But if they hate him, why do they listen? Most common answer. I want to see what he'll say next. This is Ruskin and Zach on ESPN Arkansas and streaming on HitThatLine.com. Yeah, top dog. <laughs> All right, we're back. Ugh. Thank you. <laughs> that works. That's, that's their thoughts exactly. By the yeah. way. Uh, <laughs> this is your drive home powered by Mr. Sparky. Need a licensed electrician to service your home? <laughs> Give us a jingle or just use this one. You don't have to pull Thank you. Up with any malarkey call 888 8 Sparky. For local a, pros, call Mr. Sparky. This man has a bulova in his head over here. It's fantastic. Venus Trophobia is the fear of beautiful women. I mean, I don't have that. <laughs> Man. Yeah, no, I know. Another memorable moment yeah, here. Yeah, uh, yeah. All right. Uh, he is here uh, by, uh, in spite of all of his, uh, well, this is one of Can't the great. Run the law, can you? This is one of the great come downs, uh, Chuck Barrett, in show business history. You were uh, nationwide, not almost 24 hours ago, uh, at the Calipari uh, introductory event. Uh, and now you're here doing this. So, uh, welcome. <laughs> well, it's good to be with you guys. It's nice to uh, nice to join you today. I don't view it as a come down. You know, I have an opportunity to visit with you guys, and what could be better? Are you under duress? 
<laughs> no, <laughs> I'm not. I mean, blink, no. blink if you're in under duress. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm you know, beyond simple fatigue. I mean, I'm, I haven't had a lot of sleep. But yeah. Now, no, now, it's good to be with you guys. What I'm saying. Now, do you do you go back and watch any of this last night, or you, is it just one of those things? You did it, let it go. I'm not. No, gonna... I didn't. Uh... Okay. Now I've gone back and listened uh-huh. because I, uh, you know, I wanted to pull some sound bites earlier today for uh, the podcast, but. In terms of going back and watching the whole thing and reliving the moment, no, I don't. Do there, that. there was a. There, I think it, I thought it went off very well yesterday. It was well timed. Everybody, you know, everybody. It, it it hit all the points that that you wanted it to. However, there is a um. There's a segment of people uh, within the Razorback Nation that are a little upset with you today, and and I, I thought it was kind of trivial, but it is really kind of gra- It's 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 picked up steam as the day has gone along. Chuck, why don't you use jazz fingers when you call the hogs? <laughs> because the jazz finger lobby is very upset with you today. Were they not on me? They are all they over are, you. They all are over me. you. Well, I'm sorry. I, I guess I didn't get that quite. Uh, it's right quite there on right. the website, Chuck. Okay. Uh, it, it's right. right there on the website. <laughs> all right. I'll have to finger. check it out. I'll have to check it <laughs> you out. You don't feel like a jazz finger guy to me. I, uh, I'll have to make sure I do it right. Okay. All right. There, there were people. <laughs> Thank you were... for bringing that up, though. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, way to go. <laughs> Now it is a come down. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> oh well. How um? What like? Are there rehearsals for something like that? Like how does that? How does that all? You don't just go up there and do it without a plan. Like how does that all come together? Yeah, it was funny. They uh, and first off, the um, uh, the university did a great job putting this on. I, I mean, I basically walked in. They handed me cards and walked up there and and they're the ones really that did all the work but it was interesting um you know we knew that part of the program was going to be you know the q a and uh, or the you know the moderated discussion i guess you'd call it and i know they had more than one or two meetings about exactly which questions i was going to ask or what i was going to ask and coach cal perry came in and you know he basically wrote got out a pen and scratch piece of paper wrote down about five topics and Said, ask me this, and I'll just go for a while. And that's pretty much how it went. He is, uh, I can say this, that backstage before it started, the exact same person you saw on stage. Nothing different. Um, The stories that he told on stage, he told backstage. Um, It it was uh, this, this, there was, there were no airs about it. And quite frankly, I wondered if there would be. There were no airs about his wife, Ellen, none whatsoever. And I wondered, you know, just quite frankly, what would they be like, just like everybody else? Very personable. I, I could not have been more impressed with how he was privately. It was not what you would expect having watched him on television, quite frankly. But um, just a really, really cool night. Just a really cool night and, a, and, a, and, and an honor to be there. No. Yeah. Um, I, I, one of the things I've been talking about, uh, that's unique about this is like, this is, you know, sometimes you got to like in, in the past, you know, you've got to get to know the coach. Like you don't know where this person, who this person is that they, uh, that they bring up there because they were working at another school or they've been away or whatever the case may be. But Cal has been a part of our sports watching lives for like 30 years. Like we, we know it, <laughs> like, we, we know right. him. We, we, we've seen him, uh, forever. At, at everything so he's there's just a there's a familiarity with him that's very unique to this whole experience uh, over the past few days that, that i've picked up on absolutely there's no question about that and you know it did kind of feel like we all knew each other last night you know and and we were um maybe getting to know one another a little bit better but sure i mean you think about all the way back to his days at umass and he talked about the hall of fame game and i remember it i remember watching it and um, you know, Cal, that was what, 1995. Yeah. So do the math. He's been around a long time and, um, there's still a, there's still an aspect to it. That's just kind of surreal. I mean, you look around, it's like, is this, is John Calipari really our coach? But, um, he is, this is a guy that three months ago, uh, we booed when he walked out of the tunnel <laughs> and now well, yeah. I mean, he's, he's just, been booed in every arena he's walked into. Yeah, he couldn't it, leave Kentucky without going somewhere where he'd been he booed. He was booed there, probably. Yeah, it, it just, it, it, it's one of those moments you're like, is this really happening? 
Yeah, the, you know, the, uh, the, like you said, I mean, he's been a part of uh, of the, the basketball landscape for 30 years, and we've hated him for 30 years yeah, until yesterday. Much, yeah, until less, yesterday. Yeah. We wanted <laughs> Kentucky to lose every game. <laughs> well, I mean, I think that was the big thing this morning was, you know, did he flip you? You know, did he turn you around? I think most people were turned around last night. He's obviously a very gifted speaker. I mean, I was struck last night by how, you know, I was a little bit nervous. I think everybody up there was a little bit nervous. I know the people running around all day long trying to make sure that event came off without a hitch were nervous. The only guy that wasn't nervous was Cal. Yeah. I mean, um, now, look, you don't change jobs every day, but he lives in the spotlight every day. This was just another day at the office in terms of the glare of the spotlight for him. And um, he handled it like that. I, I, was, uh, I, was, I was struck by that as the night wore on. Yeah, he is uh, very comfortable in, uh, in a situation like that or really uh, any situation. Uh, even, he even uh, handled it with grace when they uh, were uh, putting the camera in his face when he was walking his dog the other day before he... Uh, uh, ended up leaving uh, Lexington, so he's just uh, he's just one of these people that has the gift for uh, of always knowing that they're in the public eye and being able to handle that with with grace. It seems like he's a dog guy. He can't be a bad guy. And that's all, that's also true. You, if that if if the words don't win yeah. you over, the, I mean, the yeah. guy's walking a dog. I mean, uh, what, he's a regular person. Come on. So now the question becomes: Now what? Yeah. And you've got to fill 13 scholarships on that roster. Let me ask you this. A muscleman's idea was to bring in a bunch of guys and find seven or eight that, that you know, that he trusted. Is Calipari going to do the same thing where he's bringing in 13 guys? Or is he kind of, you feel like he's got an idea of the guys that he wants and the rest will just be towel poppers and we'll worry about uh, <laughs> the eight guys that, uh, that he wants to play? I think he's got an idea about who he wants. Uh, now I don't know that it's as simple as, Hey, I'm going to call these guys up and they're going to you know come play for me wherever I am. I, I don't, I don't know that it's going to be like that, but I don't know that it's not either. Um, you know, he has a way of attracting great players and, and quite frankly, I think we may have to reset the way we think about what recruiting is going to be. I mean, let's be honest. Musk brought in a bunch of guys from other schools and we've not really heard of many of them, except maybe L. Ellis and Tremont Mark. Um, I think this guy's going to bring in people we've heard of. Uh, I, th I think he's, uh, I don't know that it's going to happen overnight. Um, you know, he made some remarks in the press conference when it was over about, how, you know, some guys are good enough that, I mean, you let them go through all the NBA stuff and you wait on them. And they may do some of that. Um, I suspect that within a few days, we'll begin to get some movement um what that will mean in terms of numbers i don't know but um look john calipari moves the needle and you know when it comes to the recruiting game um sometimes maybe he you know in the past he's been the needle so i would um uh, i would expect this to obviously take shape as we move forward and i would feel pretty certain he's got a plan yeah, we're talking with uh, Chuck Barrett here. Your drive home powered by Mr. Sparky on Ruskin and Zach. It's a uh, it is a, a theater of the unexpected here uh, in Razorback Land, and this is the latest yeah. chapter of that for I, sure. I, I definitely think the one thing that we can start, or uh, one th one of the things that we can expect, is for him to target some of the top players in the state of Arkansas when it comes to high school basketball, which was something that um, you know wasn't always a priority. It was more about the older players under the previous regime, but. You know, if you're a, an Arkansas high school player, you got to feel better. I mean, this guy has gotten players to the NBA uh, from from high schools in Kentucky. I was just looking at their uh, the, the recruiting class, what's left of Kentucky's recruiting class. I mean, he's got there's still two five stars committed over there, and they don't have a coach yet. I mean, this is yeah. a guy that uh, simply attracts top level high school talent. Oh, he does, and you know, I'll be interested to see the you know the 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 makeup of his roster. I mean, he's had uh, he's had players from Kentucky. He's also had players from literally all over the country and other countries. So I would suspect that we'll continue to see some of that too. Um, you know, I'm certain that, you know, there, I could be corrected, but I doubt if there's been a Kentucky high school basketball player that Cal wanted that he went after that he didn't get. Um, I suspect it'll be that way here.
So uh, th- this is just funny. I'm looking at um, the 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 top rated recruits that Kentucky has brought in in the uh, the, the the I guess the the message board era. The, really since like 1999, I mean they're all his. I mean, Nerlens Noel, Anthony Davis, uh, Julius Randall, John Walsh. I mean you run down the list. It, I mean all these guys are in the NBA. All these guys got the second contract. If you're a high school player or or a portal player. You got to look at and go. This dude can get me where I want to go. Well, and the thing too is. Um... He still has relationships with a lot of those guys. Yeah. Um, and I suspect that a lot of them will make, you know, they'll make a trip in here a time or two. Um, you know, Jimmy Dykes told me last night, he just said, man, you're going to said you're going to walk in here and you're going to see people from the basketball world that you would never imagine would be in Fayetteville. And they'll just come to see Cal. Yeah. Uh, he said, it, he said, it's going to be a basketball's who who's who for the time that he's look- here. I don't care who has to do this, but if Drake enters that building, Chuck, you have to personally escort him out because exactly. that that is the kiss of death. I'm he, not going there. He showed, I'm not going man, there. He, he just he can't. He shows up, they lose. Does I'm not messing with those rappers, man. <laughs> DQ does does Cal have the cachet to get Travis and Taylor Swift in here to a uh, Razorback basketball? Of course game? he does. Probably. Of he does. Yeah. Okay. And Chuck, you you know all the Taylor Swift songs, right? <laughs> Yeah, maybe. Ah. No, actually, I don't. Actually, I don't. I don't. I, I couldn't name you a single one, but I, I've heard them, and you know, I might like come along. I like hearing DQ talk about it. This will be a fun. Uh, this will be a fun thing because you know, um, in um, at, well, as you guys know, at the Nick games or at the Laker games, they always spin that one moment of the game. We're like, yep. here, hey, who's in the crowd tonight? There may be a hey, here's who's in the crowd tonight at the oh, uh, Razorback right. games going on next year. So that'll be uh, that'll be fun. I like that. I like a good celebrity sighting at um, a uh, you know at the uh, in, at, at the game. Maybe they have to. Add well, a now, let me row. say this, guys. Look at the. I mean, you look at the players. You know, Joe Johnson was there last night. Um, I was just happened to be back in the in the. We were sitting in the training room, and um, Coach Cal was back there, and Joe Johnson came in, and he was talking, and you know, Joe hadn't been in Bud Walton Arena in fifteen years. No, and um, you know, that's one of our best players ever. And I mean, he had the suit on, and uh, he came to see Coach Cal, and so um, he has he he has that type of aura about him. And you know, if all those former players that were there last night come back to games, um, that'll be a lot of fun for our fans to see him there. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we're talking with Chuck Barrett here. Your drive home, powered by Mr. Sparky here, 866-285-4005. You want to uh, send us a text sure. here on the McClarty Daniel Hotline. We would, uh, we'd like to hear from you. What do you think about all this? Uh, what do you, uh, what do you do? We are, we have gotten uh, like you were talking about uh, uh, flipping people, uh, uh, Chuck. We have had a couple people that are like, you know, I've hated this guy forever, and now I'm supposed <laughs> to like him. I mean, it's it's, it's going to take a minute. Maybe hey, it's hard people. to change. Yeah. It's hard to change. Hey, I got the sense it was very different for him. It's yep. different for us. It's different for him. It's different for everybody. Um, but you know, we 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 see our favorite players, and this even applies to college now. We see our favorite players go play for rival schools now. It, you know, we don't see it as much in coaching, but you know, the point that he made last night about coaches feeling more free to leave because players are free to leave. Um, yeah. I don't know if that'll be a sign of things to come or not. How yeah. much do you get the feeling that this is, you know, but that both parties, Kentucky and, and John Calipari, needed a change? You know, a, a, after, I mean, what was it, 14 years, 15 years, whatever it was, you know, maybe maybe a change of scenery is what both both uh, programs need. This could be both mutually beneficial for both sides. It's possible, certainly possible, although I don't know that Kentucky. Oh, they're having um, a problem. They're ha- they are having yeah. issues. Well, look, Kentucky's going to get a great coach. I mean, Kentucky was great before Cal, and they'll be great after Cal. I mean, that's that's just the reality of the situation. Um, they're going to be fine. But, you know, we're going to be fine too, I think. And so maybe it was time for a change. I have believed for, you know, from the moment that I heard this was a possibility that Arkansas, if they get him, and now that they have him um, – they're getting a guy that wants to prove some people wrong. Um, I don't get the sense that this is a coach that's ready to, you know, Roger Maris with the Cardinals. Uh, yeah. You know, let's just ride off into the sunset. I don't, I don't get the sense that it's like that at all. I think, I think he's 
deep down beneath all the show, um, I would imagine he's a he's a competitive coach that's anxious to get out there and win some ball games and you know say I told you so. Um, I don't think he's done. I I, th- I think we'll get a rejuvenated John Calipari. Well, Chuck, the list of coaches who have won a basketball national championship at two schools is one person, Rick Pitino. Yeah. So yeah. You, you, I I would think there's a couple of things that we were looking at here. One, um, you know, you you look at the all time wins list. He can climb his way um on the way up that. And then the other thing is. You know, in you in, in a in a uh, in a career where he's accomplished virtually everything, Hall of Fame, all that stuff. It's only one person in the two national titles at a, at a different school club. He could be the second. Uh, that's that's got to be a uh, you know something that is present in his mind somewhere too. I would think. Well, I think he and Patino too are really the only ones that I don't know that you master the Kentucky job, but they came about as close as two people could. Um, and then obviously, you know. Patino, I guess he was younger, you know, when he embarked on his uh, next chapter. And uh, he wasn't 65, obviously, when he when he did it that second time. But I think they're of the same, you know, they're cut from the same cloth. Um, they're Hall of Famers, and they'll win wherever they go because they're great recruiters. You think this opens the door for other, you know, top-notch coaches? You know, Cal can get up and move. I can get up and move. Well, I do wonder that, and it kind of goes back to what you know we were saying a minute ago with the you know the portal era for players. You know, I th- I think when he talked about you know staying with Marcus Camby at UMass and staying with Derrick Rose at Memphis, I can tell you that's that's one of those stories he told backstage before we came out, and um, you know there was an earnestness to you know the way he told it. In, in other words, I don't think he was making it up. Um, now, you know, if a coach leaves players don't have to stay and play for the new coach. Uh, if the administration gets it wrong and they want to go somewhere else, they can go. So, yeah, that might lead more coaches to move. Um, now, look, if Kentucky was still rolling in the last five years the way they were in the first five years, I don't know that he would have been available. But um, timing's everything in life. And I th- I think we're I think we're going to get a coach that whatever he's got left, and I suspect based on what we saw last night, it's an awful lot. I think we'll get the best of what he's got left. Yeah, and I I was um, interested to hear um, when he was talking about the roster, and it uh, sounds like because I'm of the belief that um, if he was going to try and replicate, you know, 10 years ago here, I don't know if that would have worked, but it sounds like he understands that the whole thing has changed and it's a balance. And we've talked about how the uh, the teams in the tournament have experienced players to mix in with a couple of, uh, of younger players as well. There's a, uh, there's a formula for putting together uh, one of these teams. And uh, I, I, I liked what I heard in terms of his uh, kind of, Maybe willing to uh, to adapt a little bit on that and see that the game has changed. Well, you know the one thing about Cal, whether it was the one and done era, whether it's the transfer portal era, he he has mastered the art of putting together a roster very quickly. Um, he knows how to do that. Uh, the difference now is how old are they? Are they eighteen years old, nineteen years old, or are you getting a guy out of the portal who's twenty one or twenty two? Um, in some cases, you've got guys older than that. So I still think that, you know, the basic construction of a roster, you know, particularly when you're doing it in a hurry and you're redoing it every year, which he's done forever. Um, I just think the big difference now is, you know, who the players are. How old are they? Where are they playing now? Are they high schoolers or are they playing somewhere else? I suspect we'll see a mix. I think so. And well, that's good. he's I think he, you know, obviously he's going to have to adapt a little bit. I think the day of the, the one and done players taking you to the final four, taking you part of the, the Anthony Davis type team that that's over. And you got to have that nice mix. My question is this. He said he met with three players last night. I mean, I think I got a pretty good, a pretty good idea who two of them are. Do You think he's going to welcome? And I, I'm not going to ask you to throw out names, but do you think he'll welcome back any any of the players that jumped into the portal that uh, that, that want to come back? Well, I think if he feels like they can help him win, yes. Um, I don't think he'll do it just to make everybody happy. 
Um, scholarships are, you know, those are valuable things. I'll go back to something I said a little bit earlier. I, I think we're going to have to change the way we think about recruiting. We got to start thinking big, bigger. Um, you know, when I look at the basketball program now, that word big is what comes to mind. Um, they thought big and got John Calipari. Um, I think recruiting, particularly with NIL money and things that, based on what we read, are going to be more readily available. Um, I believe you change the way you think. I think you think bigger than the way you thought before. And that applies to everything. Guys who've played here, guys who might play here, the whole thing. Um, I don't think just because you've played here and people love you mean that, you know, if the new coach comes in, you're guaranteed a chance to come back. Um, but I don't, I don't know that it doesn't. Um, I just think these are these are things that we're going to have to watch him answer because we've not had a coach like this before that is going to, you know, be allowed to come in and just, you know, I'm not going to say do everything you want to do, but pretty much everything you want to do. So we'll have to watch and see what he does. Now, one more thing, uh, Chuck, on this before we uh, hit the break. Uh, but I think uh, this makes this uh, a lot easier for them to move through some of the improvements uh, they want to make to uh, Bud Walton Arena. Do you uh, do you see that uh, maybe getting on a faster track perhaps moving forward? I don't know, maybe. Um, I don't think who the coach is is going to change a lot of the opinions people have about how many seats ought to be in that arena, whether or, whether or not they ought to reduce the number of seats or add suites. I, I don't I don't know that that's necessarily going to change. Um, I'm not sure how that's going to be affected. They're, um, they've got a really expensive staff to pay for right now. Um, there's a lot of NIL funding that's got to be going on. I, I just don't know how all that plays together, to be perfectly honest. All right. You ready for the red-white game? Oh, by the way. <laughs> you know, I will be. I've spent some time on that today, as a matter of fact, on the uh, on the spring game Saturday. So I'll be prepared by Saturday. Right. I'm not tonight. I will admit that. <laughs> got, he's got till uh, yeah. noon on, on Saturday. That's, a pro, that's, that's right. That's a pro's pro that's right, right there, man. Yeah, that's ready. right. Don't worry. Yep, yep. Use the time. <laughs> yeah, they, they kick that thing on. I'll be ready. Hey, that's my way of saying don't ask me a lot of questions about <laughs> football I'll be faking my way through after the last couple of days. All right. We'll talk more with uh, Chuck coming up here in a minute. He's with us for the hour here Thursdays on Ruskin and Zach. Drive home powered by Mr. Sparky, and we'll be back after this. Join the local conversation on the McClarty Daniel Hotline. 866-285-4005. McClarty Daniel, a vehicle for every lifestyle. It started as a dream, and here you are. It's moving day. But wait, isn't moving supposed to be stressful? Oh, that's right. You bought your home using Weikert Realtors. Your Weikert agent guided you from start to finish to help make sure we found you your perfect place. Dream, move, home weikert call your local weikert realtors office today and make your move and look for our bright yellow signs at weikert realtors we sell more because we do more each weikert franchised office is independently owned and operated ebay motors is here for the ride 120,000 miles of night drives daily commutes and who knows how many are we there yet through countless fixes elbow grease and a new radiator you kept your ride alive with eBay Motors, you have over 122 million parts to keep it running. And with eBay Guaranteed Fit, they'll be the perfect fit every time. Plus, at these prices, well, we're burning rubber, not cash. Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. It's Ruskin and Zach. Give me the hug, Chuck. Texting enrolls you into reoccurring automated text messages. Consent not required to purchase. Message and data rates may apply. Hey, Dan, how you doing? Haven't seen you around the gym for a while. Yeah, I've really fallen off. Since I turned 40, I just don't get the results I used to get. Could be lower testosterone. Lower T. Yeah, I went through it a while back. Once you hit 40, your body has less free testosterone. I got Nugenix Total T, and it's made a huge difference for me. I've seen that ad on TV. Is it for real? Oh, yeah. The key ingredient is something called Tesnor, which helps boost free and total testosterone levels to help you trim up and stay lean. And it's made a difference for you? Man, I feel like I'm in my 20s again at work, in the gym, and in the bedroom. Are they still giving out complimentary bottles for people to try it for themselves? Yeah, you just need to send them a text. Text BIKE to 321-321 right now for your complimentary bottle of Nugenix Total Tea, the number one selling testosterone booster at GNC. Plus, text now and we'll include a bottle of Nugenix Thermo, our most powerful fat incinerator
accelerator ever to help you get back into shape fast, absolutely free. Text B I K E to 321321. That's bike to 321321. How do I drive more traffic to my website? How do I increase my Google rankings? If these are just a few of the questions you have for your business, then we should talk. In addition to sports radio marketing, ESPN Arkansas can help your business be found online. From website design to geo targeted campaigns, search engine marketing, social media management, streaming video campaigns, and much more. ESPN Arkansas is your digital marketing partner. Go to ESPNArkansasDigital.com for your free digital marketing audit or email us at sales at hitthatline.com to schedule an appointment. When you're looking for a new car, you want to shop for a vehicle you love with an organization you trust. You've probably heard that McCarty Daniel means making deals, but what I'm inspired by the most is that McCarty Daniel means making a difference in our community. When you buy a vehicle with McCarty Daniel, you reinvest right here in the community, in our schools, in our little leagues, in our food banks, and our people. So you're not just making a purchase, you're making a difference too. Come see us at any of our six locations in Northwest Arkansas. Spring camping season is here. Don't miss the NWA RV Show and Outdoor Party April 13th and 14th at 5102 West Pauline Whitaker Parkway in Rogers behind Nukes. Sponsored by two of the state's largest RV dealers, Wheels RV and Moix RV. With brands you love like Grand Design, Jayco, Brinkley, Flagstaff, Coachman Catalina, Vibe, and Winnebago. On-site financing available plus food trucks, a variety of vendors, and bounce house for the kids. Make plans to attend the NWA RV Show and Outdoor Party April 13th and 14th. 5102 West Pauline Whitaker Parkway, Rogers. Richard's Country Meat Market has everything you need for an old-fashioned crawfish boil. Live crawfish, shrimp, sausage, corn, and potatoes. Give Richard a call by Wednesday to place your crawfish order and pick it up on Friday. While you're there, choose from mild to spicy seasonings for a delicious Cajun crawfish boil. Plus, Richard's has the best selection of fresh fish like salmon and cod. With over 25 years in business, you know Richard's Country Meat Market is the only place to get top choice and prime meat. Teddy Jean hams, fresh fish, crawfish, and in-house season. Richard makes it easy with in-store and curbside pickup. To place your order, call ahead at 479-443-0000. Richard's Country Meat Market in Fayetteville. One block east of College at Rolling Hills Drive. For curbside pickup and to place your crawfish order, call Richard's Country Meat Market at 443-0000. 443-0000. Richard's Country Meat Market in Fayetteville. 479-443-0000. Needing an electrician? Call the pros at Mr. Sparky. All of our certified electricians provide five-star electrical work. If you have problems with an outlet, blown fuse, ceiling fan, need a panel replacement, or even a safety check, we've got you covered. Day or night, 24-7. And all of our work is 100% guaranteed. You can trust your electrical work with Mr. Sparky. You don't have to put up with any malarkey. Call 888-8-SPARKY. Welcome to McClarty Daniel Country. With six giant locations and over 3,000 vehicles, Northwest Arkansas is McClarty Daniel Country. Stop by one of our showrooms today to shop our full lineup of cars, trucks, and SUVs. McClarty Daniel is proud to be your premier automotive destination. Need service? We work on all makes and models six days a week. Plus, our full-service collision center can repair anything from a minor ding to a major collision. Have you visited McClarty Daniel Country? Visit us online at McClartyDaniel.com. Hi there, folks. I'm Chief Meteorologist Darby Bobby with the 4029 Get Ready Weather Forecast. Out there this evening and overnight, our winds are going to calm down with clear skies. It gets a little bit chilly out there by tomorrow morning. Wake up in the mid to upper 30s for Friday morning. In the afternoon on Friday, though, it warms nicely. Highs in the low 70s, lots of sunshine and no wind. But that wind will come back Saturday and Sunday both. Well, a lot of sunshine this weekend. We warm very nicely, but it will be windy. High temperatures Saturday around 80, low to mid 80s on Sunday. That's your Get Ready Weather, only on 4029. ESPN 99.5. The most influential show in Arkansas. This is Ruskin and Zach on ESPN Arkansas and streaming on HitThatLine.com. We're back with uh, Chuck Barrett here on Up to the Zach. 866-285-4005 866-285-4005 to uh, join us here on the McClarty Daniel Hotline. You want to text us? You can uh, do that. We'll uh, Maybe it'll start off a uh, conversation here of some sort. Maybe not. I don't know. Uh, but uh, Chuck, of course, uh, 
in between big assignments. Had the uh, had the introductory presser last night. Now he's got the uh, red white game coming up on a Saturday that you can hear right here on ESPN Arkansas. Yep. Some of you get to hear football then baseball that's on correct. Saturday. What a day that, that is. That is uh, what a double pretty, dip. Yeah, that's pretty good. What a day that'll be. Yeah, absolutely. All right, Chuck, you ready to do this? I got some good ones. I am ready, yes. Okay, your Ruskin and Zach Expos brought to you by Unlimited Heat and Air in Springdale. 479-225-8809 for all of your heat and air needs. Chuck, have we reached the time of year when we can stop complaining about the cold weather and start complaining about the hot weather? No, we've not reached that yet. 67.8% of people said no. Chuck, XOXO means hugs and kisses. Are the uh, X's hugs or kisses? Well, I don't know. I'm going to say hugs. 58.5% of you said hugs. Apparently, a movie uh, starring Jack Black solved that problem. Uh, it's not a movie I have seen, so I'm not, I'm not 100% mm. sure. Uh, Chuck, should anything that requires you to assemble it be sold at a discount? Yes. 92.9% <laughs> of you said yes. Uh, I had this uh, episode last night. What is the latest acceptable dinner time at a restaurant? Is it 8 p.m., 9 p.m., or 10 p.m.? Well, I mean, it depends on how old you are, where you are, the whole deal. I would say in a city, 10 o'clock's the latest time. Really? For me, for me, 8 o'clock. DQ says that uh, 10 p.m. reservations are for rich people. <laughs> well, if you're in a city, if you're in a city, um, 10, 10 p.m. is not an hour. I wouldn't do it. But um, it's not out of the question. Okay. Look, Clarksville, 10 p.m.? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there it is. Okay. That's that's called pizza delivery. <laughs> Chuck, when you say you're giving someone your full attention, how much are you actually giving them, percentage-wise? Um, 75. Okay, 41.8% of you said 51 to 75%. Uh, Chuck, were you aware that there is a total solar eclipse somewhere in the world on average every 18 months? I did not know that. 65.6% no. of you said you didn't know it either. The audacity to think that the world was going to end because it was going to happen in yeah, front here. of us. Yeah. One of the other. One. Right. Chuck DQ wants to know, do you use a toothbrush cap? No, I don't. I heard you guys talking about yeah, this the 67. other day. I, now, I do have one when I travel. That I, that, oh, yeah, yeah. That, yeah, I, yeah. that I covered up. All those weird you. hotel rooms. You never know what's happening. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Chuck, have you, ever been, uh, have you ever called someone and been upset when they answer? Yes, I have. 86.8% <laughs> of you said yes. Uh, true or false? Finding something to watch shouldn't take longer than watching it. True, true, true. 96% of you uh, said true. Let's see here. Let's I can ask you that one. That's basically what you do. You pay you pay for the privilege of scrolling exactly. to try to find something to watch. Everybody had a very strong opinion on that one. Uh, Chuck, should you have to watch a video and pass a test to operate the office coffee maker? Well, you could you could make that argument, yes. We have a coffee maker here that you need a PhD in astrophysics. Really I don't knows. know how to work it. No, I, it I, I've never known how to hey, work see, it. See, I'm not the only one. Chuck struggles with it too. Seventy three point four percent of you said yes. Get a get a single serve Keurig. Yep. So prob yeah. problem solved. Allegedly that's what that is, but you've been in there mashing the buttons. Yeah, it doesn't work. No. Uh Chuck, if one of your buddies decides to grow a mustache, does bro code state that you must ask him <laughs> if he's a cop? <laughs> yes. 70.1% of you said yes. At this very moment, is your clock uh, on your microwave displaying the correct time? You know it is. 70.1% of well, you said Well, close, yes. close, you know. Close. All right, now this is important, and I'm fully judging you on your answer. Escalators, okay. do you walk or ride? Well, I try to walk. Sometimes I ride. 76.4% of you said uh, ride. Uh, asking for a friend. Uh, should sleeping with your socks on be considered a crime? <laughs> well, some people, the people that don't like it really don't like it. 68% yeah, of you said yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Chuck, you strike me as that. a wrestling guy. Uh, should sports <laughs> outlets be required to post or cover <laughs> WrestleMania results? No, they should not be required to. But if they want to, that's okay. You mean like the Monday after WrestleMania? I'm not going to hear it in the Razorback report? No. Okay. Did this, you? Was that this past weekend? It was. Yeah, did you it, watch? Did you pay for it? No, I did not. So Doug, how much is that going for these days? Oh, it's got to be like oh, seventy five dollars yeah, or something like that. I don't know. But the WFAN did one of those uh, hourly sports updates, and at the end, the gay the guy goes, "Oh, and by the way, such and such won the uh, belt or whatever at WrestleMania." Yeah, <laughs> like that, that's that's now no. they do in Memphis. Well, they do in Memphis. I mean, it, I mean, it, it used to be in the. I mean, it would be in the newspaper the next day. 
Yeah. Could you, not, could, you <laughs> could you see Clay? That's when we thought Clay, it was real, though. Clay, <laughs> could you see Clay when he's working at the Tulsa World? Somebody goes, "Hey, I need you to go uh, write up a story on the WrestleMania results." <laughs> yeah. I'm what not made you go to the? How come you didn't go to the pile driver? Right? <laughs> <laughs> right. What was the key to the match? That's right. <laughs> uh, Chuck, when it rains overnight, is it a dad's responsibility to tell his children we needed that? <laughs> yeah, it comes with the territory. 87.4% of you said yes. Uh, I'm going to save that one for last because that's my favorite one of the day. Okay. Uh, do you think your parents ever looked at you and said, I did all I could? Yes. Yeah, 78.9% yes. of you said yes. Uh, this really sparked a debate uh, in the 2 o'clock hour. Have you ever stubbed any of your middle three toes? Uh, no, I haven't. See, fifty-one point nine percent of you said yes. I only hit the outside ones, the guardrails. Yeah, I, yeah. I do not. I do not hit. Let's go middle third. Now, this is probably a question you don't want to answer. Is your second toe longer than your big toe? I don't know. Let me take a look here. <laughs> uh, no, it is not. Okay, no, all right. Thank not. you. You're not one of the freaks. Yeah, uh, DQ's yeah. second toe is bigger than her big so toe. So is mine. Yeah, yeah, that's it's, what it's, makes that's what makes DQ and Ruskin. DQ and Russell. Apparently, it means we're dis- I'm descended from Greeks. So I guess I don't Greek know. R- R- uh, Roman nobility. Roman nobility. Oh, okay. right, right. Yeah, right. Some, right. something along those lines. So that? Those are your Ruskin and Zach X polls. Are brought to you by Unlimited Heat and Air in Springdale. Four seven nine two two five eighty eight zero nine for all of your heat and air needs. You forgot my favorite one. Which one, Chuck? Have you ever used the seven button on your microwave? No, I think we did cover yeah, that, that was, one last time. Oh, we uh, did? Yeah, I like think we covered time. that one last time. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's all right. Together. You must have zoned out right there. Well, I probably did. Their obsession <laughs> with microwave talk is, 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 it borders on the psychology. It was fun. It was a fun that's, change that's, of pace. That's an opinion. I mean, it, it, that that is an opinion. What else can we say about the coach? I mean, we, we, if you need a break every now and then, you know, I mean, uh, it, it was a nice bre- break for uh, you know on microwave. Yeah, talk. This is a good question. Uh, <laughs> see, we were talking about you know Harbaugh when he moved. Uh, to Southern California from Michigan, had a garage oh. sale. Uh, if Cal were to have a garage sale, do you think he's a wine or art guy? Hmm. Maybe both. Okay. DQ wants maybe to, both. Do you think you, you can, can afford hook? to do both? Yeah, I'd you say. can. DQ would like his um his uh, uh kitchen dish towels. towels. Dish towels. She's a dish towel girl. Oh. Huh. Well, that's a piece of also that's a piece of um you know memorabilia that you know is probably going to be fairly affordable at right. the, at the right, right. garage yeah. sale you know what i mean that's <laughs> 50 cents yeah you I mean you're not gonna yo any, talk them down to 40 any talk big pieces of cents. art or any trophies or anything that may cost some money but i mean you know yeah. the, the dish towels yeah. maybe a well, couple bucks you know if, if you get a group text with a with a garage sale would you let us know uh, <laughs> i will okay. yeah right. i bet there's a lot of blue you know between memphis and you wear any probably. schools. Yeah. Uh, hey, look, it's great right for me, yeah. and uh, I'll, I'll wear a lot of that stuff. I just picture him at the end of the street, like putting the little sign in the, in the in the grass by the by this intersection, standing <laughs> at the end of the driveway, collecting yeah. the money. Hi, folks. <laughs> That's, you know, again, if you hear anything, just let us know. Someone comes up. We'll do. Is we'll this do. the best you can do on these uh, on these bowls? <laughs> uh, well, you know. <laughs> Make me an uh, offer. Ryan and Prairie Grove, by the way, had uh, Clay having keys to the match in the Tulsa world for bingo. <laughs> so, all right, everybody hold your cards. We'll do it again. <laughs> all right. Uh, let's see. Let me look at the uh, screen here. We got a Masters update. Uh, it's still Bryson DeChambeau uh, with seven under uh, leading the He's way. He's in the clubhouse, right? That's yeah, right. He is done. Uh, let's see. Tiger is one under. He is 15th as he plays the ninth hole. There Tiger's at Augusta playing National. pretty well today. Tiger's yeah. playing pretty well. I don't, he can't do it for four straight days. I don't know if he can do it for the rest of this day, but for the front nine, he's played well. Yeah, he is uh, at a long. I, I guess that's a birdie putt. And he uh, what a lag. left it about a foot yeah. short. So well, now he'll. Uh, that's a great lag there on seven, Derek. Tap that in for par. I'll watch him blow this and, uh, and get to. Uh, he'll stay at one under as he makes the turn there at the uh, Augusta National. Chuck, have you ever been there? I have not ever been to Augusta oh, National. You got to do that. Maybe someday I'll get to go got to do that, that well is- you know you you run with a privilege set he does oh, yeah, he right. absolutely you know. does <laughs> that's right i've won it's the only lottery chuck i've ever won in my life was a, a master's ticket lottery that's the wow it's the only one that's it, actually a big win right there. i know I I, I I it's well it, i'll never win one for money i won one for the uh tickets back did, in 2012 how that did that a, work was it just a one-year deal or or yeah 
How yeah. was that? Just a one time only thing. You get right? uh yeah, they they at some point in the year they open it up and you put your stuff in and then you get an email that says you've been rejected or an email that says, Hey, you get to buy tickets. So uh and then wow. you go buy your uh, hmm. you buy your tickets. So yeah, there you you've go. You've been rejected? Yeah, you the rejection email, it's in the middle of summer. So you know you're starting to feel good about okay, you know, summer's here, or I'm outside, and then then Augusta National emails you and says, Um, you cannot buy tickets. <laughs> ah, they say we we regret to inform you. I think they, they just, do actually, yeah. yeah. I or think, do they say it's like it's you, it's 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 us, it's not you. That's right. Okay. Yeah, I think it starts with we regret to inform right. you that okay. you are okay. All you right. cannot get tickets That's this true. year. Or maybe ever again. All right, we'll uh, we'll wrap up the hour with uh, Chuck Barrett coming up here on Ruskin and Zach. Stay with us. This is Ruskin and Zach. If I'm stalking someone, though, I'm really careful. ESPN Arkansas and streaming on HitThatLine.com. Call or text the McClarty Daniel hotline to join the local conversation on ESPN Arkansas. 866-285-4005. McClarty Daniel has a vehicle to fit both your style and budget. With six locations in Springdale and Bentonville, you're never too far from a good deal. Visit McClartyDaniel.com to find your next ride. Find your next ride with McClarty Daniel at a price you'll love. Join the conversation on ESPN Arkansas at 866-285-4005. Jersey Mike's, locally owned and operated in Rogers, Bentonville, Fayetteville, and Springdale, believes in the value of ingredients, premium meats, the freshest vegetables, and delectable bread baked throughout the day. And then there's the juice that elevates your sandwich to the highest level. You'll taste the difference in every bite. Jersey Mike's subs are perfect for catering the office or your next tailgate party. Their cookie and brownie trays are the perfect finale to any type of gathering. Fresh baked daily, right there in the store. Jersey Mike's, the best submarine sandwich on the planet always. The future of medicine is here at QC Kinetics. Hi, Tommy Craft here for QC Kinetics, the nation's leader in the most exciting revolution in pain management we've seen in decades. Regenerative medicine. If you're tired of achy joints, if your joint pain is keeping you from doing what you love, you need to call QC Kinetics right now. Regenerative medicine at QC Kinetics is transforming lives with innovative treatments that deliver lasting results. We're talking natural biologics using your body's power to repair and restore damaged tissue. Call QC Kinetics now to learn more about exciting options. This is a revolutionary approach that can get you long-term relief with no downtime, no drugs, and no surgery. Call QC Kinetics now for a free consultation, 479-999-1234, 479-999-1234, for QC Kinetics. The madness continues at Mad Rooster Beer Company in Fayetteville. Mad Rooster brews high-quality, innovative beer selections, including IPAs, stouts, fruited sours, and seltzers across their 30 taps. Mad Rooster has eight big screens and key game audio, so you won't miss a single minute of the action. Don't settle for an ordinary watch party when you can experience all the madness at Mad Rooster. Mad Rooster Beer Company, brewed locally in Fayetteville at 1107 Southwest Avenue. Join us in celebrating Burton Pools and Spas' 46th anniversary. Get incredible deals on in-ground pools with savings up to $12,000. And construction starting in May. Snag up to $1,200 off Doughboy above-ground pools and $5,000 off Doughboy semi-in-ground pools. And hot tubs start at an unbelievable price of just $39.99. Celebrate with us and pocket huge savings at Burton Pools and Spas in Springdale and Fort Smith. At Burton, we do more than build pools. We build long-term relationships. We join the smarter guys at Stiff Plumbing and HVAC. People sweat when it gets hot. Dogs don't sweat. No, they pant when they're too hot. When your air conditioner dies in the Arkansas summer, your house gets hot. You don't want to come home to your dog panting and giving you that look. Get an air conditioning tune-up from Stiff Plumbing and HVAC. We clean winter dirt and grime. Check the motors, the relays, the start capacitors. We'll get your system ready to cool your whole family from the summer heat. Call 751-9691, 751-9691, or online at stiffplumbingandhvac.com. Tune in again next time to hear Zach say, I hate it when my dog gives me that look. Yeah, me too. On the next episode of The Smarter Guys at Stiff Plumbing and HVAC. 
Have you heard? The Pleasure Playground just got a little bigger. Cupid's is growing. That's right. Cupid's Lingerie just opened its newest naughty location in Fayetteville at Crossover and Mission in the Walmart Shopping Center. Cupid's is a boutique specializing in all things pleasure and play. From lingerie to, well, everything you can imagine and more. Visit shopcupids.com today and treat someone special to something special. Cupid's Lingerie in Bentonville, Springdale, and now in Fayetteville. Cupid's Lingerie. Enjoy! Hi there, I'm Sarah, and I just had to share my experience with Mosquito Joe. See, I used to dread spending time outdoors because of those pesky mosquitoes. They would always find me and ruin the fun. I would soak my daughter with bug spray, which hardly ever worked. It was awful. I finally called Mosquito Joe, and wow, it has been quite a game changer. They implemented an eco-friendly mosquito control plan customized especially for my yard. Now I can enjoy my backyard without constantly swatting at bugs and reapplying bug spray every 10 minutes. Visit arkansas.mosquitojoe.com. ESPN 99.5. Join the local conversation on the McClarty Daniel Hotline, 866-285-4005. We don't care if you love them or you hate them. All we ask is that you keep listening. This is Ruskin and Zach on ESPN Arkansas and streaming on hitthatline.com. Man, we got a lot to do uh, tomorrow. Huh? Tomorrow. I've got a lot of weird stories that we haven't been able to cover all week. So we'll just uh, we'll detox from sports yeah. tomorrow and just uh, Brett will be go involved. through all these. Brett we'll Good will be here. Yeah, we've got a Chuck Super Bowl champion back to back days. That's pretty good. That, that, wow. Power of Ruskin and Zach. Right heavy here. duty. That's yeah. right. Really is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Both court appointed. That's right. Yes. With the power of the Benton County. Circuit court, we were able to pull this off. Yeah, we've got a judge in our pocket. Right. It's a good on? thing the judge listens to your show. Isn't that every scary? Day. Yeah, that's... because I'm going to know if you're there. Chuck, what? Why do you listen to this on your days off willfully? That that's a really the question. We're getting questions. Yeah, about people this. are asking. Well, you're doing why. a lot of assuming there, Zach. No, well, I mean but, you're uh, quoting things that we did, and the people are no, asking. I know. Well, I'm in my car. Okay, you know, I'm okay. in my car. I'm traveling. You know, okay. I'm doing stuff. I like to open uh, my window and like <laughs> hang my head out when we're on. <laughs> But the wind, yeah. Well, I, you know, I, I, uh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a radio consumer. Does um, uh, uh Zach, does uh, yep. Kentucky have a coach yet? Oh, hang on. Uh, no, uh, here, here all by myself. Thanks oh, they, for checking they, Kentucky still doesn't have a coach. Right. Okay, they'll get one. Hey, how does I like that speaker, by the way. That speaker <laughs> sounds good. You guys should use that more. We should. We, we really should. <laughs> Chuck, how, do, how does Mark Pope feel at uh, the University of Kentucky? Well, you know, he's a Kentucky hero. Yep. Um. You know, it um, it wouldn't surprise me. That seems. I don't think the... they're going to get Dan Hurley. No, he's no, already no, said no, no, no. He, he told. Yeah, uh, well, yeah, but I mean, they they they've not gone back yet. You know, so, they mean, they did that number didn't come from Hurley. Like he, th- there was somebody that reported that they could offer yeah, him twenty Matt, million. Matt Norlander no? from CBS said he they could offer him twenty million dollars. He wouldn't. So that's wouldn't the number. Right. Oh, what wow. about twenty five? Yeah, all right, <laughs> that's right. twenty two. That's right. Yeah. I think if they offered him twenty million, he'd go. Yeah, what can? That's a, it's a lot of clams right there. Holy I don't think moly. they're going to. No. Just for the record, I don't think they're going to. I think that's just you know talk. Yeah. But he'd leave for twenty million. Yeah, there's very little I would not do for twenty million dollars. I don't. See, we're gonna uh, um, we're gonna talk about this uh, coming up in the next hour. But um, uh, like I'm not. I'm not ready to point and laugh at their fans freaking out oh, because I, we did this a week ago, no, and no. and everyone laughed at us. So I'm I'm not ready to to point the finger yet. You know what I mean? Well, Kentucky's going to get a good coach. Yeah. Now they may not get the home run that they're accustomed to getting, but I wouldn't count that out either. I, has anybody uh, personally? And I I don't know if they have or not, but I would like to personally thank you for starting that thing last night on time. Oh, what a Chuck, I, I got to tell yes. you, I, I, I don't, I don't pray Six to the o'clock. heavens. That wasn't me. That was not me. I was following you, instructions. I, I don't care who we are, but thank you. Six o'clock meant six, six o'clock, o'clock. 43 minutes. Yeah. Airtight. Oh, yeah, it was great. It was, it was fantastic. Yep. We were listening in. It was, uh, it was yeah. to made for television event. That's exactly yeah, that's right. right. Yeah. They started like, it right on time. The, when you, you started to move towards the podium and I like, we started jumping up and down. It was Oh my God! I'm doing it. Six o'clock. Woo! Yeah, we were ready yeah, to we go. Were ready yeah, to the SEC Network, guys. Yeah. This was a this was a television event. Okay. Too. Yeah. Well, uh, on on 
from our staff to yours. Thank you very much. Yes, thank okay. you. Thank you, TV. Well, I had nothing keep, to do with it, but I will pass that along. Keep it I, all well, the time. I, who am I kidding? They're listening right now. So, I mean, I'm sure they just heard that. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> they really did a nice job. You know, they kind of, they had some, I thought so, too. I they, thought they did a great job. They had some bobbles on the Musselman thing. You couldn't really see them all that well with them lowering the scoreboard or whatever. But this thing was, uh, was well done. Well done. Uh, all right. Uh, DQ, uh, what did you learn today? I learned that Aerosmith made more money from Guitar Hero. Yeah. Than any yeah. of yeah. the albums they ever put out. That's wow. terrifying. Um, I learned today the bite of a grizzly bear is strong enough to crush a bowling ball. Ooh. Oh, DQ, that's, uh, that's we good. have a bowling ball, and you get us a grizzly. We need a grizzly bear now. That's right. <laughs> I wish. Yeah. I wish we could have a bear in here. We've, 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 we've done <laughs> I this love bit. bears. <laughs> we've I done this bears. bit. <laughs> we've done bear in the pit. We've, we've already proposed this show. I mean, was, bear in a pit is still the best idea we've ever had. That TV show would sell thousands. Bear in a pit. Thousands. <laughs> Did, Chuck, oh, we've told well. you about bear in a pit, right? I don't know that you have. Oh, yeah, yeah. But I have an is idea. Is there time for you to share? Oh, absolutely. We've got plenty okay. of time. If not, we'll go right, to the go next ahead. hour. Don't you worry about okay. it. Right, uh, bear in a pit is a TV idea that I have uh, in which we're going to put 45 senior citizens in a pit. <laughs> And we're going to turn a bear loose in there. Last man standing gets to come back the next yeah. week. Hey, you're on your own with that one, Okay. Man. I was going to get Gus Johnson to do He's it. He's alone on Cool Island there. Yeah, yeah. I learned that the uh, Michelin uh, restaurant system was just uh, all, was all thought up because they wanted you to drive farther to, use the, to go to the restaurant so you'd use up more tires and then you had to go buy more Michelin tires. That's what I learned. A scam. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Tires are a scam. That's right. Yeah. Uh, Chuck Barrett with us here on uh, Ruskin and Zach. Thank you so much for stopping by, uh, Chuck. We enjoyed it. Enjoyed it, guys. Thank you. All right. That's uh, Chuck Barrett, our radio pal. Every uh, by Thursday. order of the Benton County Circuit that's Court, right. yes. he is our radio pal. It's we got yeah. it in the deal. This has got to be up for appeal to like a circuit no, or something. No, no, no. Soon, he, missed, right? he missed two weeks in a row, so oh. the clock resets. He's back to five years. Appeal to a higher court. Eighty-four then. months. All right, we'll be back here with uh, more Ruskin and Zach coming up in a moment on ESPN Arkansas and hitthatline.com. You 